you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching Shala brandi ge skode brandi kala kusia de brandi. Cry for a very, very definite encounter, even by the Spirit of the Living God. Grant me an encounter that will change my life. Is someone praying? Send your word, O oh God. Let it heal, let it deliver, let it transform. In the name of Jesus, if I'm the one producing the result, there is one mightier than I. The basis for believing a preacher because the preacher is representing a government that is higher than him may his favor be upon you generation your family your children your children is a blessing may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations in your family, your children. Listen, can I tell you sincerely? Do you know? Do you know one of the reasons why I love testimonies? It's not because they just endorse that you are a man of God or a man sent from God. I love testimonies because they reveal the invincibility of the power behind the words that were spoken. I give you an instance that I can look at a gentleman like my brother who came here and say in the name of Jesus by this time tomorrow may God change your life now as at the time I'm speaking nothing around his life may look like that except that the power of God will move like a tornado all across Lagos and start looking for men who must make this prophecy come to pass are you seeing that now from one location the power of God will go from end to end listen was it not the prophet who said by this time tomorrow the power of god started moving around all the healthy men were not available and it went to lepers there has to be someone who will bring that word to pass if it is the power of god you say it it happens you see it and it must be good in one minute i don't know what you want to see this year but i give you the next five minutes with faith in your heart please open your mouth and pray this is what i must see in my life oh god let there be an evidence to my spiritual life someone is praying please take god seriously tonight those who are following following online following from whatever nation participate in the prayer outworkings of the power of God someone pray Lord this long-standing issue let it come to an end once and for all you spoke to me in 2017 it didn't seem to happen you spoke to me in 2018 take his word back to him commit his integrity Oh, someone is praying. Remember what he told you about your children. Remember what he told you about your education. Remember what he told you about your health. Bring it before him tonight.
one more minute take your prayer serious you will marvel and wonder at what God begins to do in your life shake away every darkness everything that stands to mock your spiritual experience no I'm no longer a baby in the spirit I defend my growth with the testimonies that I'm declaring that would come to my life let the redeemed of the Lord say so let the blessed of the Lord say so let the prosperous of the Lord say so let the anointed of the Lord say so let the believer in the Lord say so majesty Your grace has found me just as I am Empty handed but alive in your hands Your majesty Your majesty standing keep standing and I want you to please pay attention please pay attention please pay attention I told you that I will give you four indices that measure your maturity number one your experiential conformity to the image and the character of the Christ number two your depth of knowledge and understanding the principles the modus operandi of the kingdom number three the degree to which the power and the ability of the Holy Spirit the power of God finds expression in your life number four the degree to which the love of God flows in and through you your love life is the fourth measure and the highest measure of your spiritual maturity listen to me the zenith of maturity is not knowledge. The zenith of maturity is not even character. The zenith of maturity is love. There remained this tree, the Bible declares. Faith that moves mountains. Hope that makes not a shame. But the greatest of all it says is love. John 13 and verse 35 he says by this shall all men how many men not some men by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples if ye have love one for another part of our benedictions in the house of god we say this all the time and yet sometimes we do not pay attention to what we're saying yes how we say it the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God then we call it the fellowship it's the word koinonia of the Holy Spirit it says to be with you so the love of God should be with you can I tell you this love is powerful what power could not do on the cross, love did. Power could not kill death, but love killed death. The last enemy that can be destroyed. As important as power is, because we're a generation that is so conscious of power. But after talking about the power and the gift of the Holy Spirit in 1 Corinthians chapter 12, he rounded up the last verse by saying, and now I show you a more excellent way a more excellent way of healing is healing by love a more excellent way of preaching is preaching by love you can preach by power but you can preach by love
anything power cannot do shift power away and bring love do you know why because there is a law in the realm of the spirit that love never fails that was not said about power uh -uh. there is no record in scripture that power never fails but it says love that means whatever is failing add love to it you change the calculation immediately there are many many preachers who cannot be trusted with great people because most times now I'm, I'm teaching apostolically to the body of Christ many people would be listening to this there are many preachers who just want members but do not truly love the members and God cannot trust you even if you have power if that love component is not there there are certain limitations you will have consistently in your life why do we believe in miracles and the manifestations of the power of God the reason is because miracles are a letter from Jesus through his vessel to you what does that letter say number one I love you miracles are a letter don't just receive the miracle receive the letter written on it many people receive the miracles but they do not receive the letter that comes with the miracle for every healing for every deliverance for every breakthrough for every lifting for every manifestation of prosperity see it as a letter from his majesty to you the first thing written on that letter is I love you and for some of you I still love you because you can imagine Lord do you love me with all these things that are happening in my life number two the second thing written in that letter through miracles is that you can believe me I am dependable every time you see the manifestation of the hand of God please do not just receive the miracle when you receive a tray look at what is on the tray miracles are a tray there is something on that tray it's a letter from his majesty to you I'm helping you interpret it right now because some of you between January and now you've received many letters from God but you have refused to read what he's writing like Daniel, I want to show you what he wrote. Number one, I love you. Number two, I am dependable. Number three, I am not only dependable, I am almighty. It's terrible to depend on a person who is not mighty. And within the five or so minutes that I have left, another letter is about to come to your life. My assignment is not just to midwife the delivery of that letter, but to teach you how to read what is written there. For some of you, the letter is so personal, it will come with your name. That he will come to you and say, you are the one I am talking about. Hmm. This is the reason why I love to see miracles flow in and through my life believe me it is not just to accredit that i'm a man of god you see in in the work of the ministry there is a way god helps you that you don't live your life to prove any point again whatever needs to be said has been said when god has glorified himself through your life your passion now does not just become making a name for yourself it becomes helping people to experience the reality of the grace and the power the wisdom of God when I prayed for this meeting my prayer was that everyone would leave with something from the throne through this vessel of clay to your life because you see all blessings come from God they come through men to men for some of you that letter will direct you to the next job that will marvel people for some of you that letter 
some of you he will even write it and speak it in your language and say even if you don't understand English this is me writing I intend for you to understand one last time all miracles and all manifestations of the power of God contain in them letters from his majesty through his vessel to you the recipient and written in those letters are three sentences one I love you he says I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness number two I am dependable many systems and structures and men may have failed you don't add me to the list for you are my God I've worked with God enough to know he can do it but sometimes the headache of working with men I said God spare me that spare I am comfortable to serve you wherever you want me to do but I remember that I've pledged to him I've lost my ability to say no to him provided it is him my answer will always be yes I remember when I got to that place Abuja is a second home so it's not it's not strange but I looked around I remember until then, I had spoken with men of God, pastors who had sincerely told me, look, ministry is a bit hard in this place because of finance, because of so many things. The facilities are expensive and they were right. And then people are busy. This is the FCT. Where do you get people to come and listen to you? I remember the Lord giving me an instruction. And after I obeyed that instruction, I was with the Lord praying. He did something in my life and he reminded me again that miracles are a letter the facility that we now use is a miracle like I don't want to go into the details of it but um, if you use that facility you are either really anointed a fraudster or a demon you have to be one of these three Hallelujah. And I remember when I sent a few people to talk to the facility managers that this is what we want to do. I said, no way. This is, this is about the most expensive facility in this city. And we, we cannot stand church people destroy facilities. We are not ready to ruin. We've invested our all into this. But I know that when I was praying in a strange way, I had never been there, but God told me that was the place. The moment I saw the picture, he said, this is the place. I was not surprised, but I said, God, make sure you take responsibility for this instruction. My father and my mother, they are still alive. I want them to enjoy having a responsible son and not believe something has happened to me. I was in Enugu for a conference when the owner of the facility, this is a true story, and I'm saying it because it is something that we've, he has even given the, the story himself. And he said, he called, and he said he had the voice of God like a man speaking. And he said, this thing, it is one of the reasons why I gave you this ground, that God told him. Because he did not buy it. It was free. It was an allocation that was given. He said, one of the reasons why I gave you is because this ministry was coming. And so make sure that you work with them and you are fair on them. And I 
I wanted to go and see him because he wasn't feeling too strong. And I just wanted to greet him. It was my first encounter with him. And I stepped into the office to greet him and he looked at me. He called all the managers and there and then we sat down. And the rest, to God be the glory. Why am I giving you this story? If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God right now. Same God back then. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God right now. The God who does things only once is not a true God. He must have the ability to do it again and again and again. Can I pray for you right now? In one minute, I'd like you to ask the Lord something specific. Please go ahead and pray. We're out of time. Please ask the Lord. Believe me, my God will surprise you. says it is so sweet to trust in Jesus someone pray give me a visitation by your word hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now if if you are trusting God for healing in your body please just lay your hands there we may not have the time to bring you out but you are trusting God or you are standing for someone someone connected to you the devil is trying to play games and to mock the name of jesus please just lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you i have seen the mighty hand of god from nation to nation region to region i know that this god is a mighty god I want to pray for you please I want you to believe it take your eyes away from the sickness and the affliction they looked onto him and their faces were lightened now in the name of Jesus I pray stretching my hands to you I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that can quicken the mortal body of a man let the life and the power of Jesus Touch you and touch that infirmity right now in the name of Jesus I rebuke the spirit of infirmity and in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet help that woman please help her someone please help her in the name of Jesus be healed now now help that woman I'm seeing something leaving her like a serpent I curse it now in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God for the Bible says where the spirit of the Lord is there is liberty I decree and declare every planting in your body that is not the planting of the Lord I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ I command it to leave you now now I'm seeing the number 11 and the Lord is telling me that there are 11 people here you have worked with God for a while but the area you need in your life now is spiritual empowerment the mountains that stand before you you need a dimension of the anointing of God I'm seeing 11 of them the power of God I'm, I'm just seeing like like smoke just across this place the power of God is coming on these 11 people if, if if you can bring them for me please help them please whether you are an usher or not please if anybody is under the anointing help them right now I'm about to stretch my hands and pray wherever you are the spirit of the living God please help them so you don't expose them be careful be careful 
ushers you can help them please so that in the name of jesus 11 of them right now let that fire of the holy spirit rest upon you some of you go ah, help this woman my god please whether you're an usher or not just help them so they don't injure themselves something is happening in your life you'll never be the same never never there are some of you god is saying listen i'm prophesying now i'm seeing the number six and god is saying this prophetic word is for six people as i'm talking the power of god will come on you bring them out i have raised you for such a time as this you are the light i am sending to your family help them please there are people god is saying this to young and old in the overflows i have raised you you are the voice and the savior that i have raised bring them out You are the savior god is saying it again you are the savior the one mandated with the spirit and the power of gideon to salvage your family Emmanuel. Abiodun. Who is Abiodun? I'm hearing a name. Abiodun. Is, is there someone with such a name? The Lord is speaking to me. Abiodun. No, this person is wearing like green or lime. You are wearing like a kaftan. Is there someone like that? Oh, Abiodun is both. Can I pray for you, sir? There is, I will not take your time, I promise you. Just allow God to give you that visitation. Please take it high for me. There's someone here, I'm seeing you're a legal practitioner. You're a legal practitioner, you work with a firm. But I'm seeing that there is a problem, I want to pray for you. You're a lawyer, legal, lawyer, legal practitioner. Is there someone like that, I want to pray for you. Sir, what do you do? Sorry? No, I'm looking at you. Um, is, is the mic working? Huh? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you holding a chain and a metallic detector. I work with a security outfit. You work with a security outfit. I'm seeing you hold a metallic detector. That's what I'm saying. Can I pray for you? Is it your firm? I work with the firm. Go and register a company. I'm seeing God is going to lift you. You understand i fear god i will not waste your time my brother go and register a company how god will do it you leave it unto him but god will surprise you and connect you to people you believe that i pray for you may you experience the mercies of god even by the power of the holy spirit i release that grace upon you in the name of jesus christ who yes i know there are a number of abundance I, I will just pray for you but i'm seeing this it, the, a, a lawyer where, where, wherever you are if you're following online then i'm praying for you right now there is a woman here the lord is revealing to me your daughter please don't be embarrassed i don't mean to embarrass you your daughter is married but she's not been able to take in i don't know who that i don't know if it's a problem with conception whatever it is and the lord wants me to speak over that family where is that person just wave your hand where you are mama that's all right you don't need to come let me pray and agree with you wherever your daughter is the all-seeing eye of his majesty that has seen you and seen your issue here at this annual kingdom life help that man in the name of jesus christ i release you and your daughter from every bondage of delay in the name of jesus christ I want to speak over your life there are many of you 
the blessing of the Lord upon you is in the works of your hands but in the last one year that's what I'm hearing it looks like your business your help that woman there has been a challenge please help her whether you're an usher or not if anyone is under the anointing you just help them but I'm seeing businesses that have been challenged and the Lord is saying I should place an anointing upon your hand that you will leave from tonight and doors will open in the name of Jesus I decree and declare I stand upon the grace of Reverend Kunat and the servants of God here represented I decree and declare whatever has refused to walk hear the word of the Lord I speak to it it begins to walk now it begins to walk now it begins to walk now There is someone you are supposed to have traveled abroad to further your studies this is what i'm saying but one of them you had a visa problem they didn't give you a visa and the other i think the school fees was not complete i think you were supposed to get a scholarship but something happened i don't know who that person is i want to pray with you please make sure you are not telling lies we're in the presence of jesus christ Can I pray for you? Do you believe that if I pray for you, God will release you? You see, let me tell you this. Listen, I've taught you. I don't know if it was in the morning I said it. It is not every delay that is demonic. There are many times that certain delays are the love of God in motion. Because some things need to be in place in your life before he releases you. Just because God does what he says does not mean he's careless. Are we together now? His love is exalted above his power. So if he finds out that his power will act and produce something in your life that can destroy you, he will withhold it momentarily until that limitation is corrected. So don't get into this thinking that everything that carries a semblance of delay is satanic. Maybe this is a prophetic word for someone. You may see that God has answered certain prayers in your life but it looks like some others just leave God he knows what he's doing yours is to understand and find out what you need to do to prepare you for what he's bringing you into but I pray for you in the name of Jesus can I tell you this nobody rises and excels by their strength it is the Lord that caused Moses and Aaron to advance therefore I speak whether it is a visa whether it is it is your the scholarship whatever it is promotion does not come from the east nor the west nor the south in the name of jesus christ by reason of this conference as a church we release you move to the next level of your life move to the next level of your destiny in the name of jesus christ hear me let me prophesy over your life for your shame receive double Please believe it for your shame receive double for your shame receive double and anyone who has laughed at you and mocked at you saying where is your God may my God use your resource to answer them this year help this woman please help her please help her please help her help them may my God I say it again the God of my covenant may he use your resource to answer them help this woman every evil conspiracy over your life and destiny let me prophesy over you and it extends to your children if there is anyone here and the spirit of death is already eyeing you saying you will not finish this year help them please saying your husband will not finish this year your children will not finish this year oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory in the name of Jesus I bring you liberty now liberty now liberty now thou shall not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day nor the noisome pestilence the destruction that wasted in noonday a thousand shall fall by your side ten thousand by your right side none shall come near your dwelling with your eyes will you see and behold the reward of the wicked of your love see the wind of your spirit 
and your family right now i'm about to pray that devil must let you go once and for all the bible says say unto god how terrible are thou in your ways there are families and there are individuals demon spirits masquerading and causing troubles help them please troubles with relationships please help them at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus from the front to the back and any spirit that will not let you go must go tonight are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command every spirit help them please my god every force every yoke i cost you by the god of heaven release their destinies now release their lives release their finances help this woman please hallelujah hear me everything that left your life that should not have gone i stand by the spirit of prophecy and i declare between now and the next three months in the name of jesus the son of the living god i call it back to your destiny help them please i call it back to your destiny anyone here due for promotion and you are being grounded because of sentiments and the wickedness of men the manipulations of tax powers here at this kingdom life conference i decree and declare the power that can release men to go forward like moses he was instructed he said tell these people that they go forward i stand in the spirit of moses and i prophesy to you go forward in the name of jesus Finally, I want to pray for you. He says, for your shame, you shall receive double. He said, where you have this been deserted so that no man would pass through you, I will make you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. Therefore, I decree and declare, according to your theme, a new dawn, let me speak to you. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old, for behold the lord is doing a new thing in your life as an individual as a couple as a family as a church as an eldership as a leadership may you see new things happen in your life let me pray for your spiritual life you came here tonight and your prayer life has gone down because of the vicissitudes of life your word study life has gone down your passion and your appetite for the things of God have gone down can I tell you this like the hair of Samson even though it was caught it can grow back again therefore I decree and declare every spiritual lukewarmness every coldness in prayer passion for the house of God passion for the word of God that you once had and has gone away let there be revival right now in the name of jesus christ i share the burden of your pastor and i pray all over the globe are you praying just in a minute or two Lord, I desire fruits, results, consistency. I love you more than results. I love you more than miracles. 
I love you more than prosperity, but I'm in a season in my Christian experience where I need a consolation to my Christian experience. Tired of talking about a God who cannot be defended by my results. Please go ahead and pray. Do not allow your environment to keep asking, who is this God? Who is Jesus? I hear he can work miracles. Where is he today? I hear he can raise the dead. Where is he today? I hear he can bring increase. Pray. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I join faith with the angel over this house and I decree and declare every spiritual veil over your eyes that is stopping you from seeing and accessing higher and superior levels of light. The same God that opened the eyes of his servant and showed him things. I stretch my hand in the name of Jesus. May that grace for open eyes rest upon you now. I decree and declare, let the book be opened and let the seals be unlocked. In the name of Jesus Christ, access light by the Spirit. Access wisdom by the Spirit. Access understanding by the Spirit. Gain mastery in the kingdom. Gain mastery in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? The version of you that God is looking for in this season. May you evolve through light to that fashion. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything that represents barrenness in your Christian experience. I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. Everything representing barrenness, it dies now in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Many of you after tonight, and in addition to all the graces you have received, you will start having definite encounters from tonight where God will open you up and bring you to a point of mastery. Let that be so in the name of Jesus. And alongside with every prophetic word that you have received all through this conference from the servants of the living God and the angel over your house, your father, I decree and declare, agreeing in faith with them, that this is the season of your appearing in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord bless you the Lord increase you in Jesus name of God will be established and the counsel of darkness will be far from our habitation prayer point number two we are going to pray for every family represented here I like you to pray that because you are here every onslaught of darkness against every family to bring shame and reproach we come 
by the decree of the watchers that it must be overturned and number three you are going to pray for nigeria our nation we are going to cry to the god of heaven and say lord you are always ahead of time go ahead of us bring salvation to this nation is someone ready to pray lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray Pray. Paraskane Sazine Katosia Kata. Kaprande Kaparatos Kotopre de Katela Kata. Is this how you're praying? Online. We pray for the church in Abuja. Every church that names the name of Christ. We intercede in the name of Jesus. New levels. Grace for salvation. Signs and wonders fire upon every altar in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus pray the works of darkness to destroy the purposes of god the works of darkness to destroy any man of god the works of darkness to destroy any work to discourage the faith of believers we curse it in the name of jesus Pray for every assembly. Lord, let there be salvation. Soul winning at another level. Soul winning at another dimension. Pray. Lord, bring increase to every church. Bring fire to every church. Bring revival to every church. Signs and wonders. The church in Abuja, we declare, you are light. A city on a hill that cannot be hidden. We decree and we prophesy. All of the six local governments in Abuja, the church is there represented. Exploits by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Now pray for every family. Begin with your family members. Pray for your children. Pray for your spouse. Pray for your siblings. Cry to the God of heaven. Arise, O oh God, like the mighty God that you are. Wipe the tears of God's people. Wipe the tears of families. Let shame and reproach, let Ichabod no longer be their testimony. Turn again the captivity of Zion like the streams of the Negev. Finally, pray for Nigeria. Go ahead and pray. Pray for the presidency. Pray for our members of Senate. Pray for the House members. Pray for the captains of industry. Pray for the teachers, the lecturers. Pray for our colleges, our universities. Pray for our hospitals. Pray for the military, the police, the paramilitary. Lord, there must be peace in this nation. If someone pray, we decree, we give him no rest till you establish Jerusalem as a praise. Shalakata branda get a ghost. Demons of bloodshed, we curse you. Demons of ritual killing, we curse you. Spirits of terrorism, there is no place for you in our border. We pray for Christians, we pray for Muslims, we pray for everyone who is upon our soil. Lord, we pray there must be peace. We pray there must be advancement in the name of Jesus. Everyone who names the name of Christ, let there be peace. From the presidency, wisdom, our parliamentarians, wisdom, businessmen, wisdom, captains of industry. When men say there is a casting down, for you it will be that there is a lifting up. We drive the coronavirus out of our territory. We lend our voices with the medical personnel. 
we prophesy peace no pandemic will cross our borders and come to destroy us we make this decree the decree of the watchers established in heaven the spirits of untimely death we cause you by the God of heaven our roads are safe the airwaves are safe two more minutes you are interceding if you do not know what to pray for as you ought to pray in the spirit we lend our voices to pray we declare an end to the works of darkness we declare an end We dethrone every other day. We dethrone every other council. In the name of Jesus, we frustrate the tokens of liars. We turn diviners mad. They will not perform their enterprise in the name of Jesus. Every family rising by the Spirit, every family excelling by the spirit every family coming into the experiential knowledge of jesus christ I pray for you in the name of Jesus let the mantle of the intercessor the grace for prayer and supplication may it come upon you tonight every laziness in your prayer life whatever has fought your prayer life that you do not know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and change things spiritually in the name of Jesus I decree and declare fresh fire upon your altar and hear me whatever has continued because your intercessory ministry was absent I stand by the grace of God and we bring an end to it now hear me Please, I want you to leave this meeting tonight knowing that at the very least you are the intercessor for your family. Start there. The dynamics of interceding for territories. There are higher and deeper levels of spiritual intelligence. There is a series on that and I will teach you. But you can start with your family. He said, destroy it not for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not. When you leave this place, you can use this night, use tomorrow, and pray. Lock yourself. Collect the prayer request from your family members. Send them a text and say, please forward me your prayer request. 
put them before the God of your salvation and begin to engage the mysteries of the kingdom pray God reveals to you something about your pastor about what he wants to do in the church put it down pray and you watch what begins to happen when a people pray in the name of Jesus Christ and I decree and declare that as you commit to the ministry of intercession let the harvest of your intercession come to you number two let the intercessory ministry open you up to deep realms of mysteries in the spirit and number three let the ministry of the intercessor multiply your authority and the power of God at work in your life you will speak over your family and heaven will stamp it you will speak over regions and territories and it will be so even by the decree of the watchers in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ and I agree with you whatever burden you came here with every service is a miracle service there might be an official season but every service once there is faith and hunger it is a miracle service therefore i agree with you that everything you came here trusting god for i release my faith with you may it become your testimony this moment in the name of jesus christ your voice lift your hands to heaven Turn this song into a desperate cry. Go ahead and pray. Halibaratus Kalibran Digi de Apashada Balatus Yeda. He Bata Sogate Palakus Yada Bata. Our highest priority is Jesus. Jesus revealed. Jesus glorified. We sing glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God forever. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God We sing glory to God Glory to God Glory to God One more time We sing glory to God Shabala kusawa I love you forever. I love you forever. I love you forever, Lord. Sing it from the depth of your heart. I love you forever. I love you. Forever, be lifted forever, be lifted forever, Lord. In and through my life, be lifted, be lifted forever, be lifted forever, be lifted forever. Be lifted forever. Be lifted forever. Hosanna, Lord, Hosanna, forever. Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. We worship, we worship, we worship the King of kings and the Lord of lords. One more time, Hosanna to your name.
Father, we're only here tonight because of your grace. We're here tonight because you are God, the King of all kings, the Lord of lords. We bow our hearts to worship you and to declare how much we love you. We have come to know. Spare me two or three minutes and let's pray. This is important for your destiny. We are going to be praying. Lord, I am prepared to begin to command the supernatural in my life. I'm tired of an ordinary Christian life. I'm tired of a life that is barren of results. I want to begin to manifest extraordinary results in my life in a way that brings glory to the name of the Lord. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice everywhere, inside, outside, the overflows. Go ahead and pray. Shabakatoska de brandeke la haska de baya. Kratega de brandeke skosiga de balaku sabra askidia. Is someone praying? Lord, help my own belief. Let my faith come alive. Let my faith come alive in the name of Jesus. Resting on the integrity of your word, resting on your ability. Let my faith come alive. I am ready to walk by faith, live by faith, talk by faith, command results by faith. Pray just one more minute. Declare over your life every aspect of your life by the ministry of the word by the ministry of faith i'm commanding results in the name of jesus results that bring glory to the name of the lord in jesus name i pray Lift your hands, everyone, everywhere. Give him all the praise. The mighty God. Go ahead and worship him. Are you praying? Hey, Balako Sapran de Gede Balato Sadebrachia. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, Faithful and true, Lamb of God, I worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, You're the Lamb of God, I worship you. You're the Lamb of God, I worship you. Elohim Adonai. Elohim Adonai. Sheba kaparuda siga de balados. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona.
Go ahead and bless him in the spirit. Mighty God. Consuming fire, sweet perfume, your awesome presence fills this place. Consuming fire, sweet perfume. Your awesome presence will be strong. Consuming fire, sweet perfume. Your awesome presence will be strong. This is holy ground this is holy ground this is holy ground this is holy ground oh come and bow Mm. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the God of the heavens. My soul doth magnify the Lord. We extol you, King of the ages. Is someone worshiping? You came. to stretch, to bow, to worship before the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King of Zion. Shalaka subren degede balakoska de satya. Let all that is within me worship your majesty. We worship, we join the 20 and 4 elders. We join the host of heaven. And we shabak he who was, he who is, and the one to come. Thank you, Jesus. Fill this place, your Shekinah, the weightiness of your presence, manifest in our midst, the presence and the power that heals, the presence and the power that delivers, the presence and the power that lifts, to you be all the glory. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise, pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. 
needs your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise we pour out our praise it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise to you only it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise we pour out our praise it's your breath in our Lord, so we pour out our praise to you only. Yeah. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our Lord. So we pour out our praise, we pour out our praise, it's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only in this place. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. The Lord is speaking to someone. And in this atmosphere of worship, the Lord is giving me a prophetic word. I believe that this is for a number of people following and here remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold the key word is behold don't worry about what i'm doing i already told you the thoughts i think towards you they are not thoughts of evil the key word is behold can you take your eyes away from what you have been looking at the disappointments the failure the news the key word is behold remember not the former things behold that is a prophetic word for you behold do you not see that i'm already doing something why are you dwelling in yesterday when i have moved into your tomorrow this is what the spirit of god is saying no one makes progress dwelling in yesterday behold behold is a prophetic word for you behold with your spirit behold with the eyes of faith Behold the healing, behold the lifting, behold the rising, behold the dawning of a new season. Remember ye not the former things, nor consider the things of old. For behold, behold, regardless what I do, if you do not behold, you will not see. Behold, it takes faith to behold. It takes courage to behold. We're going to be seated shortly, but the Lord is healing people with blood diseases. This is what this is what I'm seeing. Blood diseases of all sorts everything that has to do with blood infections right in hospitals and even in this place right now in the name of jesus in partnership with the spirit of the living god we bring the life and the power and the healing that flows from his throne ruach hakodesh the spirit of the living god We bring healing over blood conditions right now. Let genotypes change now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let sickly conditions change now. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
in the name of Jesus Christ hmm. the Lord is bringing healing to a particular lady you've started having symptoms of it looks like a lump in your breast but the devil has been ministering to you that this could be cancerous and you've been thinking of cancer cancer you've been reading up on it in fact but right now in the name of jesus we decree and declare that that demonic lump leaves your body this instance it leaves your body this instance The Lord is ministering to me that he's bringing people into a season of financial release. I'm, I'm seeing people, there are all kinds of monies tied down, tied down in businesses, tied down. It looks like it is there, but it has not been able to reach you in the name of Jesus. He said, lose that cold. And when they ask you, say the master had need of it. Therefore, by prophecy, we lose that financial cold the master had need of it let it be released to you right now please believe it let it be released to you right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that you lose the cold and when they ask you why you lose it tell them it is because the master had need of it for someone here here is the prophetic word for you you may not see the wind you may not see the rain yet i have spoken that your valley shall be filled with water you may not see the wind don't ask how it will happen just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child not the way of the wind so also you do not know the ways of god but let that miracle manifest all the same in the name of jesus christ it is by the power of the Holy Ghost. Please be sensitive. I'm not wasting your time, I assure you. Shall I go see There are two men of God here. The Lord is saying the season of pruning is coming to an end. This is what the Lord is saying. The season of pruning. You've been through very deep spiritual seasons of pruning that there is a birthing of something supernatural within your spirit and God has been showing you that the mantle that is coming upon you by reason of the pruning is for the nations it's not just for your church it's not just for your local environment it is for the nations therefore I pray that you receive the stamina to stand the final days of your pruning the stamina to, to stand the final moments before your glory is unveiled in the name of Jesus Christ. Hala sene in the shalako ziata brakatu ziata. Grande gebala sada brande gebala haski badu shiata. Shaida skina sabara suzi haski anda alakos katibrea ato shalaba. Kraga bagado shali lele suparu epash. Man sena shalasku praka gata pakarutia periande zanina shunahasi pragato skali de gabariaka egene sendule hasene no hasigata baraka tuskia kadebrente gadusa sige de maligina mahaskiata prakate kete prakatos kadila katebrendi gedia brindo shalina koriata kaprende kaskidi balata. my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and i am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn ah! Believe me, I'm just seeing a river flowing. This service tonight is bringing people into dimensions. Cubits are being measured in the spirit. And people are being 
pushed into deeper levels of the anointing Let's just take a minute or two and allow the glory to just rest upon your life sometimes all you need to do is to just be silent in his presence and let that shekinah rest upon you when his glory comes it comes to change it comes to lift mm. just stay in that glory let it change you let it build you Sabranda gede bele katos abrahas gadi bele na kusha priata katos. Kalata prande ge baruziata. It is not those who rush on God. It is those who wait. We must learn to wait. Sometimes we are in a hurry, a hurry for everything, a hurry for miracles, a hurry for transformation. It is they that wait upon the Lord. There is power in waiting. There is power in waiting. It takes faith to wait. let him do the work he's doing go ahead for some of you there is a circumcision happening within your spirit a cutting away of every limitation and every hindrance there is that that circumcision allow his majesty move upon your life and move upon your destiny one more minute these are the mysteries of his presence these are the mysteries of encounters one is the law of waiting you must wait if you want to behold his power and his glory you must learn to wait there is healing when we wait there is restoration when we wait there is speed when we wait there is revelation when we wait there is empowerment when we wait there is renewal when we wait Thank you Jesus for your marvelous presence in the midst of your people we have come with open hearts oh let the ancient words impart they are ancient words ever true Changing me and changing you We have come with open hearts Oh let the ancient words I have come with open hearts Oh let the ancient words Lord, we declare in the name of Jesus that tonight will indeed be one night that we will not forget in a hurry. We thank you for what you are already doing in our lives. This is what we get for trusting you. Enough 
to come before you with hearts broken hearts humbled hearts expectant we pray in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god that no one here and no one following no one connecting by faith will leave disappointed tonight and we vow that whilst you transform whilst you heal whilst you deliver we decree and declare that through our transformations through our healings through our deliverances through the diverse manifestations of your presence jesus and him alone will be enthroned revealed and glorified even in our midst for in jesus name we pray god bless you please be seated on we are going to pray please even if you have never done it for one minute i want you to cry before the god of heaven this is my season of encounter with unction lord i open up my spirit go ahead and pray go ahead and pray pray let a man so account of us stewards of the mysteries of the kingdom moreover it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful cry unto God there are ministers who might be watching there are business people, there are politicians. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. I knew that I had an apostolic call upon my life, but I didn't know that I had the grace. This grace they call the kingmaker anointing. This is for politics and governance. I'm not saying it because I'm, I'm, I fear God. I'm, I'm not into politics. Go and read about Samuel. There are graces you can literally enthrone people. That's what I told you in Koinonia. You don't invite people and say, Rich people, come. You make them by the anointing. Can I tell you this? Please do not allow the devil cheat you tonight. I know there are people who say, Forget about this man of God. They are, they are all proud people. They all talk nonsense. I beseech you by the message of God. You are not discerning, you will pay the price for nothing. Only a sure will reign forever. To his kingdom there will be no end. Hallelujah. I remember there was a year this will be about the first time I'm making this kind of statement. There was a year that I had an audience with a particular politician somewhere. And I don't know what they told him about me. We had a nice time and he sat down. I'm not one who will go and start prophesying. I don't do that. It's not. I have an apostolic call. My focus is the edification of the body. And I looked at this man and he wanted to contest for something and honestly it is not pride but in my mind i said oh dear if this man it looked to me like jesus at the well with the samaritan woman i said oh dear the hymn writer said oh what needless pain we bear at the end of it he was just speaking english you know sometimes these are wonderful politicians can be proud people they think every man of god is looking for money and all of that and i was looking he never requested for prayer he never requested for anything he was just making noise and i looked at him and when he finished talking i told him i said i'm sorry sir but i want to speak to you and he was just making a jest and sarcasm and i said go and write it you will win your primaries but you will never win the election and he was laughing because it was impossible based on what he wrote 
I said, I know you have met men of God who prophesied and spoke because of monies that you gave them. But you will know that there are certain people who are remnants indeed. When this guy won the primaries, he was happy, very sarcastic statement and all of that. And when he lost the election, it was a shock. I remember I went to preach somewhere and they said, ah, the man had I was around, he wanted to see me. I said, please don't bring that person there. No, I don't hate him. I don't fight with anybody. But can I tell you, please don't generalize people. There are people God has honored. I'm saying this for a reason. There is human worship. It is wrong. There are men of God who make themselves Alpha and Omega. The Bible says to minister according to the measure of grace. If you have not been anointed to enthrone government and enthrone people and you are just making noise, the disappointment will make the people arrest you one day and lock you because the grace is not on you. But can I tell you, God's system of king, priest, prophet has not failed. There are still men that God has anointed. There are graces that can enthrone. This is not just for politicians. A man overnight, you can send one word. Was it not Elijah who said, by this time? You've heard the testimonies. This is, there's nothing in this ministry that is stage managed. I want you to pray that one prayer. What dimension do you see God lifting you? Pray that the grace and the unction that will make it happen. Just help those under the anointing. Please pray. Believe me, there are mighty angelic activities happening in this place now. Dimensions in ministry. Dimensions in business. Dimensions in governance. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. Please pray. Please pray. Show us the ancient path. Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. I want to pray for you now. He that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet. I want to pray for you. And I want you to believe what is coming upon you. You will command the supernatural. As many as we are here, so are our needs. And every dimension requires a grace. Therefore, I stand by the privilege of this election of grace. I stretch my hands from the north to the south. Barash Kadia. I'm telling you, I'm just in fire. This is what I'm saying. At the count of three, the unction required for the next season of your life. In the name of Jesus, help them please. At the count of three, like fire from heaven, it will come upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace now. Take that, help them please, my God. Take that grace now. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ, take that grace now. Help that woman, please. Take that grace now. Superior anointings. Parike, take it, take it up. Man of God, woman of God, I call for the apostolic. I call for the prophetic. I call for the evangelistic. Receive that grace. Take that unction. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for those in business. That grace of an entrepreneur. The grace that can subdue systems and structures and give you visibility. May that anointing rest upon you now. May that anointing rest upon you now.
the anointing that brings speed into the life of a man acceleration is a possibility in this kingdom therefore i stretch my hands may that man to rest upon you now speed in destiny speed in your life help that woman please speed in your life I want to pray for you there is an anointing for influence and visibility you can do all you can and your generation will not know you are there but there is an unction that can come upon you and cause your voice to be heard I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice and for those who are following and connecting by faith for some of you this anointing you will literally feel something Physically coming on you as I'm praying in the name of the grace for visibility right now, right now. May that unction come upon you. May that unction come upon you. May that grace come upon you. Let me pray for everyone here who is part of this spiritual family and you are into politics and governance. The grace that enthrones in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, may that unction rest upon you right now. Marvelously rest upon you right now. Hear me when it has to do with wealth and abundance there are principles of productivity value exchange increase relationships negotiations and all these are valid financial principles but there is a prophetic dimension to wealth there is wealth that comes from heaven he said by this time tomorrow I want to pray for you because for many people and many families this is the area of engracing things have been tied in your life I want you to believe it don't let the devil tell you that there is no prophetic dimension to wealth and by a prophet the Lord God brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they were preserved I pray for you everyone who is in Egypt financially hear the word of the lord i prophesy to you come out now come out now come out now the eyes that has refused to see you and favor you i open that eyes to see you The hand that has refused to whoever is responsible for partnership with the Holy Ghost for your rising by reason of this unction I declare your rising is confirmed now hallelujah hear me there are many of us who desire to walk in signs and wonders genuine miracles not fake stage managed miracles genuine healings genuine deliverance genuine signs and wonders some of you are here you are men of god some of you you are here into missions but it looks like there is no result some of you are even pastors and in all honesty you do not have consistent predictable ever increasing results by the privilege of the election of grace i stretch my hands towards you and i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead step into the realm of the miraculous now the final impartation and we're done see believe me when i tell you honor and favor 
are real. No matter how sincere you are, no matter what level of character and integrity you have, if you do not have the grace for honor and the grace for favor, you will not go far. Believe me when I tell you this. I want to pray that grace upon your life. It was a grace I pursued with hunger in my heart. And when it came, I knew it had come. Take over, take over. I have come to the end of my son. Take over, Jehovah. I have touched. Something is happening in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I have come to the end of my There is an anointing called the Esther anointing. It was in 2010. 2009, 2010. God opened my eyes to this mystery of the Esther anointing. The grace that can pick you from Shushan and put you to sit in the palace. I stretch my hands right now. May that mantle for honor and favor that came upon Hadassah, may that grace rest upon you now. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. The grace that enthroned. Haman will not stop you. In the name of Jesus Christ. From today, everything that represents shame, an embargo of shame and disappointment over your life, I tear it like a veil in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. For some of you, I prophesy to you, between now and Sunday, I stand by the God of heaven and I decree and declare, every day of this week will open you up to a new chapter of strange manifestation hear me by reason of this grace you carry there are battles you will not need to fight the jealousy of god will arise and fight it for you where your father could not cross where your mother could not cross hear me what limited your father what limited your mother what limited those who had gone ahead of you i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i scatter it before you right now i scatter it before you right now in the name of jesus christ everybody who has forgotten you because there were demonic manipulations that took you away from their memory they promised they will be there and help you but as it is right now you will pass them and it's as if they are not seeing you go back with this unction this night and watch the wonder walking power of jesus Wave your hands to Jesus and give him praise. Wave it to the king. You can, you can engage it. Just because you are born again does not automatically, you have to engage it with understanding. Are you ready to pray now? Please lift your voice in one minute and begin to pray. The blood is our, our basis for access. Plead the blood upon your life, your finances, your family. That everything that gives the devil legal access over my health, over my life, over my joy, over my peace, over my church, 
over my spiritual life i stand by the blood of the eternal covenant and i decree and i declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god that blood that speaks better things than the blood of abel that blood that advocates my release that blood that advocates my freedom satan the lord rebuke you the blood is against you satan the lord rebuke you failure the lord rebuke you setbacks the lord rebuke you someone pray the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you the lord rebuke you don't be tired of praying the flesh may be weak but the spirit is willing it's been waiting for this chance so that a door be opened over you once and for all Are you praying? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are still praying. 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 9. 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 9. There are many of us there are doors that have been opened the truth is when you go to god and say open the door he will tell you i've opened it but another spirit has stood in the place of that door to close it and stop you from passing a great door an effectual is opened unto me he said but there are many so adversaries don't just follow men they follow doors they stand at the corridors of doors they know that anyone who enters this door is going to the next season. Can I tell you this? Look at me, please. Doors connect rooms to rooms. Doors midwife seasons. Between one season and another is a door. Between your kitchen and your living room is a door. So you doors are systems of transition. When that door is closed, you will remain in the same season for a long time someone is ready to break that door open are you ready to pray now you are going to pray that every door doors of ministry doors of influence doors of power doors of higher levels of grace you are going to engage by the power of the spirit those doors must be open right now lift your voice and pray please pray like a priest someone is praying doors be open in the name of jesus every spirit assigned by the devil to stand at the corridor of one season connecting another in my life i come against you i engage by the blood of the lamb i engage by the power of the word in the name of jesus christ go ahead and swing those doors open Go ahead and swing those doors open. We are praying. Your life must carry a testimony of the goodness and the mercy and the grace of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. This next prayer point, please listen. If you are a man of God, if you are in business, if you are a leader, anything you are doing that demands influence, please pay attention to this next prayer point. Can I tell you this? One of the greatest areas of attack of Satan over believers is their influence. What is your influence? Your capacity to compel men to buy into your ideologies. The kingdom advances 
based on evangelism and influence not evangelism alone satan fights the influence of men what does it mean to fight your influence to fight your relevance to fight your voice so that your voice cannot speak are we together two scriptures are you tired be patient oh we are going to pray this morning are we together hmm. zechariah chapter 1 from verse 18 I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. I lay me down and I slept. Help that woman under the anointing. The power of God is coming on someone at the back. For the Lord sustained me. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me my glory the lift zechariah chapter 1 and verse 18 god is opening someone's eyes right now hallelujah please there are two people just two people i'm i just saw light from here from the stage the power of god just coming on two people and I'm seeing a circle just come to an end. Please help them. Two people. I just saw that light. I don't know where they are. Just, just help them right now. The power of God. That light. The Lord is saying that there is a season. By this prayer, as simple as it is, the Lord is bringing an end to that season. An end to that season. Zechariah 1 and verse 18, please. Goodness. Then lifted I up my eyes and saw and i beheld four horns how many 19. and he said and the angel said unto me what be these and he answered i said unto the angel what be these and he answered these are the horns which have scattered my praise my covenant and my peace three things these horns fight my praise my covenant and my peace verse 20 and the lord showed me four carpenters 21 now he gives perspective to what i saw let's go to verse 21 i said what come these to do the horns now and he said these are the horns which have scattered judah read with me so that verse 21 keep 21 so that no man did lift up will you see the horns physically you will just know you are trying to rise it's like there is a peg over your influence many years ago in zaria when i was in zaria the lord because it's a highly islamic place you know that and you know the all kinds of spirits and rituals happen daily the lord gave me an instruction a prophetic instruction now this is not a doctrine this i'm just sharing my experience from a, a very far i don't know what distance i would i would you know place here in abuja but the lord asked me from that place to start walking and prophesying over the entire land let me tell you i walked a distance that will be at least 45 minutes to an hour not exercise so praying and commanding the forces that northern horn that would not stop the purposes of god to rise to bring it down can i tell you those horns can go down if they meet the right voice that speaks to them there are controlling powers in every region you can be in a city and yet spiritually you are out of that city because the gates have not been opened believe me when i tell you this hmm. you can have a business within a city and wonder why the doors are not opened the door to your influence why does satan fight influence i will tell you because he knows that when your voice truly becomes a voice 
it will be easy for God to transform people in a moment through your voice. Is that true? You believe that Satan would have wanted this conference to hold? Look at the lives that have been changed because of one man's obedience through this conference. Satan is a determined fighter. That's why you can see you're a businessman. But you are fighting in the spirit like a preacher. Because you are the only one calling yourself a businessman. Satan is not calling you a businessman. You are as much a threat as an evangelist to him. He does not care what you do. The moment he finds out that there is potential to glorify Jesus, you are a threat. Acts chapter 12. Please be patient We are praying. It takes stamina to pray. Acts chapter 12, let's begin our reading from verse 1. Acts chapter 12. Now about that time, please look up. Herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church. Verse 2 now. The Bible says he killed James. You see the killer again. That thief that comes to steal. He killed James the brother of John with the sword. Verse 3. The Bible says, and because he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further. Look at this. Every time you allow darkness to continue, it proceeds further. I can tell you the first thing Satan does in your life is not all he intends to do. He will test you and watch your reaction. When you quietly, passively explain it away, he proceeds further. He started by bringing headache. He says it's just a slight headache. Now you are feeling a pain and you are hearing in your ears cancer. If you don't attack it, he will proceed further. Satan never gives his best shot. He will test and see. If you keep quiet and you do not attack, he will proceed further. Please keep that scripture. He proceeded further to take Peter also. So he started with your finances, you kept quiet. Now he's peeling over into your marriage because you have given him room. The Bible says they were the days of unleavened bread. Verse 3, verse 4 now. And the Bible says, and when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him. Can you imagine this level of bondage? All to shut his voice. I hope, do you know why Satan was attacking these people? They were the three people who went with Jesus to the Mount of Transfiguration. Satan was selecting them intelligently to kill them. They are the threefold cord that make the apostolic formation. Peter, James, and John. Now they had killed James. He caught Peter now. See what happened to John. Intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Verse 5. Hallelujah. Read with me. It says... Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. What happened? Verse 6. When Herod would have brought him forth the same night, that's how effective prayer can be. Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains and the keepers before the door of the prison. Watch what prayer does. Behold, an angel of the Lord in response to prayer. Could it be that they neglected something to have killed James? Because the same angels that came here showed that they were readily available. Could it be that there was something they neglected that James paid the price for? Now they were wiser and said, we will not let this happen again. And he smote Peter on the side and raised him up saying, arise up quickly. And the chains fell off from his hands. Follow with discernment now. And the Bible says, verse 8, The angel said unto him, Guard thyself and bind on thy sandals. And he did so. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. Verse 9. And he went out and followed him. And wist not that it was true, which was done by the angel, but thought he, was, he saw a vision. Verse 10. Now, this is where I want you to get the revelation of influence. When they were past the first and second gate, there were three gates that Peter needed to pass to go out back to the city. When Satan withdrew him from the city, he used three gates to lock him. The first gate opened. The second gate opened. 
Then the Bible says they came to the iron gate that leaded to where? There is a gate that leads to the city. The city is the place of visibility. Is the place of influence. And he said there is a gate that if it does not happen, open. The city will never know you are there. The iron gate that leads to the city. The Bible says it opened of its own accord. Can I tell you? I know you are doing business. I know you are doing ministry. I know you are doing what you are doing. But has that third gate been opened? You may not be in the prison, but you may not also be in the city. The city is the place of visibility. It's where God makes news with you. The next prayer point is that we are going to smash that gate that opens to the city. The gate that controls visibility and influence. Hear me. There are many of us in this city who have products and services that should be patronized at an institutional level. And yet, because of that, that gate does not seem to be open. And the city cannot receive you. One time, I, I spoke with a gentleman, an architect, and sincerely, I stand before God to tell you, when I saw what this gentleman was, you know, what he was doing, I thought to myself, I said, this man should not even be in Nigeria. What level of intelligence? Have you applied anything? He said, yes. When gifted people suffer like they are not gifted, the iron gate has shut them. Because according to the law of value, your visibility should make room for you. It should bring you before great men. If the gate is open, Joseph, you may have the ability to interpret dreams and profess solution, but there is an iron gate that stops you. Midwife in Pharaoh, the palace, your place of honor, and where you are is that gate. Is someone ready to pray? In the name of Jesus, lift your voice and pray. And decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Someone pray. The iron gate over your ministry. The iron gate over your business, your family, your endeavor. That gate that fights your influence and your visibility. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. In the name of Jesus command that gates to be open not just for you let it be open so your children can pass he said who is this king of glory the lord strong and mighty the lord mighty in battle lift up your heads O ye gates be ye lifted ancient doors pray Gates of influence, Ephata, be open. Gates of wealth, Ephata, be open. Gates of relevance for the kingdom and for the sake of his majesty, be open. Someone decree, someone decree, don't be silent. In the name of Jesus. Last prayer point. <laughs> Please look up. How do you know the gate has opened? Mark chapter 1. How do you know the gates of visibility has opened for you. Mark chapter 1. Please let me encourage you. Whoever did not come to church this morning, please give them this teaching. Buy it and go and give them. Buy the CDs and use it as a blessing and tell them, look, I know you will get blessed in other sessions, but something happened this morning that I want you to be part of. Mark chapter 1, let's start from verse 34. How do I know? that the gates of influence and visibility has been opened unto me. And he healed many that were sick of diverse diseases and cast out many devils and suffered not the devils to speak because they knew him. Yes, please. And the Bible says, and in the morning, rising a great while before day, he went out and departed into a solitary place there to pray. Now, 36 and 37 gives you the secret this is the litmus test 
you know that the gates have been opened. The Bible says, and Simon and they that were with him did what? Followed after. When you are walking alone, that gate is not yet open. When they begin to see that light rise from you, and the Bible says 37, read 37. And when they had found him, what did they say? They said unto him, all men. Let me explain what all men means. All men does not just mean many men. <clears throat> the Bible did not say many men. Do you know what all men means? All men means all systems, all structures, all works of life. You can have poor men look for you based on the value you provide. You can have wealthy men look for you based on the value you provide. You can have your tribesmen look for you. Is that true? You can have children look for you. You can have elders look for you. You can have diplomats look for you. But when that gate is truly open, all men means professionals, the poor, the rich, the old, the young, governments, gatekeepers. This is how you know that the gate has been opened. Can I tell you this? There are many of us, what you do would have found greater visibility if certain men had come to you. Are we together? Can we still add one more prayer? Are you tired? Now you know what it means when the gates are open. Look at the kind of people who have come to you seeking for you. It says even the king shall entreat your favor. All men your business, your life, who has come to glean of the wisdom of the spirit from your life? All men. Because there is a shofar in the realm of the spirit. When Gideon sounded that shofar, 30,000 people, don't ask where they came from. They came to hear the wisdom of God upon his life. Can I tell you, when this gate is open, the presidents of nations can come to you and say, listen, I have discerned that the counsel of God is upon you and I will pay whatever price it takes to hear God speak through you. Is someone ready to pray? I'd like you to declare and call for the nations, call for the classes of people that must be captured in your destiny in this season. To make for your advancement and to make for your revival. Lift your voice and pray. All men. All men seek for thee. All men. Politicians. All men. Gatekeepers. All men. Spiritual people. All men. Those in need for salvation. All men. Those in need for transformation. All men gifted people all men burden bearers all men divine connectors all men men of influence and captains of industry because this gate is now open i command the ministry of all men all men in the name of jesus christ hallelujah Let me give us one more prayer point. When it was time for Jesus to step into Jerusalem, the Bible says he was in need of a donkey. He did not have that donkey, but he needed the donkey. And he said, go to a place where the roads divide. He said, you will find a colt. It is there, but there is a condition. It is tied. The money that will make the prophecy God said about me not look like a lie is there, but it is time. The destiny helper who has been sent by God to hold my hands in this season so that I be not discouraged, the person is there. Tired. Can I tell you, when something is not there, and when it is there and tied, is the same result you will get. And he said that cult was designed. I have never seen an adult cult that no man had ridden on. What was the owner doing with it then? That means a hand was keeping it specially. That cult became an adult cult. 
and no man had written on it he said when you get there don't just tell it to come it wanted to come all the while but it was time he said i desire to come to you again even i paul once and again but satan hindered us and he said when lose it whilst you are losing it chances are excellent that somebody will confront you when they ask you tell them the master Barako Siata. we're about to call some things in our lives now and if the devil says why your answer is the master we're in the season right now why should this new level of anointing come to my life the master had need of it why should my child come in this season the master had need of it why should i acquire my own property in this season the master had need of it is someone ready to pray open your mouth and begin to lose everything that has been sent to you by prophecy lose that next season of your spiritual life lose that next season of your destiny lose the finances allocated for you and if they ask you why tell them it's because i'm in a season where the master had need of my efficiency the master has need of my spirituality the master has need of my resourcefulness the master has need of my influence the king has made a demand and i must respond therefore gates of poverty be shut the king has made a call upon my spiritual life therefore gates of backsliding be shut the king has made a demand on my efficiency in ministry therefore gates of stagnation be shut someone is praying And if they ask you tell them the master had need of it the master has need of my finances in this season the master has need of my prayer stamina in this season the master had need of the spirit of revelation that is upon me the master has need there is a triumphant entry that must happen through my life must happen through my destiny the master has need of the cold therefore lose that cold lose that cold the cold that no man had written on ever you are right now as I'm praying the power of God is resting upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ every joint pain hear the word of the lord i declare be healed now yes. now every other situation whether i mentioned it or not in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you inside outside everywhere i bring you life and healing in jesus name yes. life and healing in jesus name yes. life and healing in jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe 
Yes, Lord, I believe you're the Son of God. Lord, I believe. I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe. Yes, Lord, I believe you're the Son of God. One more time. We believe. Say. Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. All right. Please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done now very quickly go ahead so apostle this sister here has had migraine for like five years migraine and what happened to you now praise the lord i i came with a very severe headache which is i'm very used to it so i came and i was like maybe it have started again i went to the restroom to watch my eyes because of yes my eye in my and brain. what happened now i went to collect my stomach but when, during the service i felt a cold sensation in my body yes and everything has completely gone. gone it never returns to you again in the name of jesus celebrate jesus so, sir, interestingly you mentioned the case of yes, fibroid, sir. yes sir particularly for this lady when you were praying for her and she has an amazing testimony to share with go her. ahead yes please praise god when papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid and i was down there i fell onto the anointing and Later, I, I was checking myself since then, and I, the, there is a swollen here before. But oh, there, there was a swelling. Yes, you could feel it yes. right now. No, check it. I, 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 I tried. Check, I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that swollen. It's gone. it's gone. Are you are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with with an evident swelling, and now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit, yes, sir. So for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain inside my throat. Okay. I can whenever I'm swallowing any saliva, saliva, I feel serious pain. So I had to visit the pharmacist. They gave me this thing to be taking. Yes. From time to time, and I have a tablet too. But immediately, you just called that. I felt this. I see something. Something felt, just. Felt. And I swallowed saliva. I want to swallow saliva. I had to take one of these, spit in my mouth before I could feel it. And right pain. now, I feel better. in the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defects. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light? For how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh huh. Yes. And right now? I can you can look at this light yes, and it has no effect on you my goodness are you celebrating jesus <laughs> complete healing for you right now yes please very quickly severe back pain for the past one year you couldn't bend down but now you could bend down bend my down friend comfortably and bend down any pain any pain in the name of jesus it never returns to you by the power of the holy spirit yes please you gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain our mommy has had it for about some years now but now Mama, how, four long, years how now, long has it been like four years four years yes. sometimes it blocks uh, it's like there's something there so sometimes when i'm eating it sort of chokes and what happened to you now i can't feel that completely pain. breathe in and out breathe in and out any pain let's celebrate jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother it will never return to you again in the name of jesus yes pastor jakes yes go ahead sir Apostle, sorry, medical thing we're actually verifying an interesting okay. testimony here. Yeah? Wow. Please come. So she had she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir. And amazingly, God touched her. What yes. happened, my dear? What's your name and good evening, sir? My name is Abby. Whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had At suffered this, a can, stroke. Can you amplify the volume, technical help us with the volume? I um, said to myself, I said her own is more than mine. That means I can get my healing. And whilst I was sitting there, I started moving my legs. It, it How was, did you come here? I, I could move, but I always felt the okay. small, small yes. thing. And then on my lips as well, it's, it's numb. It was numb. Your and lips? Then, yes. And then whilst you were praying, my head, if I held my head like this and shake it, it would ache like it was very heavy. 
But as you prayed, there was a cold sensation. And even as I do. My dear, look at me. Look, she's even surprised. Walk. Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe. What can you do? What can you do? Jesus. Name above say. Name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Can you imagine the devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady my dear she's surprised look at this look at me in the name of jesus we agree with you that devil goes now never to return in the name of jesus yes sir all right sir so apostle again mama here has been experiencing severe pain aside from her finger then it actually moved into other locations. are you seeing what god is doing now yes. mama what happened to you i told god today to give me a first time miracle even here here i took paracetamol here today why city when i came since you morning. took paracetamol here yes sir yes and now i'm not feeling any check yourself <laughs> check yourself look at this look at this in the name of jesus christ it will never return to you by the power of the holy spirit the lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you in Jesus name I pray are you ready go ahead oh my god look there's at this mighty, there's a mighty miracle here look she, at this she was supported she couldn't walk she was supported to come here my dear but the power look at of me. God talked her since last year oh uh, look, look how the lady is my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I rebuke that spirit I lose you right now let her try look at me she was headed here she couldn't walk she couldn't walk yes walk walk apostle this is our mother oh this is her mother yes sir mama what is are you her mother she, yes this was decided for uh, uh, national hospital on friday what happened to her just like that he fed her does this thing look just like that every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life in the name of jesus i curse it now look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady just like that no stretch your hands towards her as the house of god in one minute let's declare perfection over this miracle lord this that you have begun this lady will not die this lady will not die this lady will not die in the name of jesus whatever is wrong we bring correction and perfection in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you very quickly there are two cases of swollen hands she said last year since she gave birth her hand got swollen and let me hear her what happened to you straight to the point madam okay apostle i gave birth last year december 13th so my hand began to swell up gradually and then your hand yes this place uh-huh uh-huh begin to swell up and then i could not move it very well and then if i move i have this severe pain. and right now and right now i receive move it pain. look at this since she gave birth she could not move her hand my dear in the name of jesus you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the holy spirit affliction will not rise a second time in jesus name it's another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of god what happened to you i came back from work on friday nothing happened to my hands my hands started paining me i could not sleep in the night yes this night too i could not sleep but immediately i stepped down here i could bring down my hand i could use it to stretch myself raise it dance. up bring it down raise it up any pain you are perfected right now in the name of jesus christ yes yes sir so apostle god has touched another mama oh dear <laughs> all right so mama came in from joss and she actually said she actually came in she was taking some drugs and i think i'll what happened to, to you ma i had uh, pains 
waist pain and then uh, abdominal pain. When you were praying, I was having severe pain. I even took my drug when I was inside my car coming from just. But when you were praying, after the prayer... It's, it's gone now. Check yourself. Any pain? Completely. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. amen and amen. Who is ready? Yes. So we, we have this brother that had pain. I have abdominal pain. It has been long. It come up and stop. But when you are praying for someone that have abdominal pain, so I get in and hold my hand on my smoke. But and right now, it's gone. gone. Yes. It will never return to you again. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargements. Now the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in any group. Prostrate. So the prostrate. difficulty in the urination. So immediately you prayed that prayer. He called his brother and he asked the brother and the father to go and heal himself. And now the father is jumping, healed, but jumping powerfully. Where? Healed. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. In Enugu State, yes. My yes. goodness. I sent I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my, my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself. And he told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State, in the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave word of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He ulcer. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it and now the ulcer symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now. Let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so, let's hear you first. Sir, he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down. I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my chest tree, I fell down from a tree. Hit my waist and You chest. fell down from a tree? Yes, sir. And I can't like bend down. Throughout last year, I couldn't do any serious Bend problem. down now. If I should bend down for like five minutes, I'll start shivering. Bend so down I, now. I try to bend down and I still feel myself. Okay. There is nothing. Oh my God. And just when I was having difficulty, at times my breath will start like it will cease. I complain to my parents, like, at times my breath will, will just stop. And, and stop right now you are healed. Life. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apost let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. Do you know? I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one Apostle, or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, Whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter man. Um, Whenever I got a job, okay. I'll feel bitter mouth, and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see I, what we are saying? Very demonic situation. This is not an issue of sickness. What happened to you now? Um, I'm completely. completely everything you have lost let there be a restoration for you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a restoration for you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen so apostle here several cases of migraine and you know healings in the truth migraine I'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here it's like she wants us to hear her testimony 
Glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes, these eyes, to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes for the past three years, but it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the us. one that was walking. Yes, this is one that is walking. And I could read from what, this. Don't this worry. Time. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Can I tell you, losing your eye is not a good thing believe me believe me losing your eye is not a good thing there were miracles that jesus would heal one and leave the rest but not blindness when he saw blindness he insisted that their eyes were open in the name of jesus we agree with you as the house of god perfection for you you go back and you live a normal life with joy this is what you get for coming to the house of god in jesus name and diabetes by the way you said it we we we, we curse that spirit right now in jesus name i pray amen and amen ah uh, for the sake of time we may not be able to take all one by one but can i agree with you for all of you who have received miracles in the name of jesus it remains permanent with you and I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. When we pray like this, it's because we believe in the God that can hear and can act. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I receive answers by faith. I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here. For those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones, go ahead and, and release your faith. In the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? Shapranda gatos kate predege de belekatos. All the overflows. You are praying now. Lord, step in. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Remember the last component: faith. Release your faith. God is doing miracles right now.
Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. Every spirit that is back of these tragedies, we declare let judgment come upon them now in the name of Mike that is working praise the Lord okay thank you for those of you who have put timing timing to your requests in the name of Jesus it will not delay by a day let me repeat it again if you have put timing on your request i prophesy to you it will not delay by one day whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered in the name of jesus we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn and we give you what is rightfully yours every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the spirit for this request to be answered we put pressure on them now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this prophetically and i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ it will never be an issue of concern for you again The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home, whatever. Anything that is a point of contact. Please believe. Believe in prophetic instructions. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. I stretch my hands over these points of contact, whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god prophetically i lay my hands on every one of these contacts and i declare i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me? For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. Everyone lifting your credentials by faith.
trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for it is my season it is my season in the name of Jesus I am after the order of the sons of Issachar it is my season declare pray 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 let it be from the depth of your heart that which is my portion in the spirit i obtain by faith that is which is my portion in the spirit and in destiny i lay claim by the power that is in the name of jesus One more minute. Segete belegete paroda siata balakus. Segete belegete praska de balakata parus. Shato prasko de brandi gete balakus siata baladaba. Pray in your way to victory. Pray in your way to new dimensions. Pray in your way to higher levels in the spirit. Pray in your way into testimonies. The manifestations of the speakings of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now we are still going to pray one last prayer point before you be seated i want you to mention everything that must live your life this night mention it by yourself as an act of faith for those following you can stand in for your children everything that is not in the word everything that is inconsistent with the speakings of god you are going to pray prophetically and declare that it lives finally go ahead and pray lift your voice and pray Lift your voice and pray. Parasobakata. That barrenness situation, that situation of shame and reproach, limitation in progress, I declare and declare by the Spirit of the Living God, your end has come. Is someone praying? Thou shalt declare a thing and it shall be established unto you. Where the word of the King is, there is power. Decree and declare. De la baratos calibra di gatiba shalabada. 
goodbye to shame goodbye to reproach goodbye to pain goodbye to disappointment goodbye to seeing and not handling there must be a performance 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 goodbye to stagnation goodbye to fear goodbye to oppression goodbye to yokes and curses For in Jesus name we pray for in Jesus name we pray Amen. Jesus the Son of God I believe in you Jesus, the Son of God, I believe in you. I believe in you. Sing it two more times from the depth Jesus, of your heart. The Son of God. The Son of God. I believe in you. Lord, I Spirit of the living God, you were sent by the Father to us. You represent the ministry of his power in our lives. And tonight, we agree and we believe that your power will be made manifest in our lives. Lord, over many situations in this place, let tonight bring the solution once and for all. And for someone who is saying, Lord, are you able? Let me speak to your life that this God is a mighty God and he will surprise you tonight. <laughs> to someone who is saying, I shouted amen before and nothing happened. Let me declare over your life, tonight becomes your night. To someone who is saying, I celebrated the hand of God in others and what their testimonies, but I am yet to receive mine. That seed you have sown, your harvest is coming this night. For someone who is saying, I'm even discouraged, I don't know whether to believe or not. In the name of Jesus, the mercy of God is speaking for you this night. And for someone who already saw this day in your dream and your vision I declare that what you saw that is consistent with the will of God tonight is a night when it manifests why do we pray we pray to align our hearts to the speakings of the Spirit we pray so that there are no solical distractions while the word of god is coming go ahead and pray 
Shiba uskati ya branda gabala kusi ya tevresi ya Impredike balasha da fraska di baliaka tabrunda zege de beledosh Rakata bakato zage de vele kusi ya ta All the overflows make sure you are praying Those who are following online And those with the main auditorium Go ahead and pray Shada balata pashada bakata brande gege de beledosh in Greteke de Balaku Shada Fraska de Balatu Ziata Mande Brataska de Veleku Shali Grete Gescaria Mahashada Balakata Bakato Sada Vredigia In Greteke de Balasha Laska Namahaskati Bakaria da Katusia Mega de Bretteska de Balakatushka de Vrede Gebalaku Ziate El Gata Braska de Balakata Shabrataska de Branda Gabalash Mega Brete Gebalaku Sada Vrede Gebalado Bakata Pasaga de Belene Bakata my spirit is open Make sure you are praying. You are opening your spirit to receive. Just for a minute or two. Make a brand of a scotta brass and a baratus cavrete catch. A bracata baranta catavrete get a belecata bracata balacatapa. Masha baracata barasa da balacata brascata. Lacata bradacata belecata bradacata catuca shadabala. A bracata barata scatta bradacata belash. A brata bacata proscoto cotosh cotopo cotosh catabacata. Brata catavrete belecatus calecrete get a baladaba. Bento cinema shana magata Ingra takata fresca de baladu ziata Are you still praying? Rata tabada beke de beke de balaku shana magatu Rata bada katush kande brende ke berende magatush Shana braske de balada magata frende ke de balak Ingra takata frende ke skate balaga de barus Shame de barus kande balak shana braske de balatush Nika paru kata baka tebre nge 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 kush Shabarada balada 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 Keros kadi balash koto frondos koto fretes kabaria Nebra kata balada varas kede bele nge fia Shkade berete fadu sana baratus kende brende nge balash Neke te bras kata balada bras kadi balash sufre hes kedi ala balada Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make your presence known, reveal the glory of the risen. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come, Shaba Salaba Salinda Prasya Dabala, Ela Shalege Dibala Sobriya Sanabala Dada. Let 
Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill the stand with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill the stand with your presence. We wait on you. the greatest gifts that can be given to a man is access to the I bring it under your feet now the prayer of Jabez oh that thou wouldest bless me therefore I declare South Africa house of treasures every businessman every man of God every captain of industry I decree and declare let the blessing of the Lord rest on you now above and beyond any curse above and beyond any satanic manipulation be blessed be blessed be blessed be blessed blessed in the morning blessed in the afternoon blessed in the evening blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name and enlarge my course the bible says and he measured a thousand cubits in the name of jesus listen carefully i want to pray for you first spiritually then financially then territorially i command be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged be enlarged increase advance make progress be enlarged house of treasures south africa be enlarged in the name of jesus christ and that your hand will rest upon me when the hand of god comes upon you it means speed when the hand of god comes upon you it means power and capacity when the hand of god comes upon you it means the engracing for possibilities therefore i call upon my god who is also your god may that mighty hand rest upon you now may the power of god come upon you now to do exploits for the kingdom in the name of jesus christ number four 
and that you will be kept from evil and that it will not hurt you did your bible not say the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity i pray for you in the name of jesus may the discerning grace and even the keeping grace work together to protect you from evil he said but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him even against that day therefore i declare in the name of jesus christ the devil will not have a chance over your life evil will not have a chance over your life and jabez was more honorable than his brethren let me prophesy to you listen there is a grace that can lift a man above his contemporaries not from a competitive standpoint he says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren he said Esther obtained favor from the king and the king loved Esther more than all the virgins that more than grace that grace that can lift you more than receive it in the name of ministry laboring and serving the purposes of God I know that your nation like ever gone through and is going through all kinds of transitions my first prayer for you is that God will keep you pure in the name of Jesus Christ that you will be a pure breed indeed all the appetites of the flesh that distract the purity of your call I declare may they be far from your life then I pray for you experience a strange order of numerical growth a strange order of financial growth I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ help that man please that every altar and every pulpit will be set on fire for Jesus we pray for the spirit of the evangelistic the pastoral the apostolic and the prophetic every dimension you have been called in right now I stretch my hands the grace and the mantle you need men of God now Take that fire, 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 prophetic fire. I empower you by the spirit, prophetic wells, everyone called into the prophetic ministry, the apostolic ministry, I impart grace upon you. The spirit of revelation, may it come upon you right now. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know in the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for those in business. In addition to the value that you provide, in addition to the products and the services that you package, and you sell to a targeted consumer base you will need the prophetic you will need the backing of heaven therefore I pray for every businessman in the name of Jesus because the Lord is your shepherd I prophesy that you shall not want find favor with the powers that be find favor with systems and structures find favor with gatekeepers find favor with captains of industry i prophesy may my god increase you more and more i give your business visibility in the market space in the name of jesus christ listen the lord is bringing the church to a dimension where men will equal nations because of the blessing of the lord and the supply of the spirit may you be part of that army We're wrapping up let me pray for every family here in South Africa how many of you know that if you are the only one who is saved and if you are the only one who is doing well you are still not free he said as for me and my house there are many people here your trouble is not sickness your trouble is not poverty your problem is your children are we together let me pray for you 
any family here that is yet to experience salvation genuine salvation transformation having children that are not yet in order having family members scattered there is no peace there is no joy and unity here at this conference in the name of jesus we declare by the power of the holy spirit peace be still to every storm in your family peace be still peace be still peace be still hear me let me pray for our children the prodigal son said the bible says he came to himself and he said to himself how many hired servants has my father and yet i am here feeding with the swine he said i will arise and i will go back to my father and i will say unto him father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your servants the most important thing is he came to himself the grace that makes men come to themselves to realize what they are doing and to be converted for good may that grace come upon you may that grace come upon our children south africa you will not lose your children you will not lose your children to moral decadence you will not lose your children to the corruption of the times in the name of jesus christ we're wrapping up hallelujah i just felt stirred in my heart to do this Apostle Felix and his precious wife, um, they love this ministry and this man has labored and continues to labor for the program of God. In one minute, right where you are, I want you to speak a prophetic word of prayer from the depth of your heart. Please speak it to this man and his dear wife. You love them sincerely as your pastor, as your father whether you are a member of house of treasures or not go ahead and pray just right where they are pray for them pray for them lord you will raise aarons and horse pray for them pray for them that god will continue to use him mightily he has been the force behind the, the rising of many the gates of hell will not prevail against him wisdom for him pray for house of treasures under his watch it will only be from glory to glory is someone praying the church of the lord jesus christ is praying for his choice servant and his maid servant you love your pastor you love this man of god pray for him from the depth of your heart preserve him oh god Keep him, O oh God. Anoint him, O oh God. Afresh with grace. Afresh with wisdom. Afresh with fire. Afresh with power. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Two last functions and then I take my leave. Every time I travel to any nation... I believe that part of the apostolic responsibility is to stand in faith with those who are of faith and those who are in power governmentally speaking to pray over this nation i truly love south africa it's true hallelujah and please hear me i believe in what god is doing in africa i believe in what god is doing in south africa are we together now yes in one minute for every time god grants me the privilege to be here or anywhere around the soil of this nation i will make my contributions and lend my voice to speak over your soil are we together if you love south africa in one minute just one minute from the depth of your heart let's lift up a cry as the church of the lord jesus christ over south africa go ahead and pray Pray for your parliament. Pray for those in government. All the tears of government. If you are in politics here, we are praying for you. You are in government here, we are praying for you. Go ahead and pray. Right from the presidency.
to every region. Pray that the program of God over South Africa will not be thwarted, will not be aborted. Is someone praying that your leaders will enact policies that will bring fairness and justice and equity to all? That every South African will be proud of being in this soil? Pray that this nation will not go down. It will only be from glory to glory to glory to glory. Mention the regions if you can remember them. Prophesy upon everyone in South Africa. Young, old, male, female. Pray for your politicians. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. For in Jesus name I pray. Father, I lift up this as a prophetic sign over this beautiful nation of South Africa that you have so loved. South Africa, you will not go down. South Africa, you will not go down. South Africa, you will not go down. You will not go down. From the presidency to your house of parliament, we decree and declare, everybody who should be there by God, we enthrone them prophetically. In the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, we declare that this is a nation you will be proud of. This is a nation your children will be proud of. In the mighty name of Jesus, we declare that terrorism will never find its way to your soil. We declare that corruption is living and it's on its way out of South Africa. We declare that anything that represents injustice and inequity, let it be far from your borders. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Koinonia, I pray for you. May this be your portion this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. Commanding results in the kingdom is not rocket science. The grace of God has demystified these things so that the saints will understand. Hear me. God is glorified when we rise give us some 30 again now you will understand it says that my glory will praise you i can praise you even without results but i need my glory to praise you thou has turned for me my mourning into dancing thou has put off my sackcloth and guarded me with gladness verse 12 it says give us verse 12 please to the end that my glory that means as you are worshipping, your car outside is also worshipping. As you are worshipping, the baby is also worshipping. Your results should also worship God. This is why we are here tonight. And if you are coming here for the first time, you are welcome. You will know that you came to a place where God dwells because my God will surprise you this night. So what is God doing tonight? One, he's healing. Two, he's bringing deliverance. Three, he's bringing breakthroughs. Number four, he's bringing restorations. Do you believe this? Number five, I believe he's opening the book of remembrance. Listen. God never forgets, but men can forget. And it is equally dangerous when men forget you. Hallelujah. The Bible says the keeper of Israel, he neither sleeps nor slumber. Look at the gentleman who gave his testimony. I hope when you listen to these testimonies, you are learning from them. Now the man told him, I have signed the contract. And yet the man forgot. The same way somebody thought that it was you he blessed. And forgot. He must remember this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anywhere your portion is hiding. In this city and in this nation. In the name of Jesus, if you believe it, I declare over you. By the God who called me, he must look for you in the name of Jesus.
please sit down I believe this oh I believe this let the atmosphere of faith help that lady under the anointing please participate in everything we are doing tonight don't waste your time you came here since morning don't just watch others and clap when we are saying shout Jesus when when the power of God is moving touching people don't just be passive and you are watching and saying wow it was a powerful service that's not what you came to do this is not a cinema this is not a museum you came because there are some things that must give way you came because your ministry the mockery and the shame around your ministry as though God did not call you you came to encounter grace that will rewrite the narrative of your ministry so if you're a man of God a woman of God don't sit down and see if the anointing is not available for you to receive if ye being evil know how to give good gifts God is a giver did you hear that God is a giver let me give you one prayer point father my portion in life and destiny my prophetic portion I receive it in the name of Jesus it must gravitate towards my life please open your mouth and pray that portion of grace allocated for my efficiency and God is able to make all grace abound towards you. God is able to make all grace abound towards you. let me add one more prayer point father let me enter my season of results that my hand will hold something a season of results please open your mouth and pray my season of results let my life capture your faithfulness everywhere pray you are following online pray a season of the performance tired of being at the same level A testimony give me a testimony give me a testimony I need a consolation to my Christian experience in the name of Jesus put a new song in my mouth a pray a song of praise to our God that many will see and fear and put their trust in you let my life carry the evidence of being a child of God let my life carry the evidence of being a favored one let my life carry the evidence of carrying the mantles and the the graces that you have given me hallelujah hallelujah listen we do not serve God just because of results we love him more than that however however there are many people whose knowing God depends on your results are we together when Peter stood before the Jerusalem council in defense of the miracle that happened the Bible says the man who was healed was standing with him. It is one thing to declare Jesus based on the authority of scripture. 
but it's one thing to declare Jesus in the presence of your evidence you are a true witness when your evidence is there you can tell people God lifts and they will believe but when you are lifted and you say God lifts it will be stupid to doubt you this is what I'm praying because see many of you your promoting the purposes of God is not efficient because the evidence that you need as a man of God you can't keep telling people God opens doors they keep shouting amen indefinitely they are human they will be tired do you mind praying this prayer one more time father in the name of Jesus let my life command an evidence the proof of your faithfulness seen in my life the proof of victory seen in my life the proof of favor seen in my life the proof of intimacy with the Holy Spirit seen in my life in my life seen in my life give me a change of story in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we're going into the ministry of the Spirit right now where God is going to be visiting us I want you to believe when it's time to pray for the sick I want you to open up your heart you came with a sick person when it's time to receive that miracle I want you to receive with all your heart and when we instruct you to check yourself and you find out the power of God has touched you you make your way very quickly here and we'll be ministering deliverance listen the word of God is the conveyor of his power. So for every word that comes like never before, receive it with understanding and intention. I know what God has shown me about the kind of people he's raising. I know what God has told me as we pray preparing for this. Many of you have traveled from across literally nations across the globe. Several regions within this nation. God will not gather you like this to waste your time hallelujah and as I begin to minister in the spirit don't worry just allow me to do my crazy things here I'm walking with the spirit the way God walks by now you know it does not make sense but provided is consistent with his character and it produces results sometimes the ways of the spirit is like the way of the wind you cannot tell where it cometh and where it goeth but one thing you cannot deny is the signature of God's power upon it. There are prophetic actions that will come. Sometimes they may not make sense. Be flexible and be childlike enough to believe the Lord. Hallelujah. This is koinonia. Please stand, just remain silent. I'm not making an altar call. It is the power of God that is going to be moving. And please ushers, now let me just say this, whether you are an usher or not, our ushers are limited. There are thousands of people here and all across. Um, anyone who is under the anointing close to you, if I ask you to bring them, please just bring them out so that we'll hurry up. It is my prayer that everybody will receive maximally within the limited time that we have. I don't intend to keep us too long, but I want that God will grant us grace to do so much. Hallelujah. When God speaks like this, it is because there is something that he's doing. Hallelujah. Are we together? 
so after the first shout there will be a shout of a lady and then after that the power of god will start moving to specific people and what i am seeing in the spirit i'm just seeing like a cloud about to rain and that's what god is doing to these families that he's single-handedly bringing out bring them out now Let's bring them out. My restorer has won my battle for me. My lifter has won my battle for me. The God of lifting has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man is won my battle for me My restorer has won my battle for me My redeemer has won my battle for me I'm a winner man, a winner man I'm a winner man, a winner man. Let me tell you what is happening to these families that God is singling out. I saw a cloud and the Bible says if the cloud be full of rain, there is a strange visitation to bring testimonies. The power of God is still moving on those families. You're not shouting, you're not doing anything. Just this is the instruction God is giving me. It's impossible to stand if the hand of God is upon you in that family. Let captivity be turned around. It's a miracle service. God is bringing to end captivity. Opening the gates of heaven. Ah, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. That's what I'm hearing in my spirit. It's coming to an end. Surely there is an end. It is coming to an end. It is coming to an end. Shame coming to an end. Reproach coming to an end. God of lifting has won my battle for me. God of miracles has won my battle for me. The God of favor has won my battle for me. I'm a winner man, a winner man. Hala shalaka kabalaka, krata get velego si kabadaso. I'm a winner man, I'm a winner man. Number two, tonight's miracle service is very strange. I'm seeing a bunch of keys that is being handed over to people in the spirit. Now hear me. It is coming like fire on people's hands. I want you to bring them out. Key stands for access. There are people who have not been able to access certain dimensions. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Bring them out. Access. God is giving you access. Access to realms. Access to things. Access to treasures of your destiny. Among our viewers, the Lord is showing me someone you are following from the US. You are sitting on a couch, you and your children, girls. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are part of those that God is giving this access to. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I am praying for you right now. As God is doing it here, 
listen without a key even when there is a door it will not open by this key that god is giving he's swinging open doors i'm still praying again the fire of god is still visiting people opening doors by this key that he's given very strange manifestation of doors opening for you hallelujah hallelujah it's very strange how god is operating tonight i'm looking in a vision and this is what i'm seeing please listen i'm seeing a woman who is pregnant and lying down like on a bed in a labor room but she's not giving birth i know this is a prophetic statement there are some of you after nine months a woman should give birth but there are some of you spiritually financially pregnancy actually happened but now to give birth to the testimony something is stopping it i'm going to pray for you the power of god is coming on you it's time to give birth prophetically giving birth to dimensions of grace and i'm praying right now in the name of jesus everyone who is part of this vision i saw of this pregnant woman in the name of jesus i stand as a prophetic midwife i command your prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now prophetic delivery right now by the spirit and the power of God prophetic delivery right now now please hear me people usually run when I pray for speed but people are going to be running but for a different reason now it is not just for speed I want you to be sensitive it is not just for speed it is still the same running but the spirit of God is speaking to me hallelujah this running prophetically is a sign of deliverance leaving the place of pain into the place of glory leaving the place of shame into the place of dignity i'm going to stretch my hands now the power of god will come on many people and they will start running hold them gently and just bring them out i decree and declare even as god has revealed to me i release that grace right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now be separated right now from any obstacle any condition bring bringing you shame and reproach be separated right now open your mouth and begin to declare in the name of jesus open your mouth and begin to declare i prophesy a separation by the spirit of the living god hallelujah who is matilda i'm hearing a name matilda matilda this should be a lady's name matilda this is what i'm hearing i'm hearing a name matilda please be sensitive we're going to pray matilda the lord is bringing a visitation to matilda and her family who is victory i'm hearing the name victory not victor victory ends with a y victory in the name of jesus christ there is a strange visitation that is coming for that person please don't don't just come out at random let's let's be sure that victory What's your name, my dear? Victory. 
Hallelujah. Now I'm going to pray for people, but I'm seeing a woman, a lady. You had a miscarriage last week. You had a miscarriage last week. Please help them. You had a miscarriage last week. I don't know where that person is, but I want to pray for you now. Victory. You are victory? I'm seeing oil being poured on two of you. I'm going to pray for everybody, but I'm seeing oil right now. And the Lord is, I'm with that oil, I'm seeing something leaving your body. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over the victory that has come out by the power of the Holy Spirit. First two of you before I pray, I command right now, in the name of Jesus, by this oil and this mantle upon you, every demonic thing, every embargo sitting upon your destiny, I cast it out of you right now. I cast it out of you right now. I cast it out of you right now. I can't sit out of you right now. There is a lady, you had a miscarriage last week. This is what God is showing me. Please make sure you don't tell lies. We have a, a, a miscarriage last week. Who is that? What's your name? Miriam. Miriam. You had a miscarriage last week. You're married? How long? This year. This year. I'm going to pray for you. Who is miscarriage? How long? Last week. Last week. Where are you from? From Maraba. No, 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 no. Where are you from? State of origin. A ghost state. Do you believe in the power of God? Yes, sir. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. I'm seeing stones around fire. This is what I'm seeing. And the Lord is telling me to take it away. I declare every altar that is speaking against your life. As I'm praying for her, I'm praying for someone. In the name of Jesus, anything that will not let you go, I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now. I stand prophetically and I scatter it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Help that lady, please. I decree and declare all who have had miscarriages according to the time of life. I prophesy to you right now I don't care what the medical situation is return with your miracle children now return with your miracle children now who is Augustina Augustina I'm hearing a name Augustina Augustina God is bringing victory for that family. The family of Augustina. God is bringing victory in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is someone you have been building. This is more than seven years. I'm seeing a building and I'm seeing the number seven written on it. More than seven years it has not been completed. Whether it's an individual, whether it's a family. No matter what it is that you do, it looks like it is not completed. I want you to lift your hands. You don't have to come out. The power of God is coming upon you right now. It is the finisher's anointing. You will be surprised to see what happens. Some of you, before December, I'm standing and speaking. Every power sitting on these projects and will not allow you make progress. I decree and declare, go forward in the name of Jesus.
Aleluya. Ha. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm standing in front of a river. Please look, listen carefully. I'm standing in front of a river and this is what I'm seeing. You would think it's fish that is coming out of the river, but I'm seeing human beings tied with chains. You know how fish comes out and goes back. That's what I'm seeing. The Lord wants to set people free now. Please listen. I'm going to, it's a massive deliverance that is going to happen now. Please hear me. I'm seeing people like you know how you are in a river and it should be fish that come. You know how fishes jump, but I'm seeing human beings tied like fishes, but they are human beings. I'm praying right now. You're about to shout Jesus. My goodness, my God. Every marine spirit, spirits of darkness connected to the waters. It was an element of creation God gave for man's advantage but has been manipulated by powers that be. In the name of Jesus, anyone whose destiny has been buried, kept down by orchestrations of evil spirits, as you shout the name Jesus, may that fire come upon you and I lose you. Are you ready now at the count of three? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I lose you now. I lose you now. Covenants and altars tied to water. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now I'm still praying in the name of Jesus whether you believe it or not listen I'm telling you when God reveals this many of you may not know the cause of the issues around your life wicked demonic patterns no hear me look up let me teach you something the Bible says in revelations when you read 18 19 20 it says in the judgment hell gave up the dead then the bible said the sea gave up the dead the sea has become a burial ground for many people's destinies tied down by activities of witchcraft when you read your bible it says all of the abundance came forth out of the waters and the devil has manipulated it to destroy people i am still praying again anyone's destiny here your destiny means where God has preordained for you that has been tied, trapped down. Maritally, financially, in terms of fruitfulness, I decree and declare the spirits that are back of it be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now. Be judged now! Be judged now! Hallelujah! Please look at me. I want to ask you a question. When Naaman washed seven times and got up and his skin became free, look up where did the leprosy go to where did the dead skin go to the spirit of that leprosy was still hovering around the man who jesus told him to wash at siloam when he washed and he saw where did the blindness go to now listen just because people have abused all of these things through unfortunately extra biblical practices you need to have spiritual intelligence enough to understand the dynamics of commanding victory for the believer are we together now the water is a very mysterious spiritual substance because it has an expression of the trinity too as ice as liquid and as gas 
Water is not limited by anything. Does not fear anything. Does not run away from anything. Very mysterious. Father, I want to pray over chains that is holding people's progress. Chains. Chains. We are going to pray for the sick shortly. But there are many of you, you do not know why, regardless the efforts, anything you do, it looks like there is no result for it. And you are not lazy. You are not lazy. You are diligent. Some of you have been in this city for many years. And yet it looks like nothing has opened for you. Please take seriously the prayer I'm about to pray. Because fire from heaven is about to fall on someone. I decree and declare right now. Anyone whose destiny has been chained and hijacked by the powers that be. In the name that is above all names. My God. I'm seeing fire resting on people. I declare be released now. Be released now. Be released now. Do you believe in the power of prophecy? Listen, many of you will be surprised at the testimonies. See, you are not the only one listening. Your situations are also listening. Are we together? That means conditions also listen. Everything has breath. Everything listens. So don't think you are the only one who is here and your problems are somewhere scattered around. No, they are all listening. Did the Bible not say that when there was a conversation between the prophet and the woman, the oil and the jar, they were all part of, they were participating in the conversation. Nothing except, and he said, no, don't call that except. Go and borrow vessels and the oil will show you it was part of the conversation. There's someone here You've been having, I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. You've been having severe headache. When it comes upon you, it almost acts as if you are losing your mind. This is a very demonic thing. This is not just a headache as a result of fatigue. The power of God is coming upon you right now. Right now. Two of you are not in this auditorium. But the power of God is coming upon you right now. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, in the name of Jesus, and for all of you who have come out here, you did not just come out to waste your time. I decree and declare the same way these spirits have left you, they go for good. And for some of you, even before this service is over, your testimony begins. Deborah, 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 Deborah. Your name is Deborah? Your wife, allow him, please leave him. Deborah. Please hold the person who starts running out now. I just saw in my vision someone is running out. Hold that one person and bring the person out. Literally, like running. Just hold the person so they don't injure themselves. But bring them. I'm going to pray for you. I had in my spirit Deborah. Ah, the power of God is coming on you. Laughter. This is what I'm hearing for Deborah. Laughter. Laughter, 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 laughter. I decree it in the name of Jesus Christ. Laughter, you are entering your season of laughter. I prophesy it and I decree and declare. 
you receive it by the spirit may it be so for you laughter laughter anything that fights your laughter i curse it right now he said when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream i prophesy as i hear in my spirit laughter laughter step into your season of laughter in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray for a family oh dear you are from gombe state gombe state where is the family gombe state uh ah. i'm not saying everybody from gombe state come out oh if we have that there is I, i'm seeing a family ah mother and not our people are already out now what do we do mama you are welcome we'll pray. of course everybody wants to go forward so once you hear a word i will pray for you that's no 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 you don't have to come ah huh? deborah i already prayed for deborah you received by faith and eh? we're talking of um, gombe state the lord is speaking to me I want to pray for you. Please believe in the power of God. Oh, we are not acting this thing. Gomb it's a mighty visitation. God is going to give that family. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. Ah. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. Altars are breaking. No oh, 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 victory belongs to Jesus. Father, you spoke to me about a family in Gombe State. I'm using these ones in front as a prophetic point of contact. Listen, the power of God is going to come upon you. And everything that represents shame and reproach for that family, whether you are here represented or prophetically following online. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God bring to end every activity of witchcraft now every activity of witchcraft now be broken be broken help mama please be broken in the name of jesus be broken now the lord is showing i'm going to pray for you listen in the name of jesus um, the lord is showing me a family where the ladies don't give birth this is what i'm seeing not, not necessarily in gombe state this is another case god is showing me ladies whether they get married they are not able to have children and this is like a pattern it's happened to a number of the ladies you don't have to come out whether you are online or you are in here please i want you to believe god is visiting people's situations in the name of jesus before i finish with you my gombe people any spirit that has sat on the womb of the ladies in any family and vowed that they will not give birth by the power that raised christ from the dead we command those altars broken now we command those altars broken now Now, for all of you, I know some of you, your, maybe your children or your siblings are not here since God spoke about families. As you are standing in faith, I use you as a point of contact. And I pray for your siblings, wherever they are in this nation and across the globe. Between now and the end of this year, return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. Return with strange testimonies. 
in the name of Jesus God bless you please return to your seat please return to your seat please return to your seat I'm going to pray for the sick how many of you believe in prosperity financial prosperity I know there are five levels I'm talking about financial prosperity I believe in it oh. I don't, if you don't believe you can you can it is a very bad thing to be poor let me just tell you straight to the point the reason is and remember you have been taught here when we teach this we are not teaching from a an unbelievers carnal pursuit for material things but let me assure you by the Spirit of God you will not be able to do much for the kingdom and for yourself poverty takes away dignity from the life of people hallelujah there is the wisdom that brings prosperity first as a superior belief system and then an understanding of the value that you provide there is favor that ties with wisdom and brings prosperity but there is the prophetic that manages the back end of spiritual interruptions to that journey get this equation now wisdom as your belief system and as the value that you provide that is the department of wisdom there is favor programming men and systems to respond favorably to you then there is the prophetic dimension are we together if you lack any one of these three you will be poor if you have a superior belief system you have value alone you will be very limited you must have favor because at the back end of what brings you wealth are men and if those men don't like you and don't believe you you can be valuable and you will still remain there are we together if you have favor in your life and you do not have wisdom you will only have circumstantial wealth as important as it is because men will come but wisdom your your mindset will keep driving away what favor puts in your hand but if you have wisdom and have favor as powerful as it is and you do not have the prophetic you will keep building and crashing because one activity of demon spirits one activity of the realm of the spirit will rubbish your wisdom completely You can impart the spirit of wisdom but it takes time to build belief systems and that's what we do every week as for favor there is a grace and there is an understanding that brings favor but this prophetic dimension is my assignment I'm going to pray for the sick but I want to speak it listen by the grace of God I vowed before God that I will never raise a people who are just spiritually vibrant alone and then become irresponsible in every area of their life God is not glorified if you cannot pay your children's school fees God is not glorified if you sit down the time you should be spending building your spiritual life you are praying for rent no God is not glorified if you have to tell lies and lie that you are not in the house because the person you are owing has come to knock and afterwards you ask for forgiveness then you lie again It is the assignment of the church in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for you the resources that it takes to prosper. Listen to me. Men can prosper. I know that there are, this ministry has very successful people at different levels. Building transgenerational wealth is more than just having money in your account. Building transgenerational wealth is rising to a point where you build systems that can secure your life that even in farming you will love. This balloon success of rising up today and anything that happens across the world you are shaking, that's not the kingdom's way. At every level, we can still rise higher. And for some of you who are saying, I am comfortable, your understanding is poor as far as kingdom advance is concerned. Because until the kingdom has benefited from your resources, you are not prosperous. For as long as your resources ends up with you, your comfort, yes, but your comfort alone, wrong. For the sake of thy prosperity, I desire your house. I'm going to speak over your life before we pray for the sick. Please, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. 
if you ever believe and respect the prophetic believe this declaration just believe it and insult me that i'm stupid afterwards if it does not happen but please believe it father in the name of jesus christ i cry unto you you are a covenant keeping god i have vowed and you have agreed with it that we will raise a people of influence lord there are people here who love you sincerely but this financial embarrassment has tied their lives down i stand by the prophetic in the name of jesus for as many who believe in this grace and whose heart is open i prophesy to you the grace that lifts men bringing them out of financial shame to a life of dignity that allows you to serve the lord receive that grace now receive that grace now receive that grace now businesses receive that grace now families receive that grace now territories receive that grace now anyone who is in any financial situation you are owing you lost money you are in business there's some kind of financial trouble in the name of jesus like elijah prophesied over the 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 woman in zarephath i speak to your life may god raise men to bring you out of that situation may god raise men to bring you out of that situation apostle what do i do to prosper may my god show you in a dream in the name of jesus the area connected to your wealth i ask my god to open your eyes in the vision of the night and show you where he has kept the wine and the oil for you Can I declare favor over you? If it happens only once in your life, it is not favor. Mm -mm. There is a big difference between breakthrough and favor. Breakthrough is when the obstacles and the limitations that impede you are taken away. Favor is when under regardless what conditions, you begin to have predictable positive results. God compelling men to help you. Listen, I submit to you and at the risk of sounding proud, I know what I'm saying. Forgive me if my statement or anything sounds like boasting or arrogance. I know what it means to walk in the favor of God. I'm praying for you such as I have. In the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God, the one who favors men. I'm praying for you. Let this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. May this mantle rest upon your head. Sincerely believers, hear me. Let me tell you the truth. Most of the things that are please lay your hands now believing anywhere you're trusting God for a miracle I'm seeing people lifting the photos of their loved ones I'm seeing others connecting by faith there are people following from hospitals having death sentences it is for your sake that God sent us to be channels of healing and miracles I believe in miracles I really do now here's what will happen I'm going to pray for the sick now and expect the power of God like I taught you earlier to rest upon you if you are the one standing for yourself or for your loved one who you are believing for a miracle are we together 
the moment that happens very very briefly very very briefly we're going to allow a few people and it doesn't mean that you have to you must have been healed tonight if in the course of the service the week the power of god has touched you and there is a healing miracle you can join them will take for a very few minutes just a few people and those who are outside and all the overflows uh, would like to hear what god is doing with them too so if there's anyone who is healed there and they're coming please usher's protocol allow them provided they rush fast let's have a few notable testimonies to honor jesus and then we'll pray over the requests and i'll speak over your life hallelujah please stand if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and then we'll pray hallelujah and i want you to agree as i pray for those who are following from hospitals other people carrying their medical reports there is nothing you cannot do there's no mountain If you have said it, then you will do it. You have a track record of keeping your word. You're not about to stop doing it now. He's not about to stop doing it. In the name of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of the living God, who gives men the power to heal the sick, I decree and declare right now, so many phones lifted representing people, some following, some demonic conditions, some death sentences. In the name of Jesus, the spirit that is back of that infirmity, whatever it is called, I invoke the name that is above every other name and even the blood of the eternal covenant that altar that speaks above and against every negative altar I command that those spirits depart right now depart right now depart right now now I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for all those who are sick it doesn't matter how long and it does not matter what the problem is i stretch my hands prophetically and i declare be healed now let the life of god surge into your body now in the name of jesus christ bone conditions anyone having a bone condition I declare be healed now anyone lying down on the sick bed I forbid you from dying in the name of Jesus HIV be healed now cancer be healed now Tumors and growths be healed now. Partial or complete blindness. Eyes be opened now. Ears be unstopped now. You heard about the testimony of the lady that God gave a brand new womb. In the name of Jesus, any organ that is failed or failing, we command a brand new organ now. Peptic ulcer be healed. Recurrent migraines be healed. Blood conditions be healed. There's someone you have a serious problem smelling it's just you know how it's like you put pepper in someone's nose and that stink that's literally how it is for you god is showing me in the name of jesus you are healed right now the lord is showing me someone you usually are a straight person you stand very straight 
but something began to happen to you and you are bending over it's like it's something is bending you over in the name of jesus christ i declare that you are straightened now someone's kneecap you've had severe pain around your kneecap in jesus name may the power of god touch you there's someone you are you are going you are going to go for a surgery i'm seeing that you are supposed to go for a surgery in two weeks i don't know what the condition is but it had to it has to do with your abdominal region in the name of jesus may the power of god touch you right now yeah. there's someone you have severe breathing problems um you've not gone to the hospital for any check but you've had severe sometimes you sit down and you are gasping for breath you thought it was because you are adding weight but that thing is still happening to you in the name of jesus christ severe breathing whatever is wrong with your respiratory system we correct it now by the power of god you have a problem with your the lumbar area the power of god is touching you right now you almost you cannot bend properly when you bend you feel severe pain the lord is touching you right now now whether i mention your case or not i want you to believe right now in the name of jesus there is a woman you are not here in nigeria your daughter has kidney stones this is what i'm seeing the power of god is touching that little girl right now I'm hearing the name bronchitis bronchitis in the name of Jesus whether here or anywhere following across the globe I declare be healed now I'm seeing a woman in fact I'm seeing in my vision a woman is holding another woman and that woman is suffering from hypertension in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power of God that woman is healed now if there's anybody here who came with a mad person maybe a mad person having any kind of um, psychosomatic disorder any kind of you know issue that has to do with madness in jesus name we declare they are restored now they are restored now repeated malaria month after month you treat it it returns you treat it it returns in jesus name be healed now yeah. by the power of the holy spirit and then the lord is showing me someone um not to be embarrassed but you've not even gone to the toilet in days because you have a very acute i don't know if you've gone to the hospital but you have an an embarrassingly painful expression of pile this is 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 this thing with what i'm seeing is not even just like pile it's like a swelling even though i'm praying for you but it will be wise to at least try to see a doctor because what you know what i'm seeing is not very good is is wise and i've taught you here we believe in the healing power of god but we are responsible people you have a situation that calls for concern there are many many doctors that are born again and filled with the holy spirit they can be able to examine you even if it needs a miracle they'll be honest enough to tell you it is wiser to at least get that perspective than to you know irresponsibly shrug it away and yet you are not releasing your faith for that person i'm praying right now this night this moment may the power of god touch you now in the name of jesus christ someone's left ear left ear you hear a very you know very irritating sound and then that's it i'm praying for you be healed now and pains around the body any part of the body whatsoever be healed in the name of jesus now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i speak healing for you now 
I speak healing for you now. I speak healing for you now. I speak healing for you now. This life that I have is a life of God in me. This life that I have is a life. This life that I have is a life of God in me. This life that I have. So wait, 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 so At the count of three, I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus. Don't get used to it. I know you've shouted it many times. We don't shout it as a ritual. But listen, let me tell you the truth. I'm seeing a sword, what looks like a knife, a sword, is piercing into people and situations and families. That sword represents the word of God. At the count of three, everything that does not name the name of Christ, as you shout the name that is above every other name, it must give way, whether you are outside, all of the overflows or anywhere it's time for you to be free those of you in front here i declare your liberty so that you clear the way in the name of jesus be completely healed right now in jesus name and may the lord visit you everything that represents a limitation in your life say amen i curse it right now it must let you go right now in jesus name now let's pray father the Bible says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and that the sons of Jacob will possess their possession. There are people, there are families, there are individuals who have been tied down. There are destinies that will not lift up their heads. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire that proceeds from his throne, that brings deliverance. Please, whether you are an usher or not, anybody who is under the anointing, please help to bring them out right now. At the count of three, one, my goodness, two, three, show Jesus. I command liberty, 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 by the spirit of the living God. I declare and I prophesy liberty, 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 Shabes Keta, a Kreketos Kiata, that they might be called the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified in the name of Jesus. We are still going to shout that name, my goodness, bring them out. I'm seeing fire falling. Lord, every family here that needs to be free from age-long captivities as you are shouting that fire will rest upon every altar one two three shout jesus every family tied down by demonic orchestrations we bring you liberty we bring you liberty you liberty this man that man wearing suit come this man yes please bring them out something is happening what do you do sir I work with EFC. You work with EFCC. I'm going to pray for you. I saw you climbing a ladder in the realm of the spirit. And every time God shows me that that is a sign of increase and lifting. Can I pray for you, sir? 
in the name of jesus i decree and declare over you please hear me write this between now and november god is going to shift you in a way that will surprise you i release that grace upon you right now in the name of jesus christ let it be a new season for you by the power of the holy spirit by the power of the holy spirit the spirit of delay ah 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 that anointing is coming right now as i mentioned the cases is leaving you right now delay 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 i cost you i cost you i cost you delay of any kind my goodness i just i hope they are not injuring themselves hallelujah the overflow here what's it called the tent is this the tent the of the smaller tent i want you to lift your hands those in that tent please lift up your hands those in that tent i'm seeing the power of god fall on people there at the count of three in that tent i want you to shout jesus and i want you to bring out those under the anointing you don't have to bring them in here father you reveal to me to pray for those at that tent i decree and declare right now the tent there one two three shout jesus liberty even by the spirit liberty now please hear me the lord is revealing to me there are people here anything given to you you will lose it whether it is relationships when good things come into your life they don't last i want to pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead everything that has left you that should not have left you i call upon my god let it be restored now let it be restored now let it be restored now be restored now be restored now, be restored now. Be restored now. I want to pray for the sick but the Lord is already revealing to me to impart some graces there are three anointings that God is revealing number one is the spirit of prophetic revelation and I'm, I'm going to pray and that anointing is resting on some people male and female not everyone but there are specific people you have been working with God access to us father i don't know where they are inside and outside you have that call and that mandate i prophesy now at the count of three may that fire come upon you prophetic revelation one two three take that grace now take that grace now help this woman take that grace now take that grace now prophetic revelation i bring you i call you by prophecy into that dimension the eyes that see and the ears that hear prophetic revelation so that you will bring the precepts of god with accuracy and with precision hear me although we are here in enugu the truth about it is that there are people your destiny is not in this city you have been around this city but your the geography of your assignment is in another region not here some of you even outside this region i prophesy to you anywhere you need to be to fulfill purpose right now whether ministerially financially maritally receive that grace right now i relocate you to the place of destiny i relocate you to the geography of your witness
the spirit of untimely death the spirit of untimely death the lord is showing me patterns every year someone must die every two two years someone must die every three three years someone must die i want to judge that altar by the spirit of god in the name of jesus every manifestation of untimely death over your life and over your family it is judged right now in jesus name it is judged right now in jesus name I'm ready to pray for the sick now no one jesus there is no one darling there is no one jesus there is no for the sick there is a man of God here the nature of your call demands that you work greatly in the healing anointing and I'm seeing because I just saw oil dripping on the ground and the Lord told me it is the healing grace I'm going to pray for the sick but there is a man of God here sense of the healing anointing is limiting the quality and the strength of your ministry I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands no no you don't have to come out since I didn't call you don't worry you can stand where you are and receive in the name of Jesus father everyone who is called into the healing ministry and I said it the last time I was in this city, God has revealed to me that before Christ returns, there will be a mighty move of the healing ministry again. We have not seen the healing ministry as our fathers. So we've seen pockets of it here and there, but there will be such a move, the healing ministry, authentic, genuine healing ministry. I pray right now. I don't know that man of God. But in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hand. Man of God there does not just mean male. Male and female all together. I hope you know that women have a major end time role to play. A major end time role. There are women who will come in the spirit and the power of Elijah. And will do mighty things across regions. It is true. They will defy the prejudices of gender and race and God will use them mightily and gloriously. I'm praying right now. Healing rain is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. Not afraid. Everyone to carry this healing anointing. At the count of three, I declare, like oil may it rest upon you now. One, two, get ready now. Get ready. Three, take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, may your hands be anointed. You will lay hands on the sick and you will watch the wonder working power of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare through your hands and through your ministry, may the Lord do mighty things. Mighty things, mighty things. Now, please hear me. We are going to do this very fast, and I want you to please participate. 
I'm about to pray for the sick. Do not allow any situation that you came here with to remain as you go. Mm -mm. It was Archbe Archbishop Benson Idahosa who said, if your faith says yes, God will not say no. I'm about to pray for the sick. And please hear me. I want you to lay your hands right now where you are trusting God for a miracle. Believe that you will be healed. And then, if you are standing in for someone, whether for those following online, or you have a loved one like our mothers came here to stand in for their loved ones, I'm going to pray, and the power of God will rest upon you. The moment you find out that a miracle has happened to you, I'm going to give you an opportunity, whether you are in the overflow, at the other side of the road or this one by my right or you know up the balcony or here will give you room to quickly come and stand either to my left or to my right we'll take a few testimonies and then i will pray on your request and speak over you and then we'll wrap up lay your hands there if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest father you mandated us to go and heal the sick you mandated us to cast out devils to raise the dead as we declare the authority and the supremacy of your kingdom spirit of the living god we thank you for your presence that is in this place and across the nations by way of the internet i pray right now in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god everyone here who is sick by the power that raised Christ from the dead I declare that the spirit that is back of that infirmity the spirit that is back of that condition in the name of Jesus you give way now shout a loud amen now I declare in the name of Jesus be healed now be healed of blood conditions now someone is I, I don't know but it's, it's, it's a messy scene I'm seeing in my vision someone will start vomiting like throwing out something and that will be the end of it I'm seeing an infirmity this is a demonic thing in the name of Jesus I decree and declare any eye condition by the power that raised Christ from the dead be healed now every bone condition bone condition affecting your walking in Jesus name let life surge to your limbs now everything affecting your walk whether a spinal cord issue we correct it right now by the power of the Holy Spirit there are a number of ladies I'm seeing in my vision having all kinds of growths and lumps please believe that God heals in the name of Jesus Christ I declare right now let that demonic growth leave your body now there's someone it's like you have a problem with your toe this is what I'm seeing in my vision you have a problem with your toe I don't know what that problem is but in the name of Jesus I command that that demonic pain to leave now There was someone you couldn't see very far it's not like you are blind but you couldn't see far as soon as i pray now you check it and you find out that your vision has been restored in the name of jesus please don't be embarrassed i'm praying for you i'm looking at a lady and all of a sudden one of your breasts began to swell up unusually and you are afraid this is like a demonic thing in the name of Jesus, it will shrink back now. We cast that devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You started having this problem when you wake up in the morning. Your neck. 
it's as if you cannot move it well and it's been months right now you can't move your neck there's severe excruciating pain i declare that pain leaves you now that pain leaves you now the lord is showing me someone when you eat especially food that is oily you find out that in a short while you will throw up you will start feeling like you you want to throw up and you will throw up in the name of jesus i bring you liberty now hiv be healed cancer it doesn't matter what stage be healed now there is a gentleman you have been suffering from pile in the name of jesus christ excruciating pain even when you are not going to the toilet just when you are sitting excruciating pain in jesus name the lord is bringing life to your body now someone you could not lift your hands very well you're already having it's like symptoms of arthritis or stroke you know in the name of jesus christ i command healing for you now now please hear me whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god be healed now be healed now the lord is showing me a woman is not barrenness but when you take in it does not stay more than three months you will have a dream something will happen a man comes to oppress you and that's it it just leaves in the name of jesus christ i don't know who that person is but that condition right now it comes to a permanent end it's only that you look and leave look and leave my brother leave look to jesus christ and leave is recorded in his word hallelujah it's only that you look now i want you to begin to check yourself look at this the collarbone here the power of god is touching someone right now that collarbone in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone i don't know if you are here or maybe following online or it's just my vision god is showing me you have a child that is suffering from autism autism in the name of jesus christ the power of god is touching that child right now autism autism be healed now your your son your sister son in the name of jesus wherever the boy is we declare that you'll be healed now now i want you to check yourself the moment a miracle has happened to you check yourself and make your way to the front right now come and stand here or stand here while we're doing that i'm going to give you two prayer points you're going to pray it right now let's celebrate them people are coming in the name of jesus christ check yourself if you're outside and the power of god has touched you and you want to make your way to the front let the ushers allow you doesn't matter what overflow i'm about to pray for you are you celebrating miracles the power of god is touching people check yourself check yourself let's have a pastor or two can we have a few people check them now whilst they are coming i want you to pray that in the name of jesus every door and every gate connected to the next season of my destiny i declare that you are open now open your mouth and begin to pray please take it serious this is a miracle service every door doors are systems of access they need wife rooms they need wife dimensions every case and every door are you praying connected to the next level and the next season of my life i decree and i declare i decree and i declare i decree and i declare be open for me right now i decree and i declare i decree and i declare my god
God, are you seeing miracles? People are coming. People are coming. Pray. God is opening doors. testimonies let's just have a mic or two the last prayer point i'm going to give you and then we'll receive the testimonies are you ready now i told you that the help of god comes as his mercy as the gift of men and as the holy spirit i'd like you to pray that everyone whose help is connected to your destiny between now and the end of september by the power of prophecy they must gravitate to your life open your mouth and begin to pray please pray please pray everyone whose help and ministry is connected to my life connected to my destiny i declare that they gravitate towards me right now your name is to be alone in the name of jesus one who ask it receive it he said if you can see me as i am taking up if you can see me and the bible says the heavens were open and he saw the chariots of heaven come listen he said my father my father the chariots of israel and the horsemen thereof and all of a sudden that mantle came upon him and he went to the Jordan. Watch this now. As soon as he, he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And he struck the mantle. The Bible says Jordan parted Hitam and Tita. We're about to enter a very sensitive period of this graduation right now. Please, I want everybody to pray those who are connecting online our precious people are about to receive something that will change their lives it is such as we have that we give mantles are falling here tonight anointings are falling here tonight graces are resting here tonight Now listen carefully. We're about to pray. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, you have heard me say it. One of the many mandates he gave me was that to every city and every nation I send you to, that light that came from me to you, there must be someone in that meeting that that same light will come. Our precious students have learned they have been built they have prayed they have cried now is the time for them to receive please let's have the oil very quickly the jar everything please isaac walk with them father this is ordinary oil oil cannot anoint this comes from a tree oil only anoints when it is anointed itself and in the name of jesus christ we anoint this oil by the power of the holy spirit 
and Lord we pray that in the name of Jesus let this bring impartation to your people father by the privilege of the election of grace I stand upon my office by the apostolic and the prophetic and in the name of Jesus as I have freely received I pray that the lives and the destinies of your people will be changed even by this impartation in the name of Jesus let it be a new season by the power of the Holy Spirit please begin to pray thank you Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ
into life Arranging the stars to your pleasing But I'm cool and
still doing the impartation for the students please lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over every student here the grace that is dormant within you that has not found expression I stand by this mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic I declare right now let it be activated now let it be activated now prophetic graces apostolic graces teacher anointings mantles of leadership let it be activated now in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare the grace for speed may it come upon your life now speed in the name of jesus christ anything connected to ancestry anything connected to activities of witchcraft that has kept people down in the name of jesus the son of the living god i open that gate for you go forward go forward go forward go forward go forward beyond any curse go forward i'm hearing marine spirit in my heart I decree and declare any connection with the spirits that reside within waters by the power that raised Christ from the dead a permanent separation right now every door that has refused to open for you maybe it did not open for those who went ahead of you but in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of he that holds the key of David that opens a door that no man shuts and shuts a door that no man opens may that door of destiny be opened now be opened now everywhere you have been mandated to represent the purposes of God whether in ministry whether in business in politics in the name of jesus the grace that enthrones you there receive that grace now and thou shalt take some of thy honor and put upon him in the name of jesus the grace and the mantle that causes nations to listen that hear ye him anointing I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus Christ the grace for influence the grace for visibility in the name of Jesus may that grace mantle you right now and hear me from today anyone that fights you goes down instantly anyone that fights you goes down instantly everyone who has been mandated to partner with you and hold your hands providing help and resources as far as kingdom advancement is concerned i prophesy to the north the south the east and west i call them to your business I call them to your ministry in the name of Jesus Christ hear me anyone here who is a victim of the negative prophecy of anyone maybe your parents maybe people you offended in your days of ignorance Job said he will deliver you from six things yes seven things one of it is the scorching tongues of men 
anyone here who is a victim of the speakings of men i stand by the authority of priesthood and i bless you i bless you i bless you i bless you beyond your background i bless you beyond your limitations i bless you in the name of jesus christ I speak to the elements of creation they were designed to work in partnership with us therefore I decree and declare the wind the forces that must align themselves to ensure you do not fail in the name of Jesus we swing them to operation now the spirit of untimely death that kills men at the prime of their relevance I decree and declare I shut the door of the grave over you I shut the door of the grave over you I shut the door of the grave over you in the name of Jesus Christ the spirit of lack and poverty listen carefully especially those of you who are called into ministry it is the absence of resources that has pushed people into all kinds of compromises joining wrong groups wrong associations with a promise of some financial benefit i pray for you the raven that came to feed elijah to make sure he did not die of hunger even if it means god sending ravens i forbid hunger for you while you serve in the name of jesus christ Now please hear me, I want to pray a very special prayer for everybody but particularly for those called into ministry. The spirit that makes the children of ministers useless as a way of mocking God to say you are here blessing people but your child is a drunkard, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, please hear me in the name of jesus let me prophesy psalm 112 he said blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty upon earth i prophesy that your seed must be mighty upon earth he said the generation of the upright shall be blessed may your generation be blessed he says wealth and riches shall be in his house and his righteousness endures forever in the name of jesus christ now hear me when saul met with samuel three things happened that i want to prophesy over you please pay attention and don't say you are not part of the graduating students the anointing does not care once your heart is open to receive you can receive right where you are number one when saul met samuel Samuel looked at him and said, Is it not because God has anointed you to be captain over his inheritance? He said, As you return back, you will hear that the donkey that has been missing has been found. Let me prophesy restoration. I don't know what left you and I don't care how long. By the power and the mantle of God, I decree and declare, receive strange restoration. Restoration of time, restoration of things. I say it again restoration of time, restoration of things. Number two, he said, You will continue going and you will meet three people, all of them holding two loaves of bread. They will salute you. And they will give to you honor and favor let me speak it over your life in the name of jesus according to exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty by this mantle of favor i cause dryness and emptiness from your life i cause dryness and faith and emptiness from your life Esther chapter 2 and verse 15b 
it says and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her from today everyone who looks upon you and upon your ministry and upon your business your organization i compel favor from them to you number three he said you will come to the garrison of the philistines and when you come the hand of the lord will rest upon you and you will begin to prophesy dimensions that people did not know you walking in in the name of jesus for, for some of you from tonight the prophetic like never before i activate it right now for some of you the grace for leadership that mantle that was upon joseph may it rest upon you in the name of jesus Let me pray finally for you. The finisher's anointing. He said, I have fought the good fight of faith. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. I taught you last week that destiny is a fight. Destiny is a race and destiny is a treasure that you must keep. You must know how to fight. You must know how to finish. You must know how to keep. This tripartite grace that helps you to fight, helps you to finish and helps you to keep. Receive it right now. 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 The Lord is still telling me to prophesy longevity. Listen, the days that are coming, it is the grace that is on you that will keep you. Believe me. The spirit of death is just roaming around nations and families and just bringing pain for people. But I pray for you again. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, I place a mark upon you. May death be far from you. Far from your family. Far from your habitation. In the name of Jesus. Blessed is she that believes, the Bible says, for unto her there shall be a performance. There is a grace for performance. The grace that translates what you know into results. It's not enough to know. We must see the results. Therefore, the grace for performance, translating superior revelation into undeniable results. May that grace rest upon you now. In Jesus' name we pray. Hear me, for some of you, by reason of this impartation, between now and the next three months, what you have seen God do in Koinonia here, may he reproduce it in your life. May he reproduce May he reproduce it in your business. Reproduce it in your organization. In the name of Jesus Christ. One last prayer. The grace that connects you to kings. The grace that connects you to nobles. The grace that connects men to gatekeepers in the name that is above all names that was the grace that was upon nehemiah because nehemiah carried that grace when he cried to the king even though he was an ordinary cup bearer in a moment he was given the resources he needed to rebuild the walls of jerusalem and he was given a letter to all the governors to connect with him in the name of jesus the mantle that connects to kings receive it now systems and structures will honor you for in Jesus name we pray whether you want to do whatever you're going to say Lord forgive me if I'm to be sincere I know that certain things have replaced you it may not be that you are bad I'm not this is not a call to condemnation it's a call to repentance to say Lord you don't have to go on your knees over but whatever position is comfortable we are going to pray we're going to pray. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. I don't.
Adonai Lamb of God You are worthy Worthy of my praise King of kings Lord of lords Let your kingdom reign In my life I love you Lord and I lift my voice to worship you, oh my soul rejoice. Take joy, my King, in what you hear. Help me. I return I don't know when the passion for ministry took your place I didn't even realize that this is how far I veered off ah cry 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 Oh God, you are my God. belong to you total surrender my heart my life my everything you're not wasting your time man of God this is the secret to genuine power more than just principles your experience with God for some of you you need to repent you have been distracted you feared off looking for many things
Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. You are the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Take your place. 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 Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Shiva Lama Sada Dava Yana. Enama Sheda Balayana Dava Sada Dava Yana. Shabra Lama Lama Sada Dava Yana. Just a few more minutes we are praying. There is a work of purging that God is doing in someone's life. Purging. God is purging. God is purging. How I love to stand for you. How I love to worship you. Keep praying. And even though it hurts me for every step I take. And even though it pains me for every move I make. But I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I can never ever do without you. I love you. I'm giving you a piece of my secret place. Hug and adore. Hug and adore. Sing it to the love of your soul. Ala 
Ena masena liada, ena balasena balasiada, shalena masabranda na magada baliada balakaso na baliada, ela masene masana na branda gada balada bagada balada balosiada bala, shene masade bala de na 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 shela baliada gata, araba na masana magada baliada balada bagada balasena balada mashaliada. the cry of Isaiah let the fire from your altar touch purify everything that is not of God let the fire from your altar let the fire from your while you are worshiping God is sorting your business while you are worshiping God is arranging things for you while you are worshiping God is arranging the people who will come and sow the land for the church forget about the sorrow Go ahead, something is happening here. My voice lifted up. I will sing your praise. My hands lifted up. I will worship you. Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace on the night. There's no need to cry, cause you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Oh, Mary, my name. Go ahead and worship him. Lord, you took my pain away and then you gave me joy. You're my peace, my melody in the center of the storm. You gave me a brand new song to sing to you. That's why I will lift up my voice. Come on, sing to him. Yeah, 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 I command a restoration of your passion for God. A restoration of your passion. For some of you, after this conference, you will start your own retreat with God. Because God is calling you. You may need to shut down. Even in the secular, we have public holidays where you shut down things so that you can face family or honor a national day or whatever it is. God is calling you. Man of God, by now you would have been a mighty prophet. By now your business would have gone around the world. But you have been searching for every other thing and you ignore the lover of your soul. Get back to the place of the altar. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. Leave me at the altar with my father. The 
listen and pray and cry for mercy and say father i know i know that without you without you i can do nothing without you there's no life to me so i need you in my life today hallelujah one day i was preparing just worshiping the lord and resting and then i get this text that a group of some business people want to see me and they came and they said we're real estate people and we entered a covenant with god that anywhere in the world we build our estate we must build a house for you till jesus comes i don't want to tell you how many estates they have built across the globe today and some of those houses have never gone to even go and see it there are keys to houses today that have not even gone to see myself i'm not saying this to brag are we together sometimes it's good to challenge people the product of god's mercy a time within the period of two or three weeks God brought 18 cars what do you do with them will you put your leg in one and put your head in another one what kind of thing is that how many houses can you live in even if you travel to every nation see it is what you have that you give you can't give what there's something you are going to receive this night I'm not wasting your time please don't be distracted there is something that must come upon your life tonight because the favor of God is the child of his mercy thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion is that in your Bible for the time to favor her yea the set time that mobilization was in one month no poster no nothing coming to Jesus how do you explain this I'm not saying this to brag I hope you you, you don't misunderstand it that God will grant you access to kings and nobles access to their heart and you're wondering and saying what is this I'm not saying this to waste your time. I'm saying it because he must walk in your life from this night. That you will return back and as some of you on your way going home, you will start seeing a strange call. And all that you'll be hearing in your spirit is mercy. Mercy. And you pick the call and someone will say, where are you? I was in prayer and fasting and the Holy Ghost spoke to me. Are you John? Are you Ebuka? Are you this person? please come see me in my office come with two or any two people you want to get a job and they now come there and you are wondering they just give them a job just like that there are some of you by the mercy of god you are going to step into prepared blessings dimensions of blessings that have been prepared for you i'm saying this to you by the spirit of god hear me there are some of you in ministry the level of grace and the hand of God you will begin to see in your life will surprise you prophetic encounters supernatural visitations by the Spirit of God there is no limit to what the mercy of God can do 
in the life of a man because you know since covid many people's lives churches ministries families have gone down even economically let me tell you the truth it will take god's mercy to go down when you have lost one billion or hundred million in your investment or in your business what kind of technology are you going to use to gain it back no. to take the mercy of god I don't know how it works for others but I can tell you how it works for me grace your grace I'm nothing without you your grace please stand your grace your grace have nothing without you your grace now hear me i have 10 more minutes with us and we're done out of that 10 minutes we're going to take the next two minutes i don't know how you are going to cry before god I'm going to leave you for the next two minutes. Lord, I acknowledge you as the only one exclusively with the power to lift me and the power to help me. And I cry like bind Bartimeo, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Someone pray. I don't know how you will cry before God, oh, but I leave you with God, your maker, for the next two minutes. And that includes those following online god is able to help you and to raise you by his mercy having obtained help from god i continue to this day go ahead and pray mercy mercy shalike parakos kadebrendege balakatosiata where a man of god in ministry cry for mercy you are a businessman cry for mercy you are a prophet that wants to be used mightily by god cry for mercy an apostle a teacher of the word cry for mercy believe me that outside of the mercy of god there is not much you can do this is true two minutes you are crying to your god and your maker pray messy no eye has seen no ear has heard what God has in store for me so I submit to your work in me Till Christ be formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear has heard what God has prepared for me. So I submit to your work in me till Christ is formed in me. No eye has seen, no ear. What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work in me Till Christ is formed in me hey. No eye has seen, no ear has heard What God has prepared for me So I submit to your work Till Christ be formed in me, your 
glory revealed through me your wisdom be found in me your favor rests on me no eye has seen nor ear has heard what you have prepared for me so i submit to your work in me till christ form in me listen to me the bible says if my people which are called by my name in as much as they are called by my name the first thing is that they must humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land the next time you say Lord I need your help what you are saying is keep me in the zone of your mercy mercy now you know it is not an immature spiritual prayer when you go to the place of prayer and you roll from left to right crying and say show me mercy show me mercy it was that brokenness that God found in the young boy Solomon that made him to receive such a rich investment of wisdom when Solomon was asked what do I give you he didn't just say give me an understanding heart he said Lord I am young and you have given me such a great people who is able to lead these people he confessed his ignorance and his limitation if there is something I know about God I don't know everything about God but there are a few things I know about God one of it is that the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the cry of brokenness not the accuracy in prayer not the degree of compliance to the word alone the presence of God is attracted and sustained by the voice of brokenness show me a man and a vessel that is and remains ever broken you have found a way of trapping God's presence to your domain eternally let this mind be in you the Bible says Philippians chapter 2 from verse 5 which was also in Christ Jesus it says that even though he was God he did not consider it a robbery right that he had that equality yet he humbled himself he submitted himself and died even the death on the cross he says wherefore by reason of assuming that posture in the spirit and even physically God had so highly exalted him and placed him upon him an office that is greater than every other office he says that whoever invokes the authority that comes with that office you see that whether of things in heaven of things in the earth or under the earth every tongue every knee bows and every tongue confesses that Jesus is Lord even to the glory of the Father I am telling you now that in the kingdom and in the life that we live in the spirit our advantage and our edge is maintaining that posture of brokenness whether you are Jacob or Gideon or David or Solomon or even Jesus it does not matter who you are if it is the God of the Bible you want to secure his presence and his help you must perpetually remain in the place of brokenness crying for his mercy because one genuine encounter with God's mercy can rewrite your life rewrite your destiny hallelujah let me speak over your life some of you your spiritual fire has gone down some of you your passion for spiritual things has gone down your prayer life is almost zero nothing to write home about you may even be a man of God 
Just because you are preaching does not mean your prayer life and your word life is alive. You are the one who knows your stay with God. Some of you right now, based on the assessment of your non-compliance to kingdom principles, you do not deserve certain levels of the hand of God. But the mercy of God is about to speak for you. Can I pray for you? In the name of Jesus. We call upon the helper of men and the merciful God. May he show you mercy tonight. Mercy over your spiritual life. Mercy over your family. Mercy over your finances. Mercy over your ministry. Mercy over your health. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that by reason of the blood and that which happened in Calvary, may mercy speak for you. The same mercy speaks against every altar and every manifestation of darkness over your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak prophetically over your life. By reason of the mercy of God, rise to heights unimagined. Open doors of opportunity for you by the mercy of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, the one who comes to make your walk with God easy, the one who comes to make your life possible in the name of Jesus, he who died and rose again. I call for his ministry in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Will you blow, blow, blow like a mighty wind, spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. From the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never rest It's from the pages of my heart Let my worship begin and never rest To the God of all flesh you're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh. You're my God and your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Yahweh. Go ahead and bless him in the spirit. Just a few minutes you are pressing in the spirit. 
them please. I release that grace upon you. I release that grace. Take that grace. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. I release that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. The art of the altar. The ability to hold on to the horns of the altar. Take that grace. Receive it as a mantle. In the name of Jesus. The ability to pray the program of God. Not just give me tea and give me bread. No. Controlling the gates of destinies. In the place of prayer. with God. I stretch my hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Take that grace. Help this man. Take that grace. Take that grace. I stretch my hands towards you. Take that grace. Receive that grace. Let it come upon you like the dew of Ammon. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. them please i'm releasing it again the mantle of prophetic prayer the art of the altar take it take it now take it now take it now take it now receive that grace begin to pray in the spirit in one minute can i pray for you i don't know this man but there is a grace that is coming upon you i stretch my hands upon you may that mantle come upon you in the mighty name of jesus you will wax valiantly says the spirit of god valiantly you will do mighty things for him in the name of jesus christ listen listen please listen we're about to round up can i tell you this those who do not know how to pray the program of god for their lives and for nations will only allow these spirits prevail and keep aborting destinies there is a grace for prophetic intercession it's not a mechanical thing no Where are the intercessors in South Africa? I decree and declare at the count of three, any one of you called into the office of a watcher and an intercessor, may this man will activate that office at the count of three. One, two, three. Take that case now. Take that case now. Take that heaven. Take that case now. Take that case now. I quicken the spirit of the watcher. I quicken the spirit of the intercessor. Arise over South Africa. Pray the program of God. Stay the power of darkness. Open your mouth and begin to pray in one minute. The program of God in South Africa, the program of God over your destiny is at the mercy of your understanding the art of priesthood, the mysteries of the altar. This is where we control the climate over territories. Over my destiny, over 
over house of treasures over south africa let the king of glory we command a triumphant entry a new season of enlargement of increase over the program of god over the purposes of god over the destinies of men Hallelujah. Please hear me. South Africa, hear me. Listen to me. I submit to you by the spirit of grace that if the altar of prayer suffers in your land, the program of God will also suffer. It does not matter what goes right. If prayer goes wrong, everything will go wrong. In the book of Daniel, Daniel was not a prayer warrior. Daniel was a politician. But there was an angle of an intercessor and a watcher. The spirits of the Medes and the Persians governed the land of Babylon. And a parliament had to pass a bill to stop prayer for 30 days. Let it not be that under your watch, South Africa goes down spiritually. Let it not be that under your watch, South Africa goes down financially, goes down as far as the program of God is concerned. Please hear me. Please hear me. Please hear me. In one minute, my time is up. You are going to declare over your destiny the two lift gates of my destiny. A father be open for the new season go ahead and pray the two leaf cakes i part you hither and thither it's time for a new season man of god pray for your ministry pray for the program of god it's time for enlargement open up be open financial doors be open Ministerial doors be open. Greater exploits, virgin dimensions, virgin territories. Reba shona ma shona ma ba 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 ba. Shalaga tabras kaba laka shkoda. Kaka brakas kaba ba laka tabran ba ba laka ba 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 ba. hallelujah 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 praise the lord who is this man yes are you a pastor where because i'm not seeing you in nigeria i'm seeing you in europe where huh? i'm seeing that you are black skin but why am i seeing europe on your head I, I have European citizenship. I live in Europe. Oh, you live in Europe? Yes. You came from there or yes. you are South Africa? I, li I live in Europe. And I have my house, my business, my church in Europe. That's all right. I want to yes. pray for you. Listen, this conference was for you. Huh? Because even though you are in ministry, the anointing is going to come upon your business. And honestly, what God will do through your life will surprise you. Can I pray for you? Lift your hands. You have a business in Europe. That's what I'm saying. Father, you have granted us the grace to open up destinies. I speak to you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Receive that grace. Let your business be open now. Take that fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let it be the beginning of a new season. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, go back and work signs and wonders. Go back and experience the favor of systems, favors of structures. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We have to close now. But let me encourage you. Please, whatever it takes for you to be here early and to open up your spirit, 
will set this place on fire tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I believe that tonight there are mantles that have been looking for people and those graces will finally find you in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God but as for now I declare you are blessed the grace to have discernment even in these seasons receive it right now the grace to remain in joy until victory is established I release upon you and the grace to pray through to pray consistently may that grace be released upon you in the mighty name of Jesus stop he won't stop till his church looks like him he won't stop no he won't stop till my life looks like him God is raising man of power in this place God is raising man of influence in this place God is raising signs and wonders in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till we look just like him he won't stop no he won't stop two prayer points for this service and we're done prayer point number one father show me from scripture an individual whose destiny represents where you are taking me to go ahead and pray go ahead and pray find yourself in the scripture the bible says he found where it was written concerning him please pray and obtain grace from god reveal to me by the power of your word where it has been written concerning me that law I come in the volume of the book Elijah find yourself in scripture Sarah find yourself in scripture Joseph find yourself in scripture Paul the writer of two-thirds of the New Testament find yourself in scripture Peter the chiefest of the Apostles find yourself in scripture Agabus find yourself in scripture Abraham find yourself in scripture there is nothing god wants you to become that you will not find a parallel of it in scripture you will not go wrong when the word of god is guiding you please pray reveal the blueprint of my destiny by your word my contribution to this revival that africa and even Nigeria is privileged to host. In the name of Jesus. Final prayer point. Father, grant me the grace to honor and to appreciate the diversities of assignments within the body of Christ. Go ahead and pray. The grace. Man of God don't look down on business people business people don't look down on preachers entrepreneurs don't look down on leaders all together we represent parts and pieces of that glorious army wealthy people don't look down on intercessors and they who are pegged at the altar carrying the burden of nations and praying for them father grant me the grace to stay in my place of assignment but to have that understanding and that appreciation for the diverse provisions that are resident within the body in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the time has come by the privilege of God's grace where an anointed man of God can stand here a businessman can stand here a politician kingdom-minded politician can stand here royalty like his majesty can stand here a justice head of a you know 
the judiciary can stand here and all of us together can hold hands and believe we are doing the same thing for as long as preachers keep being exalted more than other people the people will leave their assignments to be preachers so that they can get the clap too when you clap for joshua selman clap for the kingdom minded justice clap for the businessman who in spite of the financial storm is still becoming a billionaire because the resources is what will keep joshua selman focused also clap for mama who is not educated but is raising five godly daughters are we together now oh yes don't clap for joshua selman and don't clap for mama those five daughters are the ones in the welfare department of his church and they are not stealing because mama trained them well the gentlemen who walk morning to night there was a father somewhere who did not pray in tongues but was sincere enough to hear his love i hope you were blessed by this message Through so let's keep the video to yourself now share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline grant him of ministry i'm not saying you not honor priesthood has its dimension of honor and i understand and whenever you do it and people do it across the globe i receive it with every sense of honor but i'm telling you this when i see people who have dimensions i do not have for instance when i meet with businessmen most times as they are greeting me ah my apostle i'm greeting them too god bless you sir and if i have the privilege of learning anything quickly i will not learn as apostle i will learn as a student by a king in an industry are we together when i have the opportunity to see an elderly person and i will greet her mama how are you oh man of god no mommy i'm a man of god but i'm your son too and she says really where I stop, may you continue. It's not a preacher that speaks that kind of blessing for you. Mm -mm. Now you understand why we honor people in this house, including our children. You see those little children come and run? We don't know, you don't know how many trees can come out of a fruit. You can guess how many fruits can come out from a tree. These children you see, as small as they are for some of them as soon as we share the grace that's when koinonia starts for them that jumping you see it is better for them to jump in the house of god some of you at their age you were still idol worshippers. i'm not being sarcastic for these people to be praying in tongues while you are praying in tongues too what do you think they will become when they are your age the next time you see a little child or a little baby don't push them trying to see apostle we are both apostles it's only that one is manifesting earlier while the other is using my life to correct and work with greater accuracy are we together there are many people here who are younger ministers some of them come to me and you see me greet them and hug them some of them come and they want to lie down I said don't do that you can respect me but don't do that don't if there is anything we have is the privilege to have seen higher you may still be in your formative stage but we will pat you at the back when you make mistakes as much as god has shown us we will correct you but we will help you because the little boy you see in a manger is the one who will save the earth after 30 years is someone learning you need to go back after this service madam go and meet your husband and say thank you I thought you were a stupid man, but now I know you are a man of God too. Forgive me for that ignorance. 
there are some of you who will never cook a nice meal respectfully speaking for your husband but if you hear that I'm coming to your house you will even kill a cow for only me to eat it no, it's not necessary it's not necessary that man God gave you is the one who gave the house that we can even come with honor parents don't look at this your children and while you are talking with Joshua Selman on phone and saying yes sir those little children they are the ones who will protect you in old age little children don't misbehave because you are learning nonsense from the internet are we together yes there are people at 11 they were already responsible on their own so please parents haven't encouraged you don't over pamper your children until they become a disaster to society if that stubborn child becomes a choir director he will do everything he did to his siblings in the choir you will add headache to the church politicians we love you we keep praying that you love this country above corruption and love this country above sentiment we will keep praying where god grants us the grace we will talk to you and to those of you who have brought yourselves under our leadership we will be will not be afraid to draw your ears in love and say do it this way but the body of christ in nigeria the body of christ in africa i have good news for you we will win it's been written forget what is happening in the church one problem here what forget it i am telling you it has been written this revival you see will not be aborted in the name of jesus we will not win because we are sufficient we will win because the captain has risen and has stood before us and as we follow him even as we blow the trumpet in zion and sound the alarm upon his holy mountain we will see the move of the spirit in africa like never before in the name of jesus father tonight we have heard your word you have charged our hearts and helped us to see the value of submitting ourselves to the word to growth to the house of god to methodical and structural mentorship lord i thank you for the blessings of these precious people you have given me in this place and global thank you for the gift of the body of christ thank you for all other men of god you have planted in this nation that continue to help us to see where we don't see clearly thank you for the diversities of the gifts thank you for the businessmen thank you for the politicians thank you for the judges thank you for the members of parliament thank you for the royalties thank you for the entrepreneurs thank you for the parents thank you for our force father we pray that you give us as a nation as regions as individuals a healthy orientation and an appreciation for the diversity of what you are doing in this body but lord we declare for revival we declare maranatha let it come for signs and wonders we declare let it come for breakthroughs and lifting we declare let it come for good and righteous governance we declare let it come for prosperity and increase we declare let it come for an end to terrorism occultism and oppression we declare maranatha and father we pray that when you are assessing africa and nigeria let it be by the privilege of god's grace that we did not miss out as we return oh god i pray that we'll return with stronger convictions making quality decisions that will help to reveal and glorify jesus for in the mighty and matchless name of jesus we pray life and destiny by the power that raised christ from the dead i release help for you to begin to sow in the name of jesus christ for those of you who are in need of the mercy of god to speak in any area of your life silencing the legal accusations of darkness and keeping you in a position where you are a victim may the blood speak over you now may the blood speak for you now may the blood speak concerning you now
number two i pray for you every destiny helper and every prophetic relationship that must be introduced in your life in this season for the sake of your rising and your excelling i expose you to such persons in the name of jesus finally i pray for you your relationship with the holy spirit that includes your prayer life that includes your word study life that includes your life of fasting and consecration in the name of jesus christ life to your prayer altar life to your word study altar in the name of jesus christ may the ministry of the holy spirit be real to you and in jesus name i stand here under the combined grace of myself jerry Eze, reverend Zimwa, and your pastor and the father the shepherd over this house reverend edwin and we speak to you as a united force rise to a new dimension rise to a new season in the name of jesus christ that by this time next year everyone will see that the lord has shown you mercy for in jesus name we pray may the lord bless you and may the lord increase you in jesus you i speak over your life that your weak beginning will be full of signs and wonders in the name of jesus i decree and declare that this is a week of exploits for you even as you have learned the grace to put what you have learned to practice in the name of jesus no weapon fashioned against you will prosper and every tongue that rises up against you let it fall in judgment you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country i prophesy favor upon you that when people are testifying of favor next week you must be part of them in the name of jesus christ may the grace for honor rest upon you your fire your prayer fire remains in the name of jesus christ your word fire remains in the name of jesus christ there is no going down for you you go more and more in the mighty name of father grant me the grace to receive the gift of men into my life to see men as an answered prayer not as a load go ahead and pray grant me the grace to receive the gift of men the Lord helps us by bringing to our lives the gift of men. Relationships are powerful. They are irrefutable. Without men, there is no business. Without men, there is no ministry. Without men, there is no rising. In all your learning, learn men. In all your getting, get men. In all your investing, invest in men. In all your receiving, receive the ministry of men. In all your praying, pray for men. to act go ahead and pray go ahead and pray pray from the depth of your heart someone is praying from the depth of your heart shalika paros katibaleyasa lift your voice to jesus thank you father the people that do know i obtain grace to know i obtain grace to know in the name of jesus someone is praying I obtain grace to know in the name of Jesus I receive the meekness that helps me to know I obtain grace to ask questions that help me to know I obtain grace to be willing to sacrifice my time my energy my resources to buy the truth so that I will know I obtain grace to place value on knowledge and to retain superior knowledge now pray on becoming i contend for the grace to become before doing i recognize that this is not the best version of me i lay aside my current failures my current successes and i press in the name of jesus becoming a greater spiritual version a greater financial version 
a greater intellectual version I upgrade my references kingdom worthy models and references that guide and challenge my transformation in the name of Jesus I give up age-long limiting unscriptural anti-destiny beliefs and I embrace superior beliefs in the name of Jesus I obtain grace to face and endure the consequences that come with growth that come with transformation now pray for exploits I receive grace to be courageous courageous even when it does not look like it to hold on to the Word of God and to believe I receive grace to be persistent and resilient I receive grace to be a person a man of God a businessman a family man a politician with convictions convictions that provide the energy the drive to take action I receive grace to be of unbending focus unbending focus and in the name of Jesus I receive the patience the staying power to remain until the Word of God manifests in my life for in Jesus name we pray last prayer point I want you to declare that your prophetic destiny the place that has been earmarked for your prophetic destiny if it requires a fight declare that you are a victor in Christ if it is a race require declare that you run with the speed he says he says he makes my feet like hinds feet that you run and redeem time and your bishopric that you will keep it and none will take open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus the grace to fight a good fight of faith the grace to run with the speed of 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 a gazelle the speed of 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 a, the fastest animal to run with it in the name of Jesus and with the strength of an ox the grace to keep the faith to keep the call to remain to stay to be strong till the end for in Jesus name I pray Go ahead. This is the ninth month. It's your time to deliver. Is someone praying in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God? Shapranda kaskote prati ke palahasi ya pashati kapala kuziata pa embra katus ko zebra katus yakete place. Father, turn situations around, visit families, visit businesses, visit ministries. Let your people experience the touch of God. I'm laying my hands and releasing the anointing upon this request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Is someone praying? Embrantas kali kaprahas kada vajaga de beleketosh, maka pragada kata baranda zaga de valasu sepregeti beleketos yata. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, your people are walking in their testimonies. They are walking in the manifestation of the word. Ne shalas kati pragados kali vrende ge barato sakash. Never again, O oh God, answer your people. Turn our mornings into dancing. Take away the garment of shame and reproach so that our glory will praise your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you because the Bible says to be anxious for nothing. But it says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. It says to make your request known unto God. We have brought this as a representations of our faith. Believing that you are able. Father, I bow my knees upon this request as your servant. 
and I pray that from the abundance of your mercy and power grant answers to this request in the name of Jesus Christ let your crying come to an end let shame come to an end let reproach come to an end let it be a season of joy and laughter a season of lifting and restoration in the name of Jesus Christ I was in House on the Rock last week and um, I taught on the teaching helped by God is on our, our YouTube page you can listen to it and in that teaching I taught that there are three ways that God extends his help to man number one is by granting men access to his mercy number two through the ministry of men and then number three through the ministry of the helper the paraclete that we call the Holy Spirit hallelujah so God is able to show men help by granting them mercy number two God is able to use men the man at the pool of Bethesda when Jesus said what do I do his prayer was I have no man that was his prayer I do not have any man who will come and stand to advocate and help me most of these requests here you see are men dependent it will take the 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 synergy between the power of God and the ministry of men for this to happen I said all that because I want to call forth prophetically the men that God will use to provide speedy answers I decree and declare everyone mandated by God to respond to any or all your prayer requests I declare from this night may their ministry in your life be activated If it is a job the person who should talk to the person who should talk to the person who will grant you the job we activate their ministry in the name of Jesus Christ everyone who has been ordained of God to bring you intervention and to send you help we activate their ministry speedily in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus I bow my knees before the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ and by the power of priesthood and the prophetic I prophesy that every request here written is hereby turned into a harvest of testimonies for in Jesus name we pray let's assume these guys were born on the same day now you pay attention because you're going to walk slowly are we together born on the same day with the same kind of experience in South Africa start walking slowly start walking slowly keep moving what is happening to this man is called delay don't rush just keep walking so hold on where you are now this guy is supposed to have been here but something has stopped him hold on now now time did not stop for him time kept moving he's the only one who stopped are we together now watch this you just turn watch this now when i no 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 don't move sir just stay where you are right just turn and face those ladies now if i say move just move as slow as you can watch this even if the obstacle were taken away now all of you move including you he still has not gained time this is progress not restoration stop where you are let me tell you what restoration is when God says I will restore watch this now I hope you know that time has gone he will never ordinarily be able to gain time this is what God does and I will restore the years that means when you look at the equation of this man's life you will never find where that gap was created what happened I know that 10 years of your life you did not have a job so if you had a job now you shouldn't be a millionaire by a job in one year but when God restores this is what is happening to someone tonight because for someone you are like Jabez come back gentlemen very quickly come there are families in South Africa there are businesses in South Africa you started let's go let's go 
and demonic forces stopped you keep moving keep moving 10 years some of you five years now even if you move his progress you don't have all the time my god will lift you my god will lift you and jabez was more honorable than his brethren when he says i will restore is more than moving you forward i will do something to time i can take 10 years and put it in one year there are people by december you will look at your life and it will look as though you started 20 years ago what happened to you by december a new level of the anointing a new level of influence and increase do you believe this My God is able to do just what He says He will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Here's the word tonight Don't give up on God. There's no plan B. Come on, South Africa. He's a oh, 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 he's able. Say, oh, 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 he's able. one more time. Hey, oh, shake away your belief tonight. Hallelujah. Ah, my spirit is fired up this night. For someone, I don't care what family you came from. Hallelujah. Like Jabez, they may have concluded about you. But in the name of Jesus, while others are walking, you will be running. While others are running, you will be flying. Even by the Spirit of God. Listen, it was by this principle that some of us came on board. If it were based on our background, if it was based on the vetting of men, we will still be far behind. But there is a God that gives speed. He can move you by the hand of the Spirit. Ah, someone move forward, move forward prophetically. Speed, speed. No, 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 no. I'm not saying come here. I'm just saying prophetically. Speed, speed, speed. I refuse stagnation. I reject stagnation in the name of Jesus Christ. Turn to your seat. This is what is already happening to you. You need to be able to defend your results with knowledge. When people ask you how come you have accelerated so far, it is the grace of God, but that dimension of grace is called speed. Speed. And receive the final blessing in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Everything you have received in this service stays with you. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if there is anything God intended for you to receive and it slipped and you did not receive it, I stand by faith and I declare, may it come upon your life now. In the name of Jesus. Even as you prayed at the start of the word session, may your life command fearful testimonies. It will be evident before all men that the Lord has helped you. Amen. It will be evident before all men that you are commanding strange results. Amen. It will be evident before all men that the favor of God resides with you. Amen. 
it will be evident before all men that you are totally and unquestionably free what can you change you are able you are So that those who have been asleep spiritually in terms of prayer he said awake thou that sleepest awake 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 don't just wake your mind your spirit man now i'm seeing that the devil has kept me down in the next two or three minutes i'd like you to just find a place and pray pray and generate power in the spirit go ahead and pray the fervent he says effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much someone pray david's christian center pray pray to a more superior dimension of yourself pray and make decrees where are the watchers the men and the women of prayer he bada katos kata brante kata paratos he prende ke bashala kata parukasia embra kata bakatos ki ata baladabas pray enough is enough new season in my destiny someone is praying every chain that has held me the last court the bakatos ki ata the lord rebuke you ministry i command that door a father open yita and tita lagos be open unto me pray 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 decree and declare that thou mightest be justified pray just a few minutes outside make sure you're praying those of you following online engage in the spirit pray atmosphere sheep now chains be broke break down holy spirit move now Heaven open, heaven atmosphere, atmosphere. Shift the climate over your life. Shift the climate over your ministry. Shift the climate over your family. Hebra katos koto brete kete, ebre kete le katos koto basia. name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Acts chapter 12 we're praying from verse 1 my God I sense such an anointing in this place Acts chapter 12 watch this it says now about that time the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church verse 2 and he killed James the brother of John with the sword next verse he said and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further to take peter also these were the days of unleavened bread verse 4 
and when he had apprehended him watch what he did to peter he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers to keep him intending that by easter he can bring him forth to the people peter can be your favor peter can be your next level peter can be your influence trapped and kept but verse 5 read with me if you're a christian it says therefore peter therefore was kept in prison go ahead and read but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto god for him are you ready to pray a prayer of release everything that has been tied down i decree and declare be released right now go ahead and pray I declare jubilee, jubilee, jubilee over my destiny, jubilee over ministry, a season of the release in the name of Jesus. Outside, pray. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, there is a grace I'm trusting God for that will come on someone's life. Let me show you that grace. We're still on that scripture, Acts chapter 12. The Bible says, verse 6, please listen carefully, that when Herod would have brought him forth the same night as he was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison, uh huh? It says, Behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him and light shined in the prison. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up, saying, Arise quickly. And the chains fell off from his hand. Follow carefully. And the angel said to him, Gird thyself and bind thy sandals. So he did. And he said unto him, Cast thy garment about thee and follow me. In response to prayer, verse 9, May God open your eyes. And he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel. He thought he was in a vision. Verse 10. He says they passed three kinds of gates. Let me teach you a mystery. There was the first gate that they passed. He was out of prison but he was not yet free. They passed a second gate. He was far from oppression but he was not yet enjoying liberty. The Bible says they came to a mysterious gate called the iron gate that leads to the city. Your city is your place of influence. That there is a gate that the moment that gate is open, the city must hear your voice. Listen to me. I want to pray for you. And I want you to pray first. This gate you see has kept many people. That there is an iron gate that opens when that gate opens your voice must be heard there are businessmen there are sincere preachers anointed and great but the iron gate still stops their visibility are you ready to pray he said he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder you are going to open your mouth that by the blood of the lamb the gates that must open for your visibility in 2022 command it to be open heater and teeter go ahead and pray the iron gates in ministry in business the gates of destiny that must be open so that those that were sent to your grace will know that you are there territorial iron gates
financial iron gates ministerial iron gates a father be open a father be open a father be open hallelujah hallelujah let me give us one last scripture first thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 18 paul was speaking to the church in thessalonica and he shared with them a very deep mystery please read with me if you can see it projected ready one to read wherefore we would have come unto you even i paul once and again wherefore your favor would have reached you since last year wherefore it kept trying what you are looking for has also been looking for you but satan hindered us the helper of your destiny long instructed by god to come and hold your hand in ministry but satan please don't think you are wasting your time tonight satan he says i paul once and again i tried when you pray it's not that god did not answer the man who would partner with the spirit to come to you satan hindered us the financial helpers that would have been sent by god to make the work easy for you it looks like god just left you destitute but satan are you about to declare now that in the name of jesus everything that stands as a hindrance to the helpers of your destiny and the virtues and the graces that must set you free to excel in 2022 in the name of jesus satan the lord rebuke you open your mouth and pray the hindrance is gone the lord rebuke you satan 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 Hallelujah Let me speak over your life our time is gone Even so come Yeshua come Even so Come and take your bride away How my soul Longs to see your face My Lord Even so Even so Come Yeshua come Hallelujah listen to me God put it in the heart of your man of God and it will take God opening his heart for you to see every true shepherd desires the rising and the excelling of those committed to him at the level that God has honored and lifted your man of God most of his needs is not for himself again any genuine shepherd there are pastors here your greatest joy is not your personal excellence is to see that those who God has committed to you rise and become all that was in the mind of God for them hallelujah I want to lend my voice and my faith with the angel over this house and speak over your life please I want you to give your best do not miss tomorrow's session you can connect by faith and I want you to make sure 
that even after this conference look for these videos and listen to them again if you must buy it buy it whatever you have to do get it and sit down you will be surprised that you have not gotten a major part of what was shared this night there is the hearing that brings awareness but there is a hearing that brings understanding We have been commanded to bless and I want to bless you. To bless you means to empower you to excel. Amen. 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 in your prayer life there are people here it was not like this with God something just happened perhaps the vicissitudes in life brought you down to a point where your prayer life has gone down in the name of Jesus I stand in partnership with Pastor Kingsley and we declare over you fresh fire upon your prayer altar help them please Kebrante kabrigete la katuskiata, grete kabarante skiata. Fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The unction for discernment. I'm seeing the number 12. Let it come upon you right now. Take that grace. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare, take that grace for discernment, supernatural discernment. In the name of Jesus. Hear me? Darkness from a distance looks like light. It takes discernment to know what is light. Let me speak over every closed door. By the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the privilege of priesthood, I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and I speak every door that has been closed over your life. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak over that door. A father, be open now. Be open, be open now 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 by wisdom oh God heaven's gates open now with understanding you order the seasons creating day and night Turning darkness into light, arranging the stars to your feet. Everyone ordained to lift your hands in this season. Help us of destiny. I don't know where they are, but I prophesy to the north, I speak to the south, I speak to the east and the west. Wherever the helpers of your destiny are between now and the month of march i command them to appear in your life i go apakatos ketebata shabran takatos ketea kebre ketes ketebata i command that they show up in your life let me speak over your finances don't say it does not matter it does it does there is a prophetic dimension to wealth by this time tomorrow he said what are you turning to wine 
Open the eyes of the blind. There's no one like you. Hey, not like you. Into the darkness you shine. Into the darkness you shine. Out of the ashes. Out of the ashes we rise. There's no one like you. David's Christian Center. Your God is mighty. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. Lord, you are higher, Lord, you are higher than any. Our God is healer. Awesome and power. Power our God. Our God. Hear me. Please listen. I'm wrapping up. When it has to do with the subject of supplies and abundance, there is a place for value and productivity. There is a place for relationships and all of these factors. But in the kingdom, we are not left without an advantage. There is a prophetic dimension to wealth and abundance. It says, believe in the Lord your God. So shall you be established. Believe his prophets believe his prophets so shall you prosper herein lies the pride of our world today i know that the prophetic has been abused there are imbalances here and there but within the boundary of accuracy and the boundary of scripture the prophetic can work wonders i want to pray over someone you will marvel and wonder at what god does in your life in the name of jesus christ I call upon the God of my covenant that between now and the next 90 days according to the mystery of the ark of God in the house of Obed Edom standing in faith with your man of God in the name of Jesus by the privilege of this election of grace I speak to your finances experience strange favor strange favor supernatural abundance in the name of Jesus I compel men and systems and structures I command them to respond favorably Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 and I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians and it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty I forbid emptiness from your life. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15. The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Not some, all. I pray for you. Anyone who looks upon you from tonight, may that glory that is upon you compel them to stand by you to help you. Let me specially pray for all those who have stood by the man of God in prayers, in love, in support, in partnership. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. God is not a fraudster. God is not a scammer. I stand in faith with him and I declare, my God, the God of this vision and this commission, may he supply your needs according to his riches in glory, even by Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will get jobs you did not apply for. People who have forgotten you, I open the book of remembrance for your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for you finally, the grace for speed. That God would take 10 years and put it in one month for you believe it believe it and the hand of the lord came upon elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of ahab i speak to ministries here i speak to businesses here in the name of the lord god who called me i prophesy to you in one month receive the result of five years
before I speak over your life. Listen, you are going to decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, this is the season where you will see the manifestation of God's grace, even in the area of supplies. Pray for yourself, pray for your ministry, pray for your business. Please do not entertain lack and want. It will affect your convictions. Pray. Open the heavens, O oh God. Grant wisdom. Grant relationships. Supernatural ideas. Strange manifestations of favor. Bring your people to their wealthy place. Bring your people to their heaven. The slavery of lack and want and poverty we cost you by the God of heaven. This is a season of light. Your people will experience supplies, supernatural supplies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah hallelujah let me encourage you therefore listen to me when the flood when the flood was going to come god called one man called noah and said noah flood is going to come upon the earth and is going to kill everything everything that has life therefore build an ark of three stories of gopher wood and he gave him specific dimensions and when he built the ark it was never god's desire to save only eight people there is nowhere written in the bible where god said it is only eight people i wanted to save the stubbornness of the fallen man is what landed them in that flood the ark could be able to take as many people the animals obeyed but men disobeyed the animals did not even wait to experiment with the rain from the bush they started coming two by two seven by seven into the ark but men they began to laugh and to mock them and the bible says god closed that door can i tell you this i don't mean to be arrogant but one of the reasons why god sent us to this city is because of these times we're not the only ones doing what we are doing it's a collective effort of the body of christ but we have a contribution and a role to play this is i'm saying this because many people's salvation is at the mercy of what they hear this is the year that you will make up your mind that you are not going to come to the house of god alone you are not first for yourself and then to make up your mind that these my children who represent my future but are very very lazy and careless when it has to do with their spiritual growth i must begin to invest in their spiritual growth or your spouse who goes to the house of god and then leaves you behind or you leave your spouse behind to say no 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 it is as for me and my house remember the weakness of ignorance is where satan will attack from as for me i made up my mind this year that through all our arms of expression the school of ministry our external ministrations the sunday services and the media ministry and every 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 arm of expression we will give our best to see that within the jurisdiction of the grace and the assignment committed that we bring light first to you and then by expansion as a contribution to the body of christ as for me i've made up my mind and renewed my covenant with god that for me i will give my best it is up to you to make up your mind can i tell you this minimize some of this time of going around begging people shadow boxing and stay with god adopt the wisdom of mary mary was yes martha was running around trying to get things done and nothing happened because in this kingdom we rise by light it takes more than desire 
some of the teachings that God has put in my heart for me in fact it's, it's as if it's as if I should keep us here and sit us down and and just begin to teach indefinitely make up your mind to listen thank God for the power of the internet for those who are unable to directly be here you don't have an excuse from anywhere in the world you can connect and listen not just once listen again you can go back now and go and listen again to this message don't assume you understand and let me encourage pastors here please encourage your members too to listen this is not the year to ah preach preach up listen listen with the intention of growth are we together make up your mind make up your mind whatever sacrifice you will make participate you can be here and yet not be here be here this year with your heart and your spirit and don't be distracted get something to write or get your device or whatever make up your mind when you go back home and god grants you the grace you can take a day or two with your loved ones if possible discuss the things that have been taught you will be surprised how many people sit in church and don't get anything that is taught you ask them what what did god say they say i was blessed and they never never become an expression of the word hallelujah let's wrap up In the name that is above all names father we have begun this year with you as a global family of faith and your people have come I have shared with them that which you put in my spirit Lord I pray the anointing and the grace that makes for walking in the experience of marvelous light may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now may that grace come upon you now in the mighty name of jesus christ shame and reproach that has lingered around your life and destiny in this year 2022 i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead let it leave you like smoke before the wind i pray for your spiritual life every attack on your passion for god your passion for prayer your passion for the word your passion for the house of god in the name of jesus i decree and declare rise above that limitation now hear me for anyone here who men have mocked you and said where is your god where is the evidence of your passion and your commitment this year may your results answer that question may your results answer that question in the name of jesus christ hear me jesus was speaking and said that the kingdom is like a woman who lost a coin and when she lost the coin the first thing she did was to get a candle and she lit that candle and started sweeping through that room when she swept that room she found the coin there are many things that are not in your life but are still within range there is a particular kind of light you need to put on and start sweeping that room i decree and declare the mystery and the revelation that controls restoration for what you have lost may that light come to you right now <laughs> hallelujah in acts chapter 12 the bible says as peter was bound bound hand in chain something happened to him there was a light that came into the prison that was the first thing that happened it was not just that the chains were were loosed light came into the prison are we together now and when light came there was liberty he walked out and he was free can i tell you this every prison financial spiritual whatever prison 
you found yourself in the lights that must shine in that prison and swing that door open may that light come to you now i decree and declare let there be a supernatural marking of the spirit upon you every manifestation of death i command it far from your habitation hear me and any devil of darkness on a campaign to kidnap you or kidnap any of your loved ones i stand by the god of my covenant may the earth open and swallow them for your sake hear me my bible says now may the lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means therefore i decree and declare 2022 find peace find peace find peace all your troublers i command them to leave you in peace leave you in peace spiritually physically financially i speak peace to your destiny in the name of jesus Amen. hear me every month has what is supposed to deliver in the name of jesus you will never carry over any prophetic blessing Hello. the blessing for january must come in january the blessing for february must come in february the blessing for march must come in march the blessing for april must come in april the blessing for may must come in may the blessing for june must come in june july must come in july august must come in august september must come in september october must come in october november must come in november december must come in december hear me the only thing permitted to happen in your life this year is speed not delay in the mighty name of jesus christ finally let me pray we pray for abuja the fct we pray for nigeria as our nation and africa we understand that we're in the middle of very turbulent times even as a nation can we stand in agreement and speak this is the federal capital territory we owe a responsibility of priesthood to speak over the nation he said give him no rest until he establishes jerusalem as a praise he calls us the light i didn't have the time i would have taught you that the whole goal of having light is so that you will eventually become the light not it does not just stop at the realm of having light you become the light stretch your hands prophetically to any direction and declare one minute over abuja declare over nigeria where are the priests and the watchmen decree and declare over this place we stretch our hands as rods of authority abuja hear the word of the lord in the name of jesus we declare peace we declare progress we declare safety and security of lives and property we pray for the government we pray for the house of assembly the senate we pray for all those who play different roles in this nation we declare wisdom upon them even at these turbulent times are you praying over this nation we pray for every region declare over nigeria we pray over the east the west we pray over the north in the name of jesus the south preserve your people oh god let the covenant of david that covenant of mercy speak across the six geopolitical zones in this nation we extend our prayer to the continent of africa in the name that is above all names we decree and declare preserve your elect preserve your people even in this season in the name of jesus christ decree and declare it is my year of marvelous light now you know what you are talking about it is my year of supernatural insight access to scripture 
it is my year of uncommon understanding it is my year of life my year of power signs and wonders go ahead and pray my year of marvelous light in the name of jesus receive it for yourself receive it for your family receive it for your ministry receive it for your place of work receive it for your destiny in the name of jesus please pray arise shine the light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me arise shine the light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon me please pray Arise, shine, my light is come. I see the glory of the Lord risen upon me. Arise, shine, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. I like you to mention every aspect of your life and declare supernatural illumination go ahead and declare let the redeemed of the lord say so mention every aspect of your life and decree and declare by the spirit that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god access to life illumination by the spirit hallelujah i like us to pray for koinonia our global family and declare that lord everyone connected to this vision this indeed for them and for us all will be a year of marvelous light lift your voice and pray please pray from the depth of your heart from nigeria to uk to america to canada every state everywhere god has positioned men and women who are connected to this vision with decree and declare that for all of us as a global family our experience this year is marvelous life even by the spirit of the living god hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point we're in zaria i'd like you to pray for zaria pray for the entire kaduna state you are going to command let there be light that everything that does not look like what god has said this year remember we have the power to frame our realities by the word of god i like you to cancel bloodshed cancel kidnapping cancel everything that is not of the light lift your voice and declare let there be light in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this over zaria this is our Jerusalem. We make declarations and decrees by the Spirit of God. Are you praying? In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that everyone following and everyone here inside outside all the overflows indeed I agree with the Spirit of God and I declare over you this must be your year of marvelous light 
in every aspect of your life in the name of Jesus and hear me what did not answer to you in years past this is the year it must answer finally in the name of Jesus Christ every confusion every darkness every gloominess everything that is not of God I declare it leaves your life permanently you will rise by light and revelation you will reign by light and revelation you will be distinguished by light and revelation in the name of Jesus Christ that this year when men say there is a casting down I prophesy to you that for you there will be a lifting up you will not fall by the sword death will not have its toll on you in the name of Jesus Christ in your going out be blessed in your coming in be blessed be blessed in the city be blessed in the country in the name of Jesus Christ hear me the Gentiles that have been assigned to come to your light wherever they are we call them to gravitate towards your light in the name of Jesus Christ in spite of all the things that are happening around the globe I prophesy to you this will be your best year ever can you thank him for salvation in the name of Jesus oh, yes. Christ salvation redeemed by the blood of the lamb blameless justified by the blood of the lamb by he who is rich in mercy from the abundance of his mercy look what he's done with our lives someone is saying thank you hallelujah hallelujah now i'd like you to pray one prayer you're going to ask the lord to burn into your spirit the revelation of his mercy so that you will walk in that consciousness the bible says blessed are the merciful and remember that your activity your action is a product of your convictions your thoughts if your mind is full of this revelation of mercy naturally that is what will flow out of you so you are going to pray that God will grant you grace for some of you who are quick to point accusing fingers at people quick to laugh you point at your loved ones point at family members grant pray that the Lord will grant you a change of heart that there will be a circumcision of heart to truly be merciful that you will be the first to cry with those who are weeping and tell them Jesus is able to help when you hear that someone has lost their child or someone is in pain you remember it would have been me go ahead and pray grant me the grace by your spirit please pray one minute and I speak over you and you're we're done pray salvation comes from his mercy healing comes from his mercy restoration of years and things come from his mercy his provision comes from his mercy let me declare over your life that in the name of Jesus the son of the living God this year 2022 I stand in agreement with your pastor the angel over this church and I decree and declare over your lives and over your destinies this will be a year that you will see a display of God's mercy in a way that will surprise you in the name of Jesus Christ And he showed me Joshua the high priest who had a filthy garment and Satan coming to accuse him and he turned and said Satan the Lord rebuke you is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and then he removed that garment I pray for someone here every legal access the devil has to plague you 
to buffet your family we come by the administration of the blood the symbol of God's mercy and we declare that that legal hold is broken now that legal hold keeping you in pain that legal hold recycling tragedies in your life by the blood of the eternal covenant we decree and declare you are set free now in the name of Jesus Christ and I pray for you everything the blood purchased for us in redemption by the spirit of faith I administer it to your destiny in the name of Jesus the Lord bless you you have tried and tried and tried in the strength of the flesh it's time to open up your hands and to receive power from heaven are you ready to pray please rise up on your feet thank the Lord for this word and then we're going to take a few minutes to pray 2022 is a year that you should not just enter casually no you want to command salvation over territories it will take you depending on the God of heaven in all things it will take high level spiritual illumination alongside the grace to obey it will take the grace to ward off all the demonic arsenals that try to fight the purposes of God over your life and it will take a genuine encounter with power lift your voice and begin to pray Lord I'm tired of powerlessness as a believer preachers pray businessmen pray all who are following from across the nations pray we need to produce the kinds of results that bring glory to the name of the Lord it will happen at the instance of the power of the Holy Spirit at work in us Father Abuja, the earth city, Nigeria, Africa must come under the influence of the Lordship of the Christ. We contend for the witness that greater works spring on the territory. We contend for the witness. We need our results to also become preachers preaching to the territory that you are alive preaching to the territory that you are exalted preaching to the territory that you are king of kings and lord of lords don't be tired pray Our territory must come under the influence of the Christ. Enough of having church services and remaining there, shouting and jumping in church and remaining there while the territory continues to plunge to decadence. We are light, we are salt, ambassadors of the kingdom. It's time to preach to the territory. We want our territory to experience salvation, not just individuals. Territories can be saved regions can be saved nations can be saved the policies can be framed after the fear of the lord notable miracles signs and wonders manifestations of power and grace the wonder walking power of the spirit hallelujah last prayer point and i speak over your life you are going to pray for yourself lord fresh power from on high upon my life evident power whose results will be clear before all men that i that i have come as an envoy a representative of the parliament of heaven without doubt without any shadow of a doubt lift your voice and pray
Telana masada kete prende kete balakusi adaba. Ebrati kapa rakusha leke prende ke lahasiata. Ebratus koto para kete balata tabara katus kete balata. Power to heal, power to change, power to transform, power to lift, power to bless, power to teach, power to preach, power for entrepreneurship, power for governance, power for excelling, power for leadership, power to mentor, power to raise, power to strengthen, power to prosper, power for longevity. Power for health and vitality. It's time to command results. Believe us, don't leave it to preach us alone. Believe us, it is a year of marvelous light. It's time to rise. Hallelujah. Commanding salvation over territories. The witness of greater works, mighty works. Your work, the results from your life are also preachers. They can preach. There is a message that they can tell your environment. They can say God is with you. They can say God is alive. They can say he's a mighty God. Hallelujah. The time is gone. I want to pray for you. Listen. I have seen the power of God in my life. I know what spiritual power can do. We've not gotten there. We are still pressing. But I have seen what the power of God can do. 1,000 sermons can be preached with one genuine result. One genuine result. The thing about the witness of greater works or mighty works is that it can preach different sermons at the same time. To one, the sermon he gets from your result is that there is a God in heaven. To another, the sermon he will hear is that God is almighty. To another, the sermon he will hear is God loves you. To another, the sermon you will hear is look what God can do with men who are yielded. One genuine miracle. Imagine what happens in your life by the time God turns your life around within one week without exaggeration. One week. Doors just open from monday to tuesday that by sunday you can't wait to come here and say what in the world is this when someone wants to doubt you listen 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 we must trust god for notable results don't produce results that leave people doubting and say are you sure uh -uh. there are results that are clear very clear when the barren carry a child a child is not a mirage when you hold that child and everybody sees it and they say you didn't have a womb that one is the mighty workings of god when someone looks at you and says you are in debt you would die in debt forever you are owing 10 million 100 million and you've already calculated that in three years i will come out and by friday you are out out literally don't doubt what i'm telling you i'm not a stupid person there are economic principles we respect them but there is the principle of heaven ask aaron what route his staff found to board the normal protocol is that you plant it water it and wait but not when god comes can i tell you this it is my desire that we not only become a people of light in talk but that our lives that as you are released out of this place is like samson releasing the foxes sending them on fire you go back to the hospital you are a doctor and you are looking at a patient and you can discern that this is a demonic attack this is not the issue of surgery and you keep your syringe and lay your hands 
and say I come as light help them please I believe this with all my heart you've heard me tell you I do not believe that anyone will meet me once and go back the same no no never it's not pride it's the truth that these hands are not just hands that carry food and carry things the hands of Jesus that these words are not just air coming out from you uh -uh. it's the breath of the Spirit go back with this consciousness I am saved but my territory needs to be saved and it will be by a display of supernatural power I don't know how true it is but I heard one time that it was um, Archbishop Benson Idahosa robbers blocked them on the road and they were shouting and saying come out come out come out and lie down and he came out carefully and looked at them and while they were shouting he said, choose one of these three things that must happen to you now. I think whether was it that they should, be di they should die or something, he, he listed three things and said they should choose it. They were shouting, will you lie down? And he said, no, no, I'm telling you now, choose one of these three things that will happen. Man of God, that by Sunday or Wednesday or whatever day of the week, someone who has already been diagnosed of something just steps his feet even before the service starts and his body is shaking he saying, what is happening to me i don't know the name of what is happening and all of a sudden that age of long captivity lifted just like that i don't know why it is strong in my heart to pray over people's finances i will pray it and i want you to believe it You've seen what God is doing. Listen, we are not lazy people and we are not careless people. But don't let the world bend you to only respect secular principles. We have an advantage in this kingdom. We are not stupid people. Yes, there are economic principles. But believe me when I tell you, there, there are heavenly principles. Did the prophet not say by this time tomorrow? something you have been pursuing to the point that people look at you and just pity you and say do you know what you are not the only businessman please rest and you have tried and tried and one prophetic word comes upon you and by the next day those you are looking for are now the ones looking for you that is a sign and a wonder listen to the testimonies that these people share here notice what happens the doctors will ask questions because you see People in the world are now beginning to discern that, look, oh, this thing is not all about medicine. This is not all about just, just um, business. And th there, is, there is a factor. And that's what we want to promote. In one week, you sell five properties, all worth one, one billion. Whereas you just started this work in two weeks. And people say, what in the world is this? said me i'm not it's not like i'm a serious agent somebody just said i should come what is it about you and you will tell them let me tell you what is about me there is one who is mightier than me jesus you see that is the goal the person lives with a renewed orientation because until his encounter with you there are people who don't believe in anything god they say it with sarcasm don't mind all this church thing. They are just a, a bunch of unserious people. Use your brain. I agree. But use your brain alone, you will be in trouble. Not in our world today. Those who look like they are using their brain alone have not told you what they do when you are sleeping. Don't you dare believe that the only thing they are using is their brain. There is a threshold of results that when you see, you will know that the energy for that result was outsourced from a realm higher than this realm. So don't allow people sit down and just fool you and say, I just use my brain alone. Some of them are assisted by demons and they don't know. The devil is escorting them. You will soon give them the bill. And say, you think I was working for you for nothing? 
I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead anyone here who is in any kind of financial hardship in the name that is above all names I call upon my God this week coming may my God surprise you 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 hear me where you have seen weakness and limitations where your results are just human and scientific and logical nothing extraordinary nothing supernatural i empower you by the spirit of the living god go and produce extraordinary results go and produce supernatural results in ministry in business in governance in career in family in the name of jesus wonder working order of results in the name of jesus christ there are some of you here your family members are depending on what god does in your life to acknowledge the lordship of jesus in your presence you've had them insult jesus and said this your jesus that does not have results beginning from this week in the name of jesus may god work wonders through your life that leads to the conversion of your loved ones may god work wonders through your life in the name of jesus christ hear me i pray for those in ministry prayer groups prophetic ministries evangelistic ministries you've not seen supernatural results in your life you are doing your best here and there scanty testimonies nothing notable from this week by the god of heaven i empower your hands go with fire go with grace produce extraordinary results And anyone who has refused to listen to you because they think your life does not command the kind of result that will make you worth listening to in the name of Jesus beginning from this week beginning from this week may God do something in your life that will command the attention of all who need to hear the gospel to you listen hear me the difference between what I'm speaking over you and just the fueling of lust and flesh is that what the grace you are receiving is not just coming to glorify self. Remember, what you are receiving is a grace that produces results so that your results will become a witness. You have been the evangelist alone. Let your result be an escort with you so that both you and your results will be preachers are you getting it now when you say god lifts your result too should say god lifts and then both you and the territory will say i'm listening when you say god restores let your result also say god restores and the lord walking with them the final prayer for you is the backing that you need the supernatural backing that you need for exploits I told you we're in the days of his power in the name of Jesus Christ may that marvelous hand of God begin to back you in everything you do and if there is anyone here that the spirit of death is roaming around your vicinity you are having dreams you're having encounters that seem to suggest death whether for you or your loved ones right now in the name of jesus christ we command that spirit 
from the realm of the spirit stay clear of this family now in the name of Jesus I speak to you you shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord help them As you go out, you are protected. As you come in, you are protected. In the air, you are protected. Your children are protected. In the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. Whatever you have received that was given to you with the intention of destroying you, I declare that the spirit component of that gift that was empowered to destroy you, he returns back to that devil in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands and worship him. Lift your hands and give him praise. Give him all the worship. Father, we worship you. We bless your name. King of kings and Lord of lords. Let's lift our hands to heaven, to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. The Mighty One, to Jesus, the Son of the Living God. You are my hiding place You always fill my heart With songs of deliverance Whenever I am afraid I will trust in you I will trust in you let the weak say i am strong in the strength i will trust in you i will trust in you let the weak Say I am strong Like you to open your mouth in one minute and cry to the God of heaven I have come tonight oh God for an encounter This is a miracle service I have come to see Jesus enthroned over every pain every sickness every infirmity are you praying
He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary ones, Your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to Him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. Father, tonight we pray that you will walk wonders in the midst of your people we have come to experience your power and to experience your grace we cry oh god and in the name of jesus that everything that does not name the name of christ it must bow to the lordship of jesus tonight let burdens be lifted tonight let gates and doors be open tonight let age-long captivities give way finally and for someone here your life is about to be an explanation that jesus is still alive that after tonight you will not need to talk much something about your life will testify that jesus is alive hallelujah last week i taught you that results are also evangelists there is a kind of gospel that only results can preach hallelujah for some of you you have been talking and giving explanations too long it's time to be still and let the mighty results that come through your life do the speaking your results will tell men there is a God in heaven. Your results will tell men he still loves you. Your results will tell men he's still a restorer. Your results will tell men he's still a deliverer. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your faith be alive. Don't be distracted. This is a night to encounter God and to receive all that he's had in store for you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. God bless you. Please be seated. I welcome every one of us to our miracle service for January. Happens to be the first for this year 2022. What should you expect in, the mir in a miracle service like this? The manifestation of the power of God. It's as simple as that. To heal, to deliver, to bless. The preaching of the gospel is not complete until there is a demonstration of the power and the grace of God. It is important for men and women to know that Jesus is alive not just by the speakings of the saints, but the performance that only the mighty hand of God can bring hallelujah let me prophesy again that tonight there must be a performance in your life yeah. hallelujah it was charles and francis hunter of blessed memory who said one genuine miracle will be worth a thousand sermons one genuine miracle I believe in miracles. I believe in the power of God. I believe in the God that heals, the God that delivers. I believe in the God that restores. I believe in the God that can change the stories of men. It would be a dangerous thing if there is no possibility for our stories to be changed. That means your yesterday will still be your tomorrow. But there is a God who can create a divide between yesterday and today and tomorrow like the Red Sea parting. 
listen i want you to know that the power of god is in this place and you must lend your destiny your attention because as surely as the lord leaves whatever came with you here that was not sent by god we know what god sent to go with you and if there is anything that followed you to this place as surely as the lord leaves you are only seeing it for the last time you are only seeing it for the last time he said these egyptians that you see today that you shall see them no more forever you shall see them no more forever this embarrassment this shame this reproach this poverty this hardship you shall see it no more forever in the name of jesus christ you are in the presence of the king of kings the lord of lords the all-powerful god as soon as i came down from the vehicle i started sensing i know when one of the graces that god has given me is the ability to not only have anointings but to discern graces and know what it is what kind of workings of the spirit to be found in a place by the kind of grace that flows hallelujah and when i began to sense that anointing i knew for sure that there there listen there will be such such a grace there is a grace that makes for performance performance means what you have heard you will see it is it is the grace listen it is the grace for performance that converts that which is spoken to that which is seen in the name of Jesus Christ give God a chance to surprise you tonight hallelujah let me start tonight the Lord put it in my heart while I was praying just to pray and speak a blessing all all of our precious family who have come from diaspora if you have come from any part of the world aside Nigeria please stand I want to start with you tonight what nation is that what's that Angola let's celebrate Angola hallelujah we may not have the time but there are literally people coming please help me honor and bless my uncle and auntie all the way from UK please can you give them a big big God bless you hallelujah whether you are the overflow whether and then for those following online by the way you are part of us so I'm going to pray for you thousands of people from everywhere why would someone travel 17 hours five hours one hour seven hours from one region to one region to encounter god only for them to return and the only testimony is that i came to church not here gentlemen there is a god in heaven this is the place of encounter do to me what you want this is the place of surrender this is the place where your life is changed in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god i pray for all our foreign delegates and all those who have come from every part of this nation and then those who have come from around the world non-nigerians or those who have come in from diaspora in the name that is above all names i prophesy over your life 
right now the challenge you came here with by the god of heaven the maker of the heavens and the earth let it bow to the lordship of jesus now let it bow to the lordship of jesus now delay retrogression financial embarrassment spiritual bankruptcy we declare judgment over you now in the name of jesus the son of the living god every nation here represented i speak to you rise to a new dimension a new dimension of fire a new dimension of grace in the name of jesus christ and we use you as points of contacts to speak to your nations by the power that raised christ from the dead every nation here represented let there be angelic visitations over those territories hallelujah one of the ladies that came from angola where is angola the power of god is coming on two of you right now please bring them out let's start with you i'm seeing an anointing atmosphere she now chains be broken hallelujah in the name of jesus i stretch my hands you will take this grace and go back to angola great fire what do you do what tap this man for me what do you do I'm a come again i'm a businessman you're a businessman stand your life is about to change listen listen there is a grace that enthrones no king makes himself a king there is a grace that enthrones i stand by the apostolic and the prophetic i stretch my hands towards you i shift you to a new dimension in business take that fire in the name of jesus christ you will never 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 be the same in the name of jesus christ i open the gates of your business fair for you you will return a sign and a wonder my dear stand what's your name who is patricia what's your name Antonieta Patricia. i want to pray for you there is an anointing that is coming upon you what do you do uh, i'm a business for two three of us together that's that's all right I, I, Okay, you create business because I am seeing not only Angola. Huh? Write it down. You have something to do with Congo. Congo yes, DRC. Congo DRC. Correct. What do you have to do with Congo? Uh, we want to do commercialization of diamonds. Because I'm seeing God is bringing you favor from Congo. Amen. By reason of this, I stretch my hands. May that anointing come upon you. May the gates of Congo DRC be open for you. In the name of Jesus Christ celebrate jesus please go back to your seat quickly there is only one name there is only one name power to say with power to say hallelujah who is sylvester i'm hearing a name sylvester will be seated shortly who is sylvester you are wearing a brown like traditionals brown with short hands is there someone like that come where are you coming from what's your name come where are you coming from i'm coming from my my dear brother your life is about to change <laughs> you came here praying i don't know you i don't know anything about you yes. i raised that song and the holy spirit told me sylvester yes, in the name of jesus christ listen the grace tonight is the grace this king maker anointing the grace that is is enthroning man he said there is a, a i have seen a mystery that servants are riding on horses while princes walk afoot hear me anywhere you should be seated now anyone sitting there or any power stopping you from sitting by this anointing in the name of jesus help them please in the name that is above all names 
be seated in your rightful place by prophecy in the name of Jesus servants ride on horses while princes walk afoot but my bible says we have been made unto god kings and priests and that we reign on earth i'm about to pray i want you to bring those people outside there i'm seeing the number 21 there are 21 people if the anointing comes on you there is something wrong with your family there is witchcraft that is stopping people from rising this is what i'm seeing 21 people wherever they are by the name that is above all names i decree and declare let the power of god bring liberty now please bring them out every anomaly that is stopping those who should rise champions in the spirit yet bound by witchcraft he said lose him and let him go lose him and let him go open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of jesus those chains those chains over my life please bring them out lose him and let him go bound by the orchestrations of witchcraft i'm still praying families men and women destined to rise but there are powers sitting on their destinies and nobody seems to make progress you go to school it's like you didn't go to school you are connected to great people it's like you are not connected by the fire of the holy ghost let there be judgment over every wickedness judgment over every wickedness judgment over every wickedness hallelujah justina i'm hearing a name justina will be seated shortly but who is justina please let's not be careless don't just rush out carelessly justina who is that Where are you coming from, madam? Stand up. I want to pray for you. I'll pray for all of you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing both of your hands tied in the spirit. Physically, there's nothing like that. But in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing both of your hands tied. Can I pray for you, madam? I don't know anything about you and your family, but I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the chains that hold your hand and will not let you go, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it release you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. There is a woman here. I'm going to pray for people but there is a woman here I'm seeing a hand like this and it's counting five years without a child who is that five years one two three four five you're trusting God for the fruit of the womb it's time to end this thing once and for all please make sure you don't just come out carelessly five years there is a God in heaven I want to pray for you thank you Jesus Madam, look at me. Is your husband here? I think he should be outside. Oh, he's outside. <laughs> Madam, you believe in Jesus? I stretch my hands towards you. I will pray for you that have come, but particularly careful, careful with her so she doesn't injure herself. Listen, look at me. In the name that is above all names, I prophesy to you, according to the time of life, I don't care what the medical report is, in that name that is above every other name, like Eli prophesied to Hannah, the power of God is coming on you right now. You receive your miracle child now. 
What's your name, my dear? This lady jumping. I want to pray for you. Madam. I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ. God is restoring business people. This is what I'm hearing in my spirit. There, there, there is a certain crown that was on your head. And yet that crown has been taken. And you are moving as a king without crown. This is a prophetic word for someone. But God is saying by his mercy, he's putting back that crown upon your head. He's putting back that crown of honor. There is no king without a crown. In the name of Jesus, let there be that enthroning upon you by the spirit in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please make sure you are not you don't just come out here carelessly what is this gentleman doing all of you five years this is your wife husband and wife hold your hands two of you just lift it up i want to pray for you look at me i curse that spirit huh now in the name of jesus let them go now I release you by the Spirit of God the same way you stood here this is how you will stand with your wife holding your baby in the name of Jesus Christ now I use this as a point of contact and I pray for all those who are standing here every demon that is stopping you from taking in for 13 years sir you see the the church of the lord jesus christ is like a hospital you understand don't be ashamed and afraid when you are before the presence of god because he can surprise you madam 13 years yes sir you believe that you can return with your testimony yes sir please lay one hand on your stomach even though i've prayed for everybody seven huh seven miscarriage it's all right madam don't worry you see when jesus comes he does not come to sympathize with your problem he comes to change it completely <laughs> lay your hands let me pray for you father lay one hand on your womb lord jesus i stretch my hands right now over this man and his dear wife in the name that is above all names I decree and declare that the spirit that is back of miscarriages seven of them let them go now release them and according to the time of life right now in the mighty name of Jesus return with your miracle in Jesus name I pray why is that gentleman here ah huh? my friend I will pray for you where eh? You just go back and I'm just just come when I call the cases, right? I know that you desire, but you see, we, this thing we are not guessing. We walk as the Holy Spirit helps us and leads us. Don't feel embarrassed, huh? But I'll pray with you, right? So you just hang when we are praying. You receive, or if we call a case that is similar to yours, then you come. Hallelujah. Why are they here? Ten years, you. Ten years too. I'll pray with you. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. The power of God is coming on one of you. I just saw an anointing come on one of you. I'm going to pray for all of you, but this is the instruction God gave me. I just saw an anointing coming on one of you, and I decree and declare by the Spirit of grace, please don't come out at random. Um, let these ones represent all the ones who are not here by now praise God the power of God is coming on one of you and in the name of Jesus I rebuke everything that represents embarrassment in the area of career let it go now I prophesy to you in Jesus name listen to me that soon after this miracle service the Lord will surprise you with a job you will come and stand before the people of God and you will testify 
and I use them as a point of contact. Please help. I'm seeing two people in the spirit. Like I will always say, I'm seeing them run out by the anointing. Just help them. You can bring them out carefully so they don't injure themselves and those around them in this auditorium now. You know, there are angels that walk based on what the Holy Spirit is doing. And so sometimes uh, it's not just what I'm saying. There is God walking in the midst of his people. I am just seeing angels. There's, there's, there's a strong angelic manifestation and I'm seeing two people running, like running out by the anointing. God is breaking something that represents delay in their lives. So when, please, when you have those two people, bring them right now. Let me pray for these people so that we'll get into the business. Help them so they don't injure themselves and injure others. Gentlemen, I use you as a point of contact to pray for everyone who is trusting God to honor you in that wise in the area of your career in the name of Jesus let this be the miracle service that releases you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen please bring them those two people that I mentioned right now who will begin to run out by the spirit if you if you've identified them let me have them here I want to pray for them right now Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Eh. Hallelujah. 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 They call you Junior. Who is that? Junior. You are at the back. This is what I'm seeing. They call you Junior. The Holy Ghost is showing me that this man is at the back. Who is that? What's your name? Huh? What's the name? Junior. Come. I want to pray for you. Where are you from, my friend? Niger State, sir. Huh? Niger. I want to pray for you because there is there is restoration that God is bringing not only to you but to your family members I stretch my hands right now may that anointing come upon you and let things turn around take that grace now in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy restoration even as the Lord is revealing to me let there be supernatural restoration even over your family in the name of Jesus Christ nothing missing nothing broken kept by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah something is going to happen here right now the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing the map of Nigeria and in that map I just saw like a wind and it's going towards the southwest and listen when God reveals things to me like this is because he's imparting people sometimes when I mention the states the power of God will meet the people of that state so I believe that the southwest represents a Yoruba nation I'm stretching my hands right now in the name of Jesus please bring them out the power of God there are families within that region if you belong to that region and there is anything tying you down this is your moment of release i decree and declare right now i'm telling you there's fire just coming on people i like you to identify them bring them out right now by the power of the holy spirit some of you are standing in for your family members you are not just standing for yourselves you are standing for your family members god is bringing liberty help that woman please in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, that anointing is coming right now. One, two, southwest, three, take that fire now. In the name of Jesus, take that fire, bring them as fast as you can. Every under the yoke and the bondage of darkness as represented in that region, I decree and declare that cause 
that yoke that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now that enchantment is broken now There is a cause. Listen to me. I'm seeing a yoke and an embargo that perpetuates poverty over families. This is what I'm seeing. No matter how hardworking, no matter how diligent, this is not just the Southwest thing again. I think I should just finish with that because I want to break that yoke now. Listen, pay attention to these prayers. They are not just empty speakings. It is the Holy Spirit identifying people's problems all those who are in front here and all those who are the overflows or wherever in the name of jesus every yoke tying your family those in front here at the count of three i command those devils to leave one two go go out of their lives now out of their destinies release them release their families in the name of jesus christ release them release their families in the name of jesus christ Now I want to pray. Listen, listen. It is a dangerous thing to be a victim of the spirit of poverty. It is poverty that leads to servitude. It is poverty that creates the distraction that interrupts people from giving God their all. Waking up in the morning, sleeping late in the night, only to eat the bread of sorrow. He brought you here to end this once and for all. Listen. For some of you, your loved ones are sincere people, but they didn't have the opportunity to encounter the grace that will set them free. They were not lazy. It's just that these spirits move from generation to generation. Can I pray for you? This is a very serious prayer. Father, every family inside the overflows outside following online that is under the yoke and the siege kabarata sadi salata parandesh kebarus kadila kapa krate gadila kosia covenants of fathers they went to consult powers to look for wealth and it backfired help them please harato shadegedea covenants of fathers when to meet enchanters to give them the power to make wealth it is only god who can lift and give sustainable blessings right now i decree and declare anyone bring them out any family under the siege of the covenant that leads to hardship paratos i'm seeing fire just coming on people breaking covenants innocent people went to consult with mediums consult with spirits of the dead slept in graveyards all in the search for wealth i stand by the anointing of the holy spirit i decree and declare that covenant is broken now that covenant is broken now that curse is lifted now that covenant is broken now wicked spirits that will not allow individuals rise wicked spirits that will not allow your glory to be seen even financially putting you in a position of perpetual embarrassment you start a business it dies you get a job they sack you you step into partnership you go down in the name of jesus anyone who is a victim of the aforementioned by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now be delivered now listen God is a glorious God God is, God is a miracle worker. my God is 
God is He's a glorious God. A Gloria. Two more times. God is He's a miracle. A miracle. One more time. God is a miracle. Please lift your voice in one minute and begin to talk to the Lord. That which you desire to see happen in your life now, the time has come. Lift your voice and pray. You are trusting God for that sickness to leave you. Go ahead and talk to Him. You're trusting God for restoration. Go ahead and talk to Him. You're trusting God for rest round about. Go ahead and pray. You're trusting God for speed to break the yoke of delay. Are you praying? Lord, you brought me here to change my story. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, listen to me. It is true that there are spirits behind the many, many, many tragedies of God's people. And one of the assignments of the anointing is to bring a separation between you and that demonic influence. That would not let you go he says say unto god how terrible art thou in your ways through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves there are spirits behind the career failures of people there are spirits behind sicknesses and infirmities that will not let people go free are you ready now i want to pray for you Please, whether you are an usher or not, I want you to help them, especially for those under the anointing. When I pray for you, then we'll minister to the sick and we'll see how God will help us. It will be a very, very quick walk that we're doing. Let your heart be open. Don't be a spectator. At the count of three, we're going to shout the name Jesus. There is a reason why we shout that name. It's not a ritual. We shout it, number one, because God instructed it. Number two, we shout it because we want the nations to know that every miracle and every manifestation of the power of God comes by that one Jesus, who is Lord and Christ. Listen, at the third shout, the power of God to deliver will fall like rain upon individuals whether you are the balcony whether you are the back inside outside wherever you are we're going to shout that name three times this is what god is telling me so we shout once we shout the second time and by the third time every orchestration every legal access some of you may not even know that behind the many problems is one spirit you don't have to deal with the issues one by one when that one spirit goes you will find out that the same spirit causing problems in your marriage is the same one causing problems every other place it's like an octopus many hands but the same spirit are you ready now one shout jesus yeah. the name that is above every other name the name that is above cancer failure the name that is above retrogression and shame and pain are you ready to shout the second shout jesus now i'd like you to be sensitive there is an anointing on this shout this is the name that lifts for some of you, you are shouting your way to a new level. Some of you, you are shouting your way to victory. Listen, as you shout, the power of God is going to rest right now upon people.
please bring them out very quickly i announce to every devil i announce to every principality every spirit that is not of the christ manipulating the destinies of men not allowing god's people to experience liberty this shout is tehillah is the shout that brings down the wall of jericho are you ready now shout jesus now i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ every spirit bring them out i cause every devil every wicked spirit go now in the name of jesus go now spirits of ancestry yokes of darkness tying down the destinies of men release them right now in the name of jesus christ bring them out we're praying my god evil and wicked dreams seeing yourself in secondary school primary school writing exams that never finish orchestrations of witchcraft everything that represents shame let that fire come upon you now shame and reproach is a spirit shame and reproach i call you by your name and i curse you by the god of heaven shame and reproach bring them out hallelujah listen to me there are people carrying an embargo upon their face of disfavor this thing they call bad luck the moment people see you even if they vow to help you it's like there is it's like there is, there is something that is not really you right now the power of god is tearing away everything that makes people do not want to help you i decree and declare upon i'm seeing nine the number nine there are nine people that embargo is about to leave you right now at the count of three one two three let them go now i cause every demon i cause every spirit every spirit of darkness in the name of jesus christ bring them out covering your glory covering the greatness that god has put within your spirit now i want to arrest the spirit of delay the spirit that makes you see your blessing and yet never hold it close to you and yet never hold it i tell you i'm seeing fire coming on so many people right now in the name of jesus that spirit of delay i call you by name and i decree and declare at the count of three release god's people right now one two three be released now be be released now for you and for your family be released now let that sword of judgment bring a separation between you and every spirit of delay someone prophesy i'm moving forward i'm making advancement go ahead and prophesy prophesy over your destiny no more retrogression no more retrogression I move forward I make progress by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is opening my eyes in the realm of the spirit I'm seeing a padlock on a door this is what I'm seeing and this is a prophetic representation of somebody's destiny you are wondering why everything in your life is failing why it's okay some things succeed and some things don't succeed at least it, it gives you a consolation but there are people here everything literally is at a standstill i'm seeing that padlock in the spirit as i'm prophesying the hand of god is coming upon them now i decree and declare 
everything that has locked and capacitated locked and caged your destiny inside and outside everywhere in the name of jesus i declare let it be open now let it be open now destiny hear the word of the lord be open now be open now hallelujah we may not have the time to prophesy but i'm seeing someone i don't know if it's a demotion that happened to you in your place of work this thing surprised you they called you and it's like you were relieved of the current position and you were demoted to somewhere lower who is that person i want to speak to you now your season of breakthrough has come if that person is here quickly just identify so that I pray with you and cause that demonic spirit. In the name of Jesus, who is the son of the living God. Where do you work, madam? In the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light and that it shines ever brighter in the kapara skedele kaparunde skediba lakuziata every spirit that will not want you to move forward but that you are up today and down tomorrow I'm using them as a point of contact to prophesy to someone you should never have a better yesterday where you look at your yesterday and rejoice and keep wishing in the name of Jesus for those in front here every power that will not let you rise consistently I curse it now in the name of Jesus I curse it Aparus I curse it now in the name of Jesus that it is from glory to glory hear me there is a pastor you are watching me your concern right now is that there is a strange decline in membership it's not like you did anything wrong or whatever it is but in a strange way you are watching me right now you are in a room you are watching me using your phone and you are wondering it, it ought not to be so you, you are a sincere person this is a demonic thing and a plot against your ministry I want to pray for you the lord is giving me that instruction you are a man of god father by the mercy of the god of heaven i pray over this your servant in the name that is above all names every time you call a man and you raise that man you send to him the men and the women who will receive from the grace that you have given him for this dear one who is in pain because of a decline and frustration in ministry I decree and declare from tonight let there be a miraculous turnaround in the name of Jesus Christ for those of you who are in front here I pray for you and I prophesy you have come by this prophecy whatever represents a demotion a going down I curse it now by the God of heaven and I declare may your life begin to change you will go upwards you will go forward only in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god go and prosper in jesus name now very quickly let me pray for the sick i'm sensing a very strong healing anointing now right now is the time to lay hands on them every part of your body that is a challenge health wise please lay your hands on it if you can if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest i want to pray for you in the glory and the power i see miracles signs and wonders 
in the glory and the power I see miracles here's what I want you to do I'm going to pray for you right now by the power of the Holy Spirit you came with someone's picture you came with anything as a point of contact I want you to agree with them I know some of them are following right now wherever you are in truth there is no barrier in the realm of the spirit i'm going to pray for you here's what i want you to do already there are many of you that the power of god has touched you in the course of the program and the moment i pray for you this will be very very fast the power of god will come on you and there will be a supernatural miracle i'll give you an opportunity to check yourself and do what you couldn't do whether you're on a wheelchair on a crutch blind deaf whatever the situation is having any health challenge the moment i pray for you and you find out that a miracle has happened when i ask you to come out here very quickly and orderly those who are in all the overflows if it is if they are coming out for testimonies please allow them protocol so we'll have either my left or my right very quickly we'll take a few testimonies the moment we're doing that please prepare by the way if you are yet to write your prayer requests as i begin to pray for the sick or afterwards it will be your opportunity to quickly write down your prayer request because i'm going to be collating every prayer request and right here at this altar we're going to be praying before i prophesy finally on everyone are you ready lay your hands there right now in the name of jesus christ shout a believing amen. amen in the name of jesus christ amen. in the name of jesus christ amen. i command every spirit that is back of any infirmity by the power that raised christ from the dead be free right now amen. i decree and declare over you from the crown of your head even to the soles of your feet be healed now be healed now be healed now growth in the body i command you to disappear now deafness whether partial or complete deafness be healed now every blind eye completely blind or you cannot see properly i declare in the name of jesus begin to see clearly there's someone the lord is the lord always does this i'm seeing like a lump at the left area of your breast the power of god you're going to feel like a warm sensation and that's it the power of god is coming upon you right now bringing you healing in the name of jesus now hear me every blood condition HIV, every blood condition, hepatitis, every blood condition, be healed right now. Heart conditions, in the name of Jesus, be healed now. Severe recurrent migraines, severe migraines, be healed in the name of Jesus. There's someone your left your knee your knee area i don't know like your kneecap there is a, a very serious challenge and excruciating pain there yeah. right now the power of god is touching you be healed in jesus name joint pain or pains in any part of your body i command that pain to disappear now now anyone who came here with a crutch you're here using an aid lift it and begin to walk right now lift it and begin to walk right now by the power of the holy spirit every bone condition be healed inside outside be healed right now there are people who are connecting from hospitals connecting from sick beds in the name of jesus christ i declare by the power of the holy spirit be healed right there in the hospital in the name of Jesus Christ someone 
the the side the left side of your your neck i don't know what it is you're feeling severe pain this happened to you when you woke up one morning and from that time the pain has been there right now the power of the holy spirit is touching you in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone your molars very excruciating pain be healed now in jesus name there's someone you've been having dreams and in that dream the devil has been telling you cancer cancer by the power of the holy spirit i decree and declare that every pain in your body that is making you suspect cancer let the symptoms die now in the name of jesus i'm seeing someone you are watching me from germany you're watching from germany you are on the bed right now your body is shaking and you are wondering what is happening to you is the power of the holy spirit touching you right now where you are i decree and declare let there be perfection by that it will be a sign to you that god is interested in you and your family in the name of jesus christ let there be healing for you now hear me every one of your family members most of you are holding photos of people wherever they are whether they can hear me or you are connecting by faith right now from this place may the power of the holy spirit bring healing to them now in the name of jesus christ there's someone i don't know what it is that is wrong with your head the doctors say you need a surgery i don't know if it's a tumor or something that was discovered there in the name of jesus we cancel that medical report now yes. chest pain severe hotness around the chest i decree and declare be healed now yes. peptic ulcer be healed now yes. pile be healed now yes. joint pains be healed now yes. ss um ss genotype change to aa now there's someone you have not high blood pressure the holy spirit is speaking to me low blood pressure you have low blood pressure in the name of jesus christ let there be a, a miracle for you now the power of god is coming on you right now i just saw light from my hands low blood pressure this is an attack this is something the devil is sending to destroy you because of the call that god has upon your life i decree and declare be healed in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing someone you have breathing problems in fact it looks as if they choke you physically and want to kill you when you're on your bed you you have to gasp for air you thought it was covid you went for covid test and they said it's not covid in the name of jesus christ be healed from that demonic situation whether i mention your case or not in jesus name the name that is above all names no matter what your situation is in your body for your loved ones i bring you the life and healing of jesus christ the child is right now and maybe the, the uncles or relatives want to manage that to keep the posterity of the father that's different but there are people who have failed with their lives and look forward to the death of other people that god is helping as soon as they die there are families from day one they won't even mourn and allow the, the dead they just come in with all this all this nonsense and they come and meet defenseless families let me pray for you that in the name of jesus if you have a victim of this or anyone under the sound of my voice anyone who will not give you peace may god take them out of the way for you where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty if someone giving quality thanks thank you jesus thank you for the testimonies for his marvelous hand upon our lives this is for the finger of god for the revival fire blazing across our territories and the nations of the earth 
the spectacular display of his power and his wisdom. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. And for tonight, can you cry out your heart, Lord, do not leave me the way I came. Someone pray. Someone pray. Let me not go back the way I came. Take away the burdens. Give me direction. Give me an encounter with your power. Let something from heaven rest upon my life upon my destiny set my ministry on fire change my story give me a turn around tonight someone is praying let there be healing over my body bring to end every long-standing issue let every age-long captivity bow to the name of jesus take away fear and unbelief from my life someone is praying let me enjoy the liberty that comes with your spirit tonight In the name of Jesus Christ. I can assure you and I know by the spirit tonight that someone's change of story is finally here. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every day cannot be the same in a man's life. There are, there are certain moments where you encounter the power and the grace of God and it will turn your life around. May this day be that day. The morning that the man at the pool, Bethesda, I'm sure he woke up that morning thinking it would be like every other day. Not knowing that was the last time he would lie down there. You woke up this morning believing it may be every other miracle service. But let me prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, the son of the living God. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. May tonight be a spectacular night for you. Hallelujah. Why do we come to God? We'll sit down shortly, but why do we really come to God to encounter him like this? Number one, because we love him. But number two, because we know he is the only one who has the answers we're looking for. Let no man deceive you. Except God gives you, no man can give it to you. And I announce to you that this God is very benevolent and he will give you all things richly tonight. For someone, God will arise this night and end circles in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. For someone who have been saying, God, where are you? You are about to hear him answer you tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. That after this service, everything around you will let you know he came to you. In the name of Jesus Christ and every power in existence that will not let you receive from God we cause it in advance tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so please I like you to be full of faith and expectation it doesn't matter where you are seated whether you are in any of the overflows outside by the roadside following from any part of the world be intentional don't waste your time you have come to god are we together you have come to him to receive hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 it says and without faith it is impossible to please him for he that cometh unto him must believe that he exists and then that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him hallelujah you won't go back the same there must be a change of story 
and God will visit you in a way that even before you announce it, people will know something has changed in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a way God can visit you. The Bible says, when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, it was not them that were doing the speaking. The Bible says the heathen said the Lord has done great things for them. May God visit you in a way that is your enemies that will testify. And for someone tonight, weep not. Your crying comes to an end. In the name of Jesus, your crying comes to an end. For another person, the mockery comes to an end. In the name of Jesus Christ. Someone will know tonight that it pays to serve Jesus. I was very touched listening to the testimonies. And you can imagine the gentleman, the footballer, just crying. And do you know what it means for people to once laugh at you and then see the other side of God's goodness? May that be your testimony this night. Listen. If you didn't come here to receive, go home oh, because for as long as you came here tonight, in the name of Jesus, the giver of all good things, is ensuring that something must land upon your life. Hallelujah. If you don't want to smell smoke, don't have anything to do with the kitchen. But for as long as you find yourself there, there must be something from heaven. In the name of Jesus, may it be clear that you met God tonight. So let hope, let it rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. Let your faith arise tonight. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. One more time with faith in your spirit. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your holy light. In the name of Jesus, I welcome you to that service where your life must change. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, I know what God told me before I left home to come here. I assure you, not one jot of His speakings will, will be missing from your life. I'm prophesying to you in the name of Jesus Christ. As He has said it, you will do it. As He has said it, you will do it. As He has said it, you will do it. Please be seated for a few minutes. With your faith still alive, with your heart still expectant, no gisting, no discussion, your eyes on Jesus, your heart angry at your situation, ready to insist that it must change. In the name of Jesus Christ. Miracle services are moments where we have the opportunity to experience the spectacular power of God. In the midst of his people every service is a miracle service but there are times designated according to god's program where he visits men and we're glad that tonight is that night in the name of jesus now as usual we will pray for the sick minister deliverance to the oppressed but the focus tonight there are two major areas of focus tonight as God gave me in the place of prayer. Number one, this night is your finances. Number two is the greatness, the glory upon your life and destiny. My, my assignment tonight is to deal with these areas to make sure that except God be God. Believe me, please help those under the anointing. Believe me, if God be God, something will shift in these areas in your life tonight that will surprise you. It's a prophetic midwife to tell you where you have stand is enough it's enough it's time for you to move for god's sake it is enough in the name of jesus christ arise from these ashes 
it's time for you to fly like the eagle that you are micah 2 10 give it to us please ah. micah chapter 2 and verse 10 this is a prophetic word for someone it just came to my spirit now read it from the depth of your heart are you ready one to read arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it is polluted it shall destroy you even with a sword destruction if you remain at that level it will destroy you arise it is not your rest this is not your place you are an eagle stop dwelling around with chickens in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray this scripture in one minute lord i arise i arise it's time to arise this is not my rest i arise i depart from this level i arise in the name of jesus spiritually i arise financially i arise as touching the greatness that you have placed upon my spirit i arise someone pray this is not my rest this is not my rest i refuse to settle for less man of god pray thank god for what god has done so find your ministry but this is not your rest evangelist pray this is not your rest prophet pray politician pray this is not your rest professional pray this is not your rest please pray this is a miracle service You have prayed yourself to a new level. This is not my rest. In business, this is not my rest. As touching the call of God, what I saw in my vision is yet to happen physically. I will give him no rest because this is not my rest financially this is not your rest to me please listen listen look up everybody what does it take to live where you are to the next level on the part of God power on your part anger and hunger two things anger and hunger are required ingredients to break through your current season if you are not angry enough you will remain there giving excuses and if you are not hungry enough you cannot be filled man of god you will remain at that level of the anointing praying for 100 people and having only one person getting healed it won't work that way the nations won't place a demand upon you that way that is the honest truth professional uh -uh. not at that level someone is going to pray father i am tired of this level i am both angry at this level thank you for this level but lord i know that i am overdue when a baby stays more than nine months in his mother's womb he calls for concern when a baby stays in his mother's womb if it is before nine months that's fine the baby has to be patient but above nine months doctors will tell us there is a problem lift your voice and pray Bring a performance, oh God, at another level. 
bring a performance in ministry bring a performance in family bring a performance in my finances bring a performance in my destiny empowerment from heaven the grace that turns dreams to their reality outside are you praying inside are you praying Sada branda gata katosko toprash, ella kata branda zagatish kali kapros kasi mekata, manda praka toshko dobla zikete breskiya. of the Holy Ghost coming upon your life hallelujah hallelujah please listen when God answers your prayer how does he answer it by giving you power God answers prayer by sending power the power that turns that desire to its reality now listen i'm going to pray on your prayer request but before i start ministry you are going to pray on it by yourself and declare that lord in this season this and that and that make your request known as you pray please do not keep quiet And don't say God cannot do it all. Don't entertain unbelief. You don't have to lift it up. Even if it's written somewhere, you just begin to pray. Mention everything by name. Father, it is within your power to make great. It is within your power to prosper. It is within your power to lift. Someone pray. hallelujah please hear me listen carefully please in the name of jesus can i tell you i know definite times in my life where certain levels of empowerment came and i knew the change when we started this work you see and i say this with every sense of responsibility and humility as at the time this work started this thing called the power to get wealth was not there. There were ideas. I was reading materials and learning because I knew that doing ministry with integrity will need resources. And I didn't want to go around inconveniencing people every day. God's people will give, but church can't be about money every time. And then you can't be demanding money from people and not release the grace that empowers them. Do you know, let me tell you, when the anointing of god rests upon people who truly love you and they are blessed you don't even have to ask them for anything they will be too grateful to live they will never allow you to beg for tea and bread not with them there are people who have the hearts to give listen something is about to fall here right now that's why i wanted to listen i remember praying and studying i had learned principles and a day came i had to study the life of abraham david and study these people i said i found a missing link i was already anointed though but just because you have the anointing is not like a general purpose tool uh -uh. the anointing is assignment specific the anointing for prosperity will not bring healing no their allocations are different 
you can have a first aid box with many drugs they are all called drugs you cannot carry the drug for high blood pressure and swallow it for headache you are causing trouble the design they are all drugs you go to a doctor a professional and he will diagnose you oh you have malaria he will give you the drugs for malaria even if you have malaria and another sickness most times doctors will choose which one to treat first when you are fine they will change the drug and treat the other thing many of you have received many impartations you can know the one that is missing this night don't keep quiet but as far as god spoke to me oh, this issue of the power to prosper i've done teachings on prosperity many of you have given but i want you to be angry know that god is able to help men you are ebenezer ah. you are ebenezer this i know about the helper of men you are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer Listen You are Ebenezer The lifter of men You are Ebenezer God can help men stop struggling alone You are Ebenezer You are Ebenezer I remember praying and crying to God and say Lord this work is enormous the apostolic and the prophetic ministry requires a lot let this grace for God's sake, come upon my life and also come upon this vision. The power to prosper can be on you as a man of God and not be on your ministry. You will prosper while the ministry suffers. The power to prosper can be on the ministry and not on you. The ministry will prosper and leave you to suffer and you will start compromising. Can I tell you this? When that grace came, with all due respect and honor to Jesus, I knew it has come to stay. The Bible says, listen, it says on the day of Pentecost, all of a sudden they saw what looked like cloven tongues and it came and rested or sat. It didn't visit and go back. There are graces that can sit and rest on you. When it stays on you, that is it. I submit to you with all humility every devil and every principality from hell knows that this is a ministry God has helped the ministry is not the building the ministry is you and you must answer that name this night in the name of Jesus Christ it does not matter what spirit of poverty has tied down people in your family you saw people educated to phd but they could not build a single house that is a wicked spirit when your level of intellectual investment does not match your financial rewards something is wrong with that equation and then number two we are going to pray that god will move us do you know let me tell you this any sincere man of god who loves his people your greatest joy is not your personal testimony if someone buys me a car today or buys me a plane or builds me a house thank god for all of that but that is not really the testimony i'll come and share here my greatest joy today is to sit down and hear people saying i came from a family with nothing serving idols and now i am on fire for jesus loving jesus and see what god has done that's right now that's a testimony you must be a wicked leader to rejoice over your results as above and against the people god has sent you to the real joy of a leader is not his personal testimony but to know that god's people are growing in leaps and bounds can i tell you man of god this may be a secret for you to learn when there are genuine testimonies not stage managed not exaggerated 
genuine workings of God's power in your ministry, it is impossible for that ministry to be empty. Lord, lift me up and let me stand by faith on heaven's stable land. A higher place than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. The last prayer, and then it will be a very quick one in this place tonight. Father, I vow that as you cause me to be great, it will not distract my work with you. Rather, it will give me an opportunity to serve your purposes. Lift up your voice and pray that sincere prayer. Someone is praying. Pray and let my God surprise you tonight. Pray and let the one who backs us up surprise you tonight. Lord, that my greatness will not be an interruption to my spiritual life. It will not be an interruption to my love and my fire for you. That is usually the condition. If the nations will see him through your greatness, if the nations will know him through your greatness, then there is no limits to what he can do. If that greatness will not bring pride, arrogance, Father, visit situations by the power of your spirit. Someone pray. It is not too late. You are yet to submit yours. Let it come now. Pandesh Kali Grandos Calibra Haskada. Be anxious for nothing, the Bible says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit families, visit everyone, by the power of your spirit, In Jesus' name I pray. Shout a believing amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. By the authority of the word of God, I decree and I declare, these Egyptians you see today, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, may you see them no more forever. hear me every human agent who needs to partner with god to bring answers to this prayer i command that they must partner with god and hear me everyone who partners with satan and says over their dead body for this prayer to be answered may the ground open and swallow them between now and the next three months i prophesy to you by the power that raised christ from the dead the same hand that wrote this request may that same hand receive answers now prophetically i stand upon these testimonies 
the same way I'm standing upon them, they will never cause you trouble again. We bring them under the feet of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We declare it done. In Jesus name. Now lift your hands. I want to speak finally over you. Son of man. Can these bones live again? And he said only thou knowest. Can I tell you? We are made by the prophetic words that we receive. Jesus himself said man lives by two things. One is bread. The other is words. We live by bread and we live by words. I decree and declare. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. Every door that has refused to open. Over your life and your destiny. I command that door after tonight let it be open for you yeah. hear me I stand upon the grace that is at work in this commission and I speak over your life shame and reproach hear ye the word of the Lord be far from God's people from today in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. By this time. 2023. You will return with strange testimonies. Hear me everything that belongs to you but is in the hand of someone else by the power that raised Christ from the dead I gravitate it back to your hands let the grace for favor rest upon you let the grace for speed come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your prayer life everything that has eaten away your prayer fire let there be restoration now let there be restoration of your word study life can i tell you this hear me anyone in your life right now who is contributing to your destruction your downfall your lukewarmness this night i separate you and them forever And in the same vein, everyone who is a helper to your destiny, wherever they are, I call them by prophecy, appear in your life now. Please hear me. Nobody standing here will be taken over by the spirit of death. any spirit programming death over you between now and the end of the year that you will not cross over into next year alive i curse that spirit in jesus name now hear me i pray for every campus represented here in the name of jesus as you return back to your various campuses especially when the strike is over let fire through you engulf your entire campus prophetically i stand in agreement with you and we pray over the existing asu strike father for the sake of god's people may mercy speak over the federal universities in the name of jesus christ that the federal government and ASU will be able to reach an amicable agreement so that school will be open. I also pray for you. The moment you are graduating, may your job look for you. I say it again. The moment you are graduating, may your job look for you. 
We are wrapping up. Are there final year students here? There is something called the finisher's anointing. The grace that can push a man to finish strong. Wherever you are as a final year student, right here, we graduate you here right now in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. May nothing hinder your advancement. In Jesus' name. Finally, I pray for you. Listen carefully. Everyone family represented here because everybody came from somewhere. Whatever has made them cry, whatever has made them weep, whether it is finances, whether it is health, whether it is career issues, whether it is, you know, marriage issues, whatever it is, in the name of Jesus, the Lord brings your family rest round about. Rest round about. Rest round about. I declare you blessed. I declare you lifted. I declare that you go forward from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, we are I pray. Here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Set our hearts on you. So you do what you do. We need a more. Hallelujah. At the count of three, we are going to pray. In fact, please, my people, hold your hands. Let me start with you people. This is my dear leaders. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, may this power to prosper come on you. Take that grace right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, I release you to strange dimensions of prosperity and increase that people will arise and begin to help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead, in the name of Jesus, be shifted to a new level, mysterious dimensions of kingdom wealth, even by the power of God. Now I decree and declare, at the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. Please bring those under the anointing. Some of you come from families where nobody has risen. My God is about to lift you. Are you ready now? Father, may this anointing, this man to come upon your people. Please bring them out at the count of three. One, two, three. Shout Jesus. Take that grace now. Take that grace now. Bring them out, please. Take that grace now. I lift you by prophecy. From where you are, I shift you to a new season. Please help those, my God. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. We have to hurry up now. Someone's life is changing. I don't care what financial situation. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, such as I have, give I unto you. Step into a new season of prosperity. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Lord, you are changing my life. Changing my story. Please bring them out very quickly. Let's hurry up. If you can, as many as you can. If you can't bring them out, that's alright. But we have to hurry up. Someone pray. Don't wait till you fall under the anointing. Open your mouth and begin to pray. A renaissance of financial possibilities. From your lowly estate, my God is lifting you. Hallelujah. Where's Jimmy? Please arrange for him to come and sing that song, The Lifter of Men. Just the chorus. David, damn you help. Whether it's a guitar or whatever. If the keyboardist cannot play, let someone help him very quickly, please. Please bring them out quickly. Bring 
them out my god something is breaking out here outside inside those following from any nation the power of god to lift and to prosper is resting upon you hear me hear me some of you by reason of this anointing i'm seeing at least 13 people at least 13 people at least 13 people your destiny is not even in this country this is what i'm seeing as god is showing me right now that anointing is going to come upon you don't ask me how it will happen Parande shekete balata. i relocate you now by prophecy go to your place of prophecy Go to your place of destiny. I pick you a bacato scatter from where you are. The land where you must prosper. May my God take you there now. May my God take you there now. is not here i'm saying it again anyone here whichever nation and whichever region where your prosperity is tied i shift you by prophecy go to that region now i release you let the limitations leave you now can i tell you this it is a dangerous thing to be in a place and there are people who are watching me you are outside this nation but your destiny is in this nation you are roaming around across the globe and finding out that even when you go to a place of plenty there is no peace because you must be in your assigned place i relocate you back to your place of assignment Can I tell you this? Hear me. Hear me. All through my time of ministry, I'd been in Zaria. I'd become so emotionally connected there. But I knew when the season was done for my assignment there. It was a very difficult thing. But I knew that if I do not move where God is moving, as far as my assignment is concerned, some of you, this is the simple key you came to receive. You can be roaming about. There are some of you who want to travel abroad. It's not in the blueprint of your destiny. You may visit and come back. But just because you hear that people are roaming around, there are still people suffering in every nation. Don't just emotionally enter the plane and go and die. My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on Now hear me I want to pray for those who are in any kind of financial trouble watch the power of prophecy bring you out of any financial situation hear me there are people some of you are owing some of you made careless business decisions and as it is right now it is only the god of heaven who can lift you i prayed for your spiritual life and i'll pray again but this night we want to deal with these things some of you are under corporate debt you may not be the individual in trouble but you are under corporate debt your organization is owing all kinds to the millions and billions 
God can help men. Can I pray for you? Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by this anointing, anyone here who is in any kind of debt or financial situation, personally, corporately, ministries that are owing and are in trouble, businesses that are owing and are in trouble, individuals that are owing and are in trouble, in the name of Jesus Christ, come out of that debt now. Come out of that debt now. By the ministry of destiny help us. Come out of that debt now. Hallelujah. There are spirits that have moved from family to family ensuring everybody remains poor. A family of everyone educated nobody working everyone educated nobody the highest salary may be 20,000 yes we are grateful but that cannot be enough now I want to pray fire will come upon you God is going to set you free because there are many hear me your salvation tonight is not just for you alone it's for your family members there are many of you I decree and declare any family here under a spiritual yoke maybe something happened in time past and a cause or a pronouncement was made over your family that keeps recycling poverty and financial struggles right now at the count of three please bring them under the anointing as you shout jesus that altar will catch fire now please bring them out are you ready one two three shout jesus i break financial yokes Please bring them out. I break financial yokes. Every spirit recycling patterns of poverty. Every spirit. Whether you are an usher or not, please help those under the anointing. Every spirit outside, inside, following online, responsible for lack and poverty and want. As the church of the Lord Jesus Christ, and by the blood of the eternal covenant we set you free tonight 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 open your mouth in one minute and begin to pray i release myself from every embargo someone pray i decree and declare a prophetic release every embargo every yoke it tied down my father he tied down my grandfather. He tied down wicked people. I am a righteous man in Christ. And I decree and declare that by the blood of the eternal covenant, I appropriate my healing and my deliverance. One more minute you are praying. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free from this embargo. I break free. Financial embargo, I cost you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That are found. Look up. I have heard. For some of you for the first time others a reiteration i'm going to subscribe let nothing and no one be so great in my life that it takes the place of god if that becomes your prayer and you mean it with all your heart you will count testimonies like the sands of the seashore because your life you things you prayed for and the ones you did not pray for you become a friend of god let's pray Don't forget what I have told you. That in this season, I discern very strongly that the giver of all good things is coming to his body again. And there will be strange distribution of new things. God is going to come to believers. There are people who will be enthroned at higher levels. A thousand cubits is about to be measured over many believers. 
and some will shift into deeper levels of power some will shift into deeper levels of influence some will shift into deeper levels of wealth make sure you subscribe for what god is doing through sacrifice so that you don't become part of those pointing fingers at people and saying don't mind them it's they are just lucky or no 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 you must make up your mind is someone ready to pray i give you two three minutes alone with god before we do a general prayer please no distraction let's respect what god is doing i want you to cry before the god of your salvation lord purge my heart purge my heart bring me to a point of total surrender may nothing be too much to give you may nothing be too much to hand over to you you gave me everything the grace to give you everything all our viewers make sure you are praying crying to the god of heaven who are striving for mastery and in addition to understanding the ministry of prayer and his capacity to build the believer we must understand death death to your ego death to your reputation especially make sure you pray lord this my ego this my reputation take it out of the way i desire to serve you acceptably my passion for titles my passion for name my passion for this and that take it out of my life i want to see you exalted that is all i desire jesus exalted jesus enthroned enthroned him beyond your business and thrown him beyond koinonia and thrown him beyond joshua selman lord we exalt you we enthrone you purge our hearts purge our hearts purge our hearts purge our hearts grant us the grace let nothing let no one let no lifting be able to take your place in our lives that which you want is what we also want go ahead and pray speak to him you're contending for power with god lord i love the ministry but i exalt you above it I love the business but I exalt you above it I love my wife my husband my children but I exalt you above them I love the visions you are giving me boy I exalt you above them one more minute you are praying to the God of heaven The one secret behind the strange liftings of men the one secret of the kingdom behind the mighty and the marvelous hand of God over the life of an individual you will see God arise for you in ways that will surprise you he will give you even the desire of nations because you would have become his friend hiding no secret from you opening you to deep truths in the spirit empowering you in unusual dimensions wisdom beyond the realm of men hallelujah 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 listen when the lord began to speak to me about the thing he's doing in the body of christ in this season how that he's distributing newer and greater levels of grace god is trusting people with wealth you have never seen see let me tell you this this is not going to be about business alone i understand principles of value but this one is god trusting people seeing that i my last treasurer betrayed me that i'm still looking for more and now you are saying lord i will be a faithful steward and God will give you what is equivalent to the wealth of nations. There are levels of anointings 
that will make men will walk like gods upon the earth it is true that their words become like the word of god spectacular manifestations of his power that you look at them you know that this is a man backed by a strange altar with blood dripping on it that we will stop being storytellers in the body of christ and indeed will be proof producers even by the spirit the secret beyond fasting beyond prayer is death there is nothing in my life today i submit to you by the grace of god that i cannot give god there is nothing in my life today that i cannot drop at the altar nothing the worst that can happen to me in this life is that i die and even in death we have cheated it already in victory please everyone in one more minute before i pray for you i want you to rededicate your life again i'm not insulting you i know your spiritual experience but rededicate your life afresh don't say i'm not a sinner i'm not rededicate your life lord i hand it is a handover service again I rededicate my life. I rededicate my life. I rededicate my heart. Everything. One more minute. Just, just pour your I rededicate everything. For some of you, you are even saying, Lord, let's start afresh again. I don't know the name of what I've been doing, but I can I can I can be sure by this message that I've not been serious. Lord, I'm willing to start afresh again. It's better to start afresh than to keep roaming around in pride and ignorance. I can start afresh. We're wrapping up. That's why you came to church. Rededicate yourself. Hallelujah. Now listen to me. Let me tell you this. I don't mean to insult you, but the way many of us live our lives, it is proof that we do not yet acknowledge the authority of Jesus over our lives. We are the masters of our own will. You do anything you want to do. No. He that strives for mastery is temperate in all things. Are we together? You cannot live your life anyhow. Anything that just comes into your mind, you do it. No. It's not done that way. And I know when you speak like this, most people feel, oh, this is a liberal society where, well, you can choose to believe what you want to believe. But I am telling you, if it is the God of the Bible you want to walk with, it says the love of God constrains us. Are we together? So don't, don't try to modernize Christianity. Don't try to modernize. I've told you, I'm both new and old school. It depends on what you are calling old and what you are calling new nobody leaves what works this is a word of caution because thank god for westernization thank god for technology but many of us have become victims of these things there is an an unusual lust for comfort and lawlessness and liberty that is there is no constraint anything goes it's a social world. I tell you, you will not do business with God that way. I don't insult your pedigree. The choice is yours. But if it is the God of heaven, you must be prepared to go back and say, Lord, I am ready to subscribe to the constraint that brings mastery. Even in the secular, those who are champions are constrained. There are many things they want to do, but they are not given the liberty to. By reason of what they seek, who for the joy that was set before him, 
endured the cross be careful many of us are jumping into all kinds of things no restraint no constraint no nothing you don't care after all i'm just a christian after all this one will happen i don't study my bible i don't care i don't pray i don't care no nothing oh i'm a christian i just come to church no sir no sir all those who have written history that we have we, we we have benefited from them today go and find out the price that they paid i'm speaking to us one more minute before we pray i have to tell you this because most believers you don't like hearing what i'm saying but i love you most times when you say things like this believers become offended because they feel you just preach and leave me to live my life anyhow i promise you by god whether it's god or satan you are serving you live your life anyhow you will not go far with any of them constraint is related to mastery you must be able to constrain yourself can you pray that one prayer lord grant me the grace that i will be able to constrain my life for the sake of the place you are taking me to relationships you need to cut away from people you need to cut away from things you need to cut away from he that strives for mastery is not crowned unless he strives lawfully Le leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 says this is the thing that the lord command that you should do and the glory of the lord shall appear to you whether you are lying down kneeling let me just speak over your life you don't have to lift your hands just believe and take it by faith in the name of jesus christ i pray and i declare over your life the power to lay it down i decree and declare may that grace be imparted upon you now the power to lay down not just your finances to lay down your ego to lay down your intellect to enthrone christ above anything and everyone in your life may that grace rest upon you now in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you there are many of you who by prophecy you are supposed to have entered certain realms realms of mastery realms of prosperity realms of advancement but simply because you have not subscribed to this sacrifice of total surrender you have not given god a chance to move you by reason of your surrender tonight may god speedily bring you into those realms in the name of jesus christ anyone and anything in your life that will not allow you to surrender wholly to god i take them out of your life in the name of jesus christ and i pray for you whoever has laughed at you based on your sacrifice and your dedication towards god in the name of jesus help them please i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead may god use the strange results you will bring upon your life to answer them back hallelujah you are the lifter of men the lifter of men i will hold on through the storm this is for someone i will hold on through the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of sing it one more time as a prophecy that i will hold on to the storm ah. i will hold my life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men The lifter of men Can I tell you this? There is no one here under the sound of my voice Or will there ever be Whose situation is worse than that of Job Let me show you what God can do And the Lord turned the captivity of Job 
when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job twice as much as he had thank god for that but we want to know how it happened are you ready next verse verse 11 <laughs> read with me if you're a christian one to read hold on hold on hold on are you seeing how god restored him number one then came to him all his brethren every next level and finances you are trusting god for is in the hands of men until the men come you cannot get what is in their hands it says then there came unto him where were they when he was crying the bible says god turned so how does god turn he places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming there came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before they were the ones that made him prosper before that means how did poverty come to his life something was taken away from him and everybody left physically how did god restore it something came i'm i'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now please read it are you ready one to read then came there unto him all his brethren uh -huh, and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before and did eat bread with him in his house and they bemoaned him and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him now here's the secret read and every man how many men there is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and i'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now i've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers these are men anointed commissioned by god to pay attention to your destiny not everyone is a destroyer there are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came it is what is on you that controls what is around you every man gave him a piece of money every man gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold father who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level I declare place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny open your mouth and pray place that grace this is a miracle service make sure you are praying place that grace upon my life oh God that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me place that grace upon my life Forget about where you have been. Pray. Please pray. I will hold on through the storm. I will hold on to your word. My story is about to change. You are the lifter of men, the lifter of men. Lord, I will hold on to the storm. 
I will hold on to your word My life will soon reveal You are the lifter of men Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. I submit to you by God that there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you. Nobody will come and lift you on their own. I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows outside i am praying Paracosia. lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now In the name of Jesus hallelujah please put down your hands who is Christy I'm hearing the name Christy my assignment tonight is to deal with the issues Christy who is that where are you coming from I want to pray for you I presume there may be many Christies or your life is about to change and in case I'm prophesying to people, you open your heart and receive. What God says to one, he says to all. Are we together? I don't mean to embarrass you, but please hear me. There's a prophetic word. I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons. There is a lady here. A man kept you in a house. Hold on now. Let me finish the prophecy. You don't know what I'm about to say. Just hold on let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house listen to me that man is married with his wife but he kept you in a house somewhere you are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere i want you to know that that man is going to destroy you he has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you where will you get help I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility. I know it is not easy. It's easy to tell people you are working in this and that. You must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision. But let me tell you, whoever that person is, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I want you to pack out of that place because with what I'm seeing, that man did not just keep you there. There is something occultic that he's doing there you hear what i'm saying i'm speaking to you by the spirit of god back out of there he may be giving you 10 naira but he's taking the glory of what two million from you and we have to be careful as believers sometimes you know why it is important to empower believers like this because if we don't empower believers when people are desperate they will do anything for money they will come to church and remove the 10 percent and drop it but they know where they got it from so it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this you are following men you are following women you are following whatever no 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 we have to empower people first then we we'll tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom there are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money and it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church when we hear of people's situations we are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love
God brought you people out here by his spirit. I want to pray for you. Madam, your suffering has come to an end this night. Please leave her. Careful, careful, so you don't injure her. I know what I just saw. I want to pray for her. Hi. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You see, let me tell you something, my dear people. For as long as God brought you here this night, I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck. Anybody that says he will bless this woman, something must happen to them and they will neglect them. If there is anybody like that, people keep making promises. Tomorrow they will say, next week they will say, whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you, I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please don't, 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended. The, may God bless you, madam. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a woman, you are a widow. Oh dear. This woman has suffered. Oh. This woman, you are a widow and if I don't pray for you, it's nothing at all is coming from anyone. It's as if you don't have children. It's as if nothing is happening. You are, you are quite an aged woman. I don't know who that person is. The Lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person. You are a woman, an elderly woman. You are a widow, but honestly, as it is sincerely, that you love God sincerely, but absolutely nothing is happening. This woman I'm seeing, I know you came out, but I'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside. The overflow outside. The overflow outside i'm not just praying for every widow of course i will pray for you if you come out but the particular person i want to pray for you are outside father you are the god that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you upstage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus christ release them now in the name of jesus i open this door in the spirit and i declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here. You are owing medical bills. You are owing, as I'm speaking now, you are owing medical bills even to the millions. You are owing medical bills. I don't know who that person is, whether you are watching online or you are here. It's like there's somebody. Let me tell you this. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances? It's not about the sickness. Because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth. The sicker you are, the more your finances will tell to. So when Satan wants to attack your finances, one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness. It will not go up. It will not go down. It will remain there and keep eating finances. If there is anything I know that can destroy finances overnight, is held no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building
Hear me. God is able to lift you from that yoke. I will be praying for, we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone. We may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight. I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness. I must spend the next 15 minutes and flood this thing out. It must step over your life. Honor and greatness. Here, yeah, the, 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 the wither that came. Now, let me tell you this. Do you know, any day you see any widow or someone who is genuinely bereaved and incapacitated, even if it is 10 naira you can give them, it is a blessing unto God. You see that? Remember the widow at Nain? She had lost all the men in her life. Her husband, a symbol of her strength and defense, had gone. And now her child, who represented her future, was also gone. When Jesus saw her condition, he said, no, we can't leave you this way. And he brought up the child. Nobody prays to lose anyone. But if and when it happens, it is important to stand with them and stand by them to pray. God is able to help. We can't promise you that every day everybody will be giving you money but we can promise you that something can be placed upon your life that will insist and ensure that you are not left without help let me pray for you in the name of jesus christ my dear look at me you're a widow you are standing for who your mom where is she don't cry Jesus is able to help you. You see, let me tell you this. You can't comfort people who mourn when your hand is empty. I hope you know that. Because after you pray for them and do whatever you do, some of them will stand and they're expecting that even if it's 10 naira, you put something in their pocket. And it's easy for us to make a lot of noise in church and talk and say this and that and that, God will do it. You must reject poverty in your life. There's no reason why you should remain the way you are, not after this miracle service. Father, I pray for these ones. You are the only one who knows how it feels, oh God. But in the name of Jesus, by your spirit, you call them out to change their lives. And I pray right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, Turn their lives around release that grace upon them your physical husbands may have gone but may God become that husband for you and ensure that your needs are supplied to the latter in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that the hand of God rests upon your life I don't know but I just feel in my heart to say this and I say it respectfully anyone here who is a widow or who has lost a loved one and there are people who are troubling you in the name of jesus christ we agree right now may the troublers of your destiny go now now you see anybody who troubles a woman who does not have strength on her own under normal circumstances must be a wicked person Don't cry. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again. Anyone who is troubling you, maybe something you labored with your husband to get, and now just because he's gone, people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare, may your troublers depart from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead I use this ones in front to pray for every other person and I decree in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God that anyone who is troubling any widow here I will not let her have peace except otherwise but I pray that if the fault is not from them may God show them mercy immediately In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that every man 
destined and appointed by God to hold your hands no matter who and what you have lost especially your husbands I pray for you may God raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen let's celebrate them as they go God bless you you will return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus are you ready for the next prayer to be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life to be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing you can't always be the one looking up you need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others father whatever it takes for my greatness release it upon me someone lift your voice and pray don't be tired tonight is a good bargain tonight is a good bargain by the spirit go ahead and pray lord whatever it takes finance influence relationships results opportunities release it upon my life 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 hallelujah hallelujah please look up god is able to make people great from where they are to the next level genesis 26 13. give us new king james version please if you can nkjv read with me ready one to read and the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous verse 14 hmm. for he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants so the philistines envied him next verse 15 hold on hold on hold on go back to king james now i want to show you something because there is a name god is about to call someone for all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of abraham his father so the man had struggles the bible takes out time to tell you he did not just become very great like that there were struggles they dug a well the philistines had stopped them and filled it with the earth 16 and Abimelech said unto Isaac, he said, go from us, for thou art much mightier than we. When you read the verses after, for the sake of time, it will tell you that he dug a well and they covered it. He named it. He dug a well, they covered it. And the third one, they left him and he called it Rehoboth. He says, for God has given me my own space. My own space. My own space. I want to pray for you the grace for greatness is a real grace read your bible look at abraham read your bible look at sarah read your bible look at esther read your bible joshua gideon ordinary people you can start from where you are but you should not remain there you must rise for the bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day what is greatness to be elevated to a position in life and destiny where you enjoy the blessings of productivity the blessings of influence and now you can reach down to people and also be a blessing to them in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed if that happens to you that is the epitome of greatness god wants to set us free 
from this life of always hoping that someone will rise and help you it is in your destiny to rise too i want to speak over your life do you believe in the power of prophecy Bazanji Soroba Mekse Makona Bazanji Kunyaba Mekse Makona Mekse Makona Bazanji Soroba People come balloon success they arrive some of them on campus some of them everywhere on fire for five years ten years praying is as if they are ghosts they can fast for one year but after six seven years because they do not have a word bank when the vicissitudes of life hit at them i have met a few people that i used to know on campus i don't say this with joy in my heart but i've met some of them some of them you would believe that with the zeal they were carrying as far as prayer and the charismatic move of god was concerned honestly you would think by now they should even be maybe a global ministry and some of them have met them and i look at them looking so wretched and some of them you would know that they are not even serious with god again what happened the one that strike me most as we prepare to pray true story a gentleman once upon a time many years ago this gentleman was even ordained a pastor i had warned him one time i said the way you are ignoring the ministry of the word and the whole counsel of god it will affect you ignore me eventually the gentleman traveled abroad just to go and further his studies he returned back a few years maybe like four or so years ago to come and renew his papers guess what he had become an atheist this was a young boy that was getting people filled with the Holy Ghost. And he just laughed. He said, Africa is our poverty and suffering that is making us do all these gym gym things. I said, my God, what is this? These were people who would roll inside the rain and say, Lord, use me. I found that I would... Listen, if you don't embrace the whole counsel of God, let your life be an inspiration, not a lesson. Not a lesson for people. many 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 great people have risen just like you many preachers i assure you you are not the first man of god to begin to have encounters you are not the first to see jesus you are not the first that the power of god is already moving ask our fathers of faith here they will tell you stories of people who have risen and sadly some have fallen but there were others who looked like they would not stand they built with the simplicity of the word and prayer and when all the dust settles, they are still standing. There are kings, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are thrones, there are kingdoms, there are mountains and there are thrones, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names. There are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are titles. There are legends and tales of strength, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. Gombe, hear this preacher. Men have risen and men have gone down. 
governments have risen and governments have gone down men of god have risen some have gone to join the cloud of witnesses but i tell you if you build on the ministry of prayer and you build on the ministry of the word you have the tribe the twin pillar that you can hold on and when the dust comes and when the winds blow you will still be standing the word and prayer let's find a place to pray Acts chapter 6 again but we will give ourselves continually Gombe, give yourselves continually when it is time for Bible study and the learning of doctrine do not ignore it sit down and camp with the word go and buy books go and listen to materials don't say I'm a prayer warrior I'm seeing visions settle down and learn doctrine learn the ways of God learn about financial prosperity learn about discipline and moral excellence learn about character learn about leadership learn about administration don't ignore any dimension embrace the whole counsel of God and then garnish it with a life of prayer pray in the morning pray in the afternoon pray in the night pray with fasting and you will evolve into a sign and a wonder that is God's pattern can I tell you this this is what you must do if you want to see the glory of God manifest in your life we are going to pray our first prayer point is found in Leviticus chapter 9 and verse 6 there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a shoe will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end and moses said this is the thing which the lord commanded that ye should do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you if you want to see the glory of the Lord upon your life there is what you must do and this is the mystery I've revealed to you tonight you want to see the glory of the Lord in your finances you want to see the glory of the Lord in ministry give yourself continually to the ministry of prayer and the ministry of the word are there people of prayer in this place can we take the next five minutes to pray wherever you are i want you to commit engage with understanding pray in the spirit pray in your understanding where are the watchmen now is your time to pray lift your voice and pray i obtain grace now that you know these things happy are you if you do them lord the grace to submit myself continually to the ministry of prayer the grace to submit myself to the ministry of the word someone pray challenge prayerlessness challenge wordlessness obtain grace from God some of you have ignored prayer meetings you have ignored prayer ministries it's time to realize some of you have ignored platforms for the communication of sound doctrine it's time to realize please pray you are praying for Gombe you are praying for your children you are praying for the government you are praying for the men and the women of God you are praying for the purposes of God you are praying for your campuses 
let your kingdom come this is what the Lord commands that you do and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you hallelujah 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 let me show you one of the major ministries of prayer is the ministry of prophetic intercession listen carefully the ability to stand in partnership with heaven and shift climates over territories isaiah 62 helped us under the anointing isaiah 62 please give it to us we're wrapping up hear me gombe if you sit down and just say government will change this land business people will change this land you will sit down and nothing will change there is the ministry of prophetic intercession through prayer over families over the government over territories let me show you a scripture we're wrapping up for zion's sake I will not hold my peace and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness and the salvation thereof as a lamb that burneth verse 2 the Gentiles shall see your righteousness Gombe and all kings thy glory Gombe thou shalt be called by a new name and the mouth of the Lord which the mouth of the Lord shall name verse 3 Thou shalt be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. These are all the things that God wants to do. Thou shalt no more be termed forsaken, neither shall thy land be termed desolate, but thou shalt be called Hephziba and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighted in thee and thy land shall be married now how will this come to pass next verse it says for as a young man married a virgin so shall thy sons marry thee and as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride so shall thy god rejoice over thee verse 6 this is why it will come to pass i have set watchmen upon your walls all gombe which shall never hold their peace day or night ye that make mention of the lord he said keep not silent verse 7 and give him no rest until prophecy becomes manifestation that means engage in prayer every family must become an altar of prayer the campus must become an altar of prayer in addition to a learning institution every church must be an altar of prayer your government houses must be altars of prayer give him no rest bring before him the prophetic word lord you have said this concerning gombe that you are the jewel in the savannah we decree and declare it must be so give him no rest listen please look up i can tell you that prayer if and when done with understanding can change the narrative over a life and over a family there was a man in the bible called jabez are we bible students the bible says the mother named him jabez because she bore him in sorrow this guy saw a pattern of negative things following his life but he got to a point where he prayed he said oh that thou wouldest bless me is someone ready to pray you are going to declare lord your prophetic word over my life in this season i enforce its manifestation by prayer open your mouth and pray i enforce prophecy over my church over the government over my campus over my family Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. We enforce prophecy. The 
violence shall no longer be heard in our land or the sound of mourning we declare this by the decree of the watchers pray let your kingdom come oh god in my family let your kingdom come in every church let your kingdom come over this beautiful land of Gombe. we ignite the fire of revival from the north to the south to the east to the west every campus every home the fire of revival blazing from north to south blazing from east to west of this land until the name of jesus is lifted above every other name hallelujah 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 you are praying because you believe in Jesus can I tell you it is the season where women of prayer prophetic intercessors you need to rise in this land the time of sleeping and giving flimsy excuses is over it's time he said awake thou that sleepest man of God it's time to stop giving excuses it's time to know how to hold on to the four horns of the altar and pray prophecy to manifestation teach the young people how to pray pastors teach your members how to pray businessmen pray politicians pray students pray lecturers pray academicians pray members of the force pray he spoke a parable to the end that men ought always to pray in the name of jesus the last prayer point and then i speak over your life and we're done for tonight please listen the last prayer point Proverbs chapter 8 is our next and last prayer point. Proverbs chapter 8 from verse 1. Media help us please. Proverbs chapter 8. Doth not wisdom cry and understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of the high places by the way of the places of the paths wisdom now she cried at the gates at the entry of the city who is crying wisdom at the coming in at the doors unto you O men i call and my voice is to the sons of man O ye simple understand wisdom and ye fools be of an understanding heart verse 6 here yeah, for I will speak of excellent things and the opening of my lips shall be right things verse 7 for my mouth shall speak truth and wickedness is an abomination to my lips verse 8 all the words of my mouth are in righteousness and nothing is forward or perverse in them they are all plain to him that understandeth, and right to them that find knowledge verse 10 receive my instruction and not silver and knowledge rather than fine gold for wisdom is better than rubies and all the things that may be desired are not to be compared to it god is taking us somewhere i wisdom dwell with prudence and find out the knowledge of witty inventions the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride and arrogancy, and the evil way and the forward mouth do I hate. 14. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding and I have strength. 15. 
now wisdom is speaking by me kings reign and princes decree justice by me princes rule and nobles even the judges of all the earth 17 I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me are you ready to pray father the mystery that connects what I do not know but I need in my life grant me access to it even by your wisdom go ahead and pray the things I need in my life that I do not know how to obtain may wisdom come for me the wisdom to be empowered financially the wisdom to live and walk in health the wisdom to have a robust ministry the wisdom to lead as a politician the wisdom to establish the counsel of God in my territory I obtain by faith pray the wisdom to be a responsible father the wisdom to be a responsible husband the wisdom to be a responsible wife and mother the wisdom to be an exceptional man of God the wisdom to be an exceptional leader by me kings reign and princes rule In the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ 2nd Corinthians 1 24 I'm speaking over your life now is it 124 help me First Corinthians one twenty four. But unto them which are called, we are called in Christ, all of us, with no exception. Please look at me. No matter what background you are coming from, some of you may be coming from families where there's no electricity some of you may be coming from a background where nobody has risen can I tell you you are still called some of you may have failed failed as men of God failed as sincere people some of you you are standing looking at me right now and you are at your wit's end you are saying I'm tired this thing is not working I'm not getting something right you are correct something must be missing Christ when the anointing is revealed it comes to you as the power of God and it comes to you as the wisdom of God you want to access the anointing as the power of God the ministry of prayer is responsible for drawing that dimension of the anointing dunamis you want to access the wisdom of God the power that comes from the wisdom of God will come or the power that translates to the wisdom of God comes from his word Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4 that is where you get the power that comes from his word the power that gives you authority God came from Taman and the Holy One from Mount Paran his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praises verse 4 amplified puts it very beautifully verse 4 it says and his brightness was like the sunlight rays streamed from his hands and there in the sunlight splendor was the hiding place of his power there is a dimension of God's power that hides in his light when you access his light 
you access the power that translates as the wisdom of God. Christ revealed as the power of God. Christ revealed as the wisdom of God. But we will give ourselves continually to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Can I pray for you? My head you are exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn i am anointed with fresh oil now as i pray please do well to help those under the anointing you don't have to bring them out just receive in the name of jesus christ The anointing that fans back a man's prayer altar the grace for supplication and prayer I stretch my hands it will come on everybody oh, but there are a few people that this mantle and this grace this grace of a watchman right now may that anointing fall on you take that grace now Receive that grace in the name of Jesus Christ. Men and women of prayer, I prophesy to you, arise by the Spirit. There are many women from tonight. That mantle is coming upon you. The mantle that was upon Anna the prophetess. That grants you capacity to pray. Help them please. Take that grace now in the name of Jesus. There are people the fire upon your altar has gone down it was not like this this was not how you started with god right now i ignite that altar let fresh fire may that altar catch fire now and begin to burn in the name of jesus The Bible says all things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made I want to pray for you the fire of God is coming on this woman I don't know who she is this woman wearing a shiny robe madam look at me I stretch my hands that anointing now take that grace now the name of Jesus Christ you will never never be the same I ignite you that fire the grace of an intercessor indeed you will pray Voices and your hands. Make you make you make you make you make you make you You are the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. You are the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, take your place. 
take your place take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Take my body, my soul. Can you open your mouth and ask the Lord for a definite encounter tonight? One encounter in His presence can change a man's life forever. Go ahead and pray. The Bible says to be anxious for nothing. It says, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, even with thanksgiving, says to let our requests be made known unto God. Cry unto Him from the depth of your heart. someone here you are a man of God God is counting on you for the mighty things that you will be doing in this city I'd like you to pray hallelujah hallelujah now please listen carefully I will teach it will be a brief session tonight but I truly believe that God is igniting people and setting people on fire when when you come before the God of heaven he does not leave you the way you came hallelujah I want you please two things i want you to be careful with our our special guests in front ushers and then number two just be careful with the cranes but i want you right now to bring those who the power of god is coming on them right now inside and outside the power of god will begin to fall on certain people right now please bring them out Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit in your work on earth is done. Strong anointing. Thank you, oh my Father. For giving us your son and leaving your spirit in your work on earth is done. The Lord is opening doors. You see doors being opened in the spirit. That anointing that is coming upon you is opening doors. There is no power in existence that will keep that door shut. We are standing on holy ground And I know that there are angels all around Let us praise Jesus now We are standing in your presence on holy ground
Just be patient for a few minutes and we'll be seated. You ask him to come. When he comes, you will know. He touched me. Jesus touched me. And no one shall fill my soul. Something happened, and now I know He touched me and me. like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the Lord of Lords we will praise and all night From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise And all night All the nations of the earth Every door of delay, I'm prophesying to you now. Please bring them up. That everyone under the sound of my voice, I don't care what force has kept you down, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, and at the count of three, I speak to that door over the city of Gombe. Hear the word of the Lord. That door be opened now. Be opened now. Be opened now. Be opened now. Hallelujah. Is there someone by the name Rehila? I'm hearing a name Rehila. someone with the name Rehila God is bringing we may not have the time to see you but God is bringing a mighty deliverance to your family right now even by the Spirit of God oppression comes to an end now all those in front I decree and declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead everything that is not of God I command it to let you go now. Release them now. Release them now. Now. Every spirit out of their destinies. By the power that is in the name of Jesus. Wherefore God had so highly exalted him. And given him a name that is above every other name. I declare your liberty now. I declare your liberty now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before you sit down, may I request that you open your mouth in one minute. And everything you are tired of that must let you go tonight, open your mouth and declare by faith. Everything that must let you go, that this Egyptian to see today, you will see no more forever. We are going to the world shortly, but pray.
hallelujah father let our lives be testament that you visited us tonight move mightily among your people let your word come with power in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ please be seated if you can those in front god bless you you may return back to your seats rejoicing just help those under the anointing all those who are in front you can return back to your seat as many who can you are delivered you are set free by the power of the holy spirit now tonight as i teach please be your brother's keeper whether you are an usher or not if anyone is under the anointing close to you please do help them so they do not injure themselves you can lift those who are in front here gently back to their seats for those who are unable to rise just leave them until they are fine I command every spirit to live in the name of Jesus we must let them go release them right now out of them finally never to return in the name of Jesus Christ let's just allow a minute or two so that they return to their seats please lead them ushers help them so that we go to the ministry of the world the Bible says now the Lord is that spirit and where the spirit of the Lord is you don't have to bring any more people don't worry just take them back someone help explain to those outside so that they understand what we're doing pray one prayer while we allow them go back to their seats speak to my heart oh God even by the power of your spirit may your word come with power may it change my life in the name of jesus those who can't stand just let them be when they are strong enough they'll stand and return back to their seats i have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that i'm a I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that Baba Wani Kamaraka. Baba Wani Kamaraka. Yah, yes. Baba Wani Kamaraka. Very simple song. Babu Wani Kamaruka. Babu Wani Kamaruka. I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that I'm one I have searched and searched all the earth, searched and searched all the earth, and found that I'm one Sing it as a declaration unto him. Babu wani kamaruka, ya yes. Babu wani kamaruka, babu wani kamaruka, ya yes. You are the street, you are the hunger living deep inside of me. You are the food, 
that satisfies you are provision for the journey of my life you are everything you are my everything I like you to cry your heart to your maker in one minute let him know that you are desperate for him let him know that you came with an intention for an encounter let him know that he means that much everything everything that is the language of surrender everything to someone praying press with understanding everything majesty everything everything make sure you are praying you are talking to your maker your savior and your king it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise pour out our praise it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise to you only it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise pour out our praise it's your breath in our lungs so we pour out our praise to you only So brandy give ballad of are you Lord say Great are you Lord Sing it one more time it's your breath hey, It's your breath in our love in our love So we pour out our praise We pour out our praise It's your breath in our love so we pour out our praise to you all it's your breath in our love so we pour out our praise pour out our praise it's your breath in our love so we pour out our praise to you all Everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Great are you, Lord. Majesty, we worship you, King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Monarch of the Universe. We bless you, we bow our hearts in worship and we thank you for who you are and for the things that you do. Forever let Jesus Stand be glorified. For Jesus. You know that him? Ye soldiers of the cross Lift up his royal banner it must not suffer loss from victory on to thee his army shall he lead till every foe is
is vanquished and Christ is Lord indeed. Two prayer points. I'm going to leave you for the next two minutes. Our time is gone. I don't know how you are going to cry before your God of heaven. Forget about whether I'm a preacher, I'm a student fellowship president. Throw that one behind. Cry for your destiny in the next two or three minutes. Cry for your destiny. Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. Answer these questions in prayer. It is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Let mercy find me tonight, O oh God. Someone is praying. Shabaka toska teleketa. Ragatoska dila keteba siata. Who am I? Where am I from? Why am I here? What can I do? And more importantly, where am I going when this life is over? Five questions you must ask and you must answer to live a life of meaning and a life of purpose. One more minute. Cry before the God of heaven. Shateke parakoshka libran negetes. Empra katekete pakata pranda katos kati palatos. Someone is praying. As you pray, remember your generation. They are looking up to you. As you are praying, may God open your eyes to see the crusade crowd that is waiting for you when you develop that gifting of God. See the hospitals that you will build as a result of living a purposeful life. See the lives that will say thank you that you were born. seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us Here for you, come and do what you do. We are here for you, come and lift the way that you lift. Set our hearts on you. So you'll do what you do. We need a move. This is a move. This is the future of four square. Praying and remaining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point and I speak over your life. Father, I receive the grace not to fail my generation. 
I receive that grace whatever I to take I obtain grace I obtain grace if it takes prayer I will pray if it takes fasting I will fast if it takes studying the word I will study Lord, I will not fail my generation in business, in politics, in ministry, in family. Keep praying, you have one more minute. Shalege bereko shalakata Embra kateka teka 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 telepatusia In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please do not forget what you learned tonight. Go and listen to this teaching again and answer these five questions like a student would answer an exam. Because if you fail this exam, it's not just a carryover you will have. If you fail this exam, it can cost you your life and your relevance. Let me repeat the question one last time. Number one, who am I? A question of your identity. Number two, where am I from? A question of your source and your connection and your allegiance. Question three, why am I here? A question of purpose, finding your place in life. Question four, what can I do? Identifying, developing, and deploying your gifts, your potentials. And number five, where am I going to when this life is over? Let me remind you of the assignment I gave you. When you go back home tonight, go and write it. Lord, what is my place in destiny? Reveal to me. And write everything that constitutes an advantage in your life. Start developing it. Developing it by buying relevant materials. Developing it by, develop it by read, reading the books. And listening to relevant teachings that relate to that area of gifting and I can assure you you're on your way towards an enviable destiny may the Lord bless you tonight may the Lord cause you to experience his grace this that you have heard it will not slip from your life through negligence in the name of life Jesus Christ will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men I will hold on through the storm this is for someone I will hold on through the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men lifter of sing it one more time as a prophecy that I will hold on the storm ah. I will hold on to the rain my life will soon reveal you are the lifter of men the lifter of men can I tell you this there is no one here under the sound of my voice 
or will there ever be whose situation is worse than that of Job? Let me show you what God can do. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. Also, the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. Thank God for that, but we want to know how it happened. Are you ready? Next verse. Verse 11. <laughs> read with me if you're a Christian. One, two, read. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you seeing how God restored him? Number one, then came to him all his brethren. Every next level and finances you are trusting God for is in the hands of men. Until the men come, you cannot get what is in their hands. It says, then there came unto him. Where were they when he was crying? The Bible says God turned. So how does God turn? He places something upon your life that will start compelling people to start coming. There came unto him his brethren and all his sisters and they that had been of his acquaintance before. They were the ones that made him prosper before. That means how did poverty come to his life? Something was taken away from him and everybody left physically. How did God restore it? Something came. I'm, I'm showing you because it's something is about to come on you now. Please read it. Are you ready? One, two, read. Then came there unto him all his brethren, uh -huh, and all his sisters, and they that had been of his acquaintance before, and did eat bread with him in his house, and they bemoaned him, and comforted him over all the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Now here's the secret, read. And every man, how many men? There is something that comes on you that makes every man bless you not just those who do business with you every man every man read on please want to go every man also gave him a piece of money and everyone an earring of gold can i tell you this some of you have gone through serious financial hardship god organized this miracle service to bring financial healing to bring financial deliverance and I'm showing you how it happened because we are going to pray now. I've taught you the ministry of destiny helpers. These are men anointed, commissioned by God to pay attention to your destiny. Not everyone is a destroyer. There are people who can enter your life like they entered the life of that my gentleman and turn his life around. Who would have told him that a year before or two years before there were people in that football field before he came? It is what is on you that controls what is around you. Every man gave him a piece of money. Every man gave him a piece of money. And everyone an earring of gold. Father, who have you anointed in this season to hold my hands and move me to the next financial level? I declare, place the grace upon my life that will bring them to my destiny. Open your mouth and pray. Place that grace. This is a miracle service. Make sure you are praying. Place that grace upon my life, oh God, that will compel the helpers of my destiny to attend to me. Place that grace upon my life. Forget about where you have been. Pray. pray I will hold on through the storm I will hold on to your word my story is about to change you are the lifter of men 
the lifter of man. Lord, I will hold on to the storm. I will hold on to your word. My life will soon reveal you are the lifter of man. Hear me, believers, in the name of Jesus. Please listen to me. I submit to you by God that there are more than enough people in any city to be used by God to lift you. Nobody will come and lift you on their own. I've told you this. There is the power that rests upon your head. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. In this kingdom, who hates you does not matter. But who likes you matters. Please place your hand on your head. Just place your hand on your head. Father, this is a miracle service where you are sorting people financially once and for all. My God and my King, upon every head, right here, inside, all the overflows outside i am praying lord the grace that must rest upon them that will compel the helpers of destiny to gravitate towards them in the name of jesus may that anointing rest upon you now may that anointing rest upon you now In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put down your hands. Who is Christy? I'm hearing the name Christy. My assignment tonight is to deal with the issues. Christy. Who is that? Where are you coming from? I want to pray for you. I presume there may be many Christies. But your life is about to change. And in case I'm prophesying to people, you open your heart and receive. What God says to one, he says to all. Are we together? I don't mean to embarrass you, but please hear me. There's a prophetic word. I won't ask the person to come out for social reasons. There is a lady here. A man kept you in a house. Hold on now. Let me finish the prophecy. You don't know what I'm about to say. Just hold on let's be patient and let prophecy finish before so that you don't answer yes to something that a man kept you in a house listen to me that man is married with his wife but he kept you in a house somewhere you are in, in a relationship with the man and he kept you in a house somewhere i want you to know that that man is going to destroy you he has lied to you and made you believe that if he does not help you where will you get help I'm advising you in this miracle service in the name of Jesus and with every sense of responsibility. I know it is not easy. It's easy to tell people you are working in this and that. You must be ready to help people when you want them to make that decision. But let me tell you, whoever that person is, I'm speaking to you by the Spirit. I want you to pack out of that place because with what I'm seeing, that man did not just keep you there. There is something occultic that he's doing there. You hear what I'm saying? I'm speaking to you by the Spirit of God back out of there he may be giving you 10 naira but he's taking the glory of what two million from you and we have to be careful as believers sometimes you know why it is important to empower believers like this because if we don't empower believers when people are desperate they will do anything for money they will come to church and remove the 10 percent and drop it but they know where they got it from so it's not enough to just criticize people and say you are this, you are following men, you are following women, you are following whatever. No, 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 no. We have to empower people first. Then we'll tell them this is how it is done in the kingdom. There are many parents today who are enjoying a lot of financial blessings from their children and dancing and they do not know the dirty and demonic things their children are doing to bring money. And it's easy to insult them like we always like doing in church. When we hear of people's situations, we are not rational to sit down and think and approach it from a heart of love.
God brought you people out here by his spirit. I want to pray for you. Madam, your suffering has come to an end this night. Please leave her. Careful, careful, so you don't injure her. I know what I just saw. I want to pray for her. Hi. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. You see, let me tell you something, my dear people. For as long as God brought you here this night, I assure you by God that the power that will stop you from receiving your testimony is not in existence. I'm looking at this woman in a vision and I'm seeing a woman suffering bad luck. Anybody that says you will bless this woman, something must happen to them and they will neglect them. If there is anybody like that, people keep making promises. Tomorrow they will say, next week they will say, whatever is stopping them from reaching out to you, I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to his root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please don't, 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 I, I don't want you to feel offended. The, may God bless you, madam. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a woman, you are a widow. Oh dear. This woman has suffered. Oh. This woman, you are a widow and if I don't pray for you, it's nothing at all is coming from anyone. It's as if you don't have children. It's as if nothing is happening. You are, you are quite an aged woman. I don't know who that person is. The Lord is asking me to call that person and let me pray for that person. You are a woman, an elderly woman. You are a widow, but honestly, as it is sincerely, that you love God sincerely, but absolutely nothing is happening. This woman I'm seeing, I know you came out, but I'm seeing this woman at the overflow outside. The overflow outside. The overflow outside I'm not just praying for every widow of course I will pray for you if you come out but the particular person I want to pray for you are outside father you are the God that can open every door there is no mystery as to how finances come it is not magic it will always happen through men the Bible says good measure pressed down shaken together running over shall men give shall men give the lord called that name christy and i want to pray for you for some of you you are standing as altars over your family because god wants to wipe the tears of your family in the name of jesus christ the power of god will come on you right now and believe me the only thing that will bring you up stage here after this prayer is your testimony therefore i stretch my hands right now every embargo up over your finances an anointing is coming on you right now release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus Christ release them now in the name of Jesus I open this door in the spirit and I declare walk into your high places in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah the Lord is showing me a family here. You are owing medical bills. You are owing, as I'm speaking now, you are owing medical bills even to the millions. You are owing medical bills. I don't know who that person is, whether you are watching online or you are here. It's like there's somebody. Let me tell you this. I'm going to pray for the sick shortly. Do you know that many manifestations of sickness is actually an attack on your finances? It's not about the sickness. Because there is a relationship between your health and your wealth. The sicker you are, the more your finances will tell to. So when Satan wants to attack your finances, one of the ways he does is to plant a mysterious sickness. It will not go up. It will not go down. It will remain there and keep eating finances. If there is anything I know that can destroy finances overnight, is held no matter how wealthy you think you are pray that you are not plagued or somebody around you plagued there are people who spend as much as a million naira every week to be alive if you have saved even if it's hundred million in how long we would have depleted everything people have had to sell their houses because of finances people have had to sell everything they spent their life building
Hear me. God is able to lift you from that yoke. I will be praying for, we are not going to take testimonies that our time is gone. We may not take testimonies of people to pray tonight. I want to deal because we've not even gotten to greatness. I must spend the next 15 minutes and flood this thing out. It must step over your life. Honor and greatness. We are dealing with finances. Don't cry. In the name of Jesus, I'm praying again. Anyone who is troubling you, maybe something you labored with your husband to get, and now just because he's gone, people are bullying you and bringing all kinds of trouble. I stand by the apostolic and the prophetic. I decree and declare, may your troublers depart from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power that raised Christ from the dead. I use this once in front to pray for every other person. And I decree in the name of Jesus who is the son of the living God. That anyone who is troubling any widow here. I will not let her have peace. Except otherwise. But I pray that if the fault is not from them. May God show them mercy immediately. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I pray that every man destined and appointed by God to hold your hands, no matter who and what you have lost, especially your husbands, I pray for you. May God raise genuine people with no strings attached who will hold your hands and see that you don't cry again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Let's celebrate them as they go. God bless you. You will return with testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready for the next prayer? To be great means to live where you are and go to the next level of your life. To be great means to rise to a point where you can also be a blessing. You can't always be the one looking up. You need to rise to a point where you can look down and reach to others. Father, whatever it takes for my greatness, release it upon me. Someone lift your voice and pray. Don't be tired. Tonight is a good bargain. Tonight is a good bargain by the Spirit. Go ahead and pray. Lord, whatever it takes, finance, influence, relationships, results, opportunities, Release it upon my life. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. God is able to make people great from where they are to the next level. Genesis 26, 13. Give us New King James Version, please, if you can. NKJV. Read with me. Ready? One, two, read. And the man began to prosper and continued prospering until he became very prosperous. Verse 14. Hmm. For he had possessions of flocks and possessions of herds and a great number of servants. So the Philistines envied him. Next verse. 15. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go back to King James now. I want to show you something because there is a name God is about to call someone. For all the wells which his father's servants had digged in the days of Abraham, his father. So the man had struggles. The Bible takes out time to tell you. He did not just become very great like that. There were struggles. 
they dug a well the philistines have stopped them and filled it with the earth 16. and abimelech said unto isaac he said go from us for thou art much mightier than we when you read the verses after for the sake of time it will tell you that he dug a well and they covered it he named it he dug a well they covered it and the third one they left him and he called it Rehoboth he says for God has given me my own space my own space my own space I want to pray for you the grace for greatness is a real grace read your Bible look at Abraham read your Bible look at Sarah read your Bible look at Esther read your Bible Joshua Gideon ordinary people you can start from where you are but you should not remain there you must rise for the Bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light that shines ever brighter even unto the perfect day what is greatness to be elevated to a position in life and destiny where you enjoy the blessings of productivity the blessings of influence and now you can reach down to people and also be a blessing to them in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed if that happens to you that is the epitome of greatness God wants to set us free from this life of always hoping that someone will rise and help you it is in your destiny to rise too I want to speak over your life do you believe in the power of prophecy Bazanji Soroba Mete Mokona Bazanji Kunyaba Mete Mokona Mete Mokona Bazanji Soroba Bazanji Kunyaba When God makes you very great, listen to me. There are many quarrels and there are many issues that are unnecessary. Can I tell you? When Joseph became great, it was easy to forgive his brothers. There are many family problems. There are many extended age-long problems that become unnecessary when you become great if they had come to meet a struggling jacob uh, uh, joseph in egypt he would tell them you are wicked and evil people can i tell you many hurt and pain you are carrying in your heart is because you have not been consoled by greatness there is a way god lifts you it becomes unnecessary to discuss the past again beloved in christ thank you for watching this video if you are new here too, I would entreat you to kindly subscribe to this channel for me and then hit on the like button. Also, I would want you to share this message across. I would want you to do one thing for us. Kindly tell us in the comment section where you're watching us from and you've got any testimony for us. Kindly let us know. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. In the name of Jesus, drought in your life. That even when it is physical rainy season, it is still dry season spiritually, financially and otherwise. I decree and declare, let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain begin to fall. Let the rain 